On February 2nd, 2024, local live streamer It's Will set out on a journey, a quest. No, an adventure that would redefine his purpose and the greater purpose of Twitch TV. One man, one bus, one eight-hour drive from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in an old passenger bus with a steering misalignment heavily favoring the passenger side. Will he live? <laughs> Will he die? The following footage was recovered, but the man was never seen again. Hey, Mr. Blue Collar, Mr. Cheddar. Okay, hold on, let me restart the game. Will Seven. Let me restart the game. Let me, re let me restart. Happy I, can't, I literally cannot tab out. It's literally not possible to tab out. Okay, we're committed. I'm turning that off immediately. Okay, let me read these subs. Um, another thing that you should know about this game, there is a misalignment on the bus, so it does kind of drag to the passenger side, um, which I find to be a little annoying. Is there a way, like, so is there, there is multiplayer, so like, I'm pretty sure people can join my bus. I don't know if that's real or not, but that's what it said in the description of the game. Okay. Narm, thank you for the 500 bits. Goblin Child Dave, thank you for the gifted sub to Walter Llama. Much love, dude. Any Unripe Rudy, thank you, man. B Gars, hope you're having the fantastic night, dude. Mr. Tudank, uh, with the 16 months, he says, hello, Will. Hello, man, how you doing? Mr. Cheddar in the chat. Unripe Rudy, thanks for gifting a sub to Not Alexandria. Much love, dude. Uh, Escapade, thanks, 100 bits. Fresh Princess, 100 bits. Amazing, thank you for the 57 months. Hope you're doing well. Sauce Man Sambas, 35 the months. Said the bus wasn't leaving till 2.30. Can you come back and get me? I don't know. I like hope there's a, ba a multiplayer. I, I feel like I should stop now and make sure the multiplayer thing works. Can somebody try to join it's my bus? Will seven. Cause there is a way you can join my bus. Should I stop and go back? Like, I don't oh, That's how you exit. I don't really want that. This game's free. It's just called bus VR, desert bus VR, but it's not actually, it's not actually VR. Well, you can launch it out of VR. Carnia, thank you for the, the, uh, the, the 100 bits. Astrodor, the 15 months. I don't know. I, 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 I'm... Can someone try to join my bus so that I know? Because, I, listen, I got a couple minutes to of, of leeway here where I, I'm going to... Because once we're committed, no one's buying this game. No, no, it's free. I'm saying it's free. It's called Desert Bus VR. Yo, Astrodor, thank you. Fallen X, thanks to the 14 months. Frank the Sheep, thank you for the 12 months. I'm, I'm kind of curious. What is that? It's like a sign or something. <laughs> you should really get this bus aligned. Yo, Frank the Sheep, thank you. Wait, oh, there's someone back there. Hello, can you hear me? There's no voice chat, but you can... Nod if you can hear me. It's just a random person, dude. It's actually just a random person. It's Will <laughs> Seven. Uh, wait, nod if you can hear me. Yes, 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 they can, they can. Oh, okay, okay, now we're filling up, Lou. Okay, that only took three minutes, thank God. Okay. All right, lovely. So we've got some friends. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do anything unless you have like a VR headset. You can only nod and just sit there. So unless you have VR, I think if you have VR, you can like walk it's around the, bu the bus, Will but. Seven. Yo, Index, thank you for the 31 months. Happy bus Wolf. Day King, enjoy 32 young years. I'm 28, okay? I'm 28 years young. I want that to be noted. You know, the way that I saw this stream was kind of a way to, um, prove once and- What the hell is that in my coffee, dude? Ew. There's, like, bubbles in it. What the fuck? Did I get soap in this? It was to prove once and for all. I should just drink it, right? I should drink it before it gets cold. It's kind of nasty, but it's fine. I, I, I wanted to prove once and for all that I am a blue-collar streamer. And I thought, what better way... Then to get this job, what am I going, 45 miles an hour? 
Oh, is that how many minutes I've been driving right there? Is that does that mean I've been driving four minutes? Dude, that's so good. Will, do you think that I could win a boxing match with Aiza? I'm pretty tough. I don't want to answer that. He's a very nice guy. I've met him in person. I don't want to be like taking a, some side here and you're, what did he ban you or something? Did he respond to your Twitter? Look at that, dude. These people are sitting so politely on the bus. All right, so the person in the back, that's amazing because he was the first one. I saw him Any immediately. Any in the chat? Early Friday, woo. I saw him immediately on my friends list. That guy in the back is amazing. The guy in the middle. I wonder if I could somehow like figure out who he is, you know? Yeah, Jammy, thanks to the Prime. Will continuously jerking the wheel is a little uncalled for. Can you please focus if not for the people in the back? No, 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 it's a big, it's a big part of the game that the, um, what would you call it? The, the, there's a, there's a misalignment with the wheel. To this, who they're gonna be using it on the bus. So this will be the first thing you'll hear on your radio. And they bought the bus. That's exciting. And they scanned it. Wait, this is the first thing I'm hearing when I'm on the bus. If you are listening to this on the bus now, uh, you've been going, what, five, ten minutes. What the hell? you got pretty much eight hours still to go. Any okay, well, in the chat? Uh, not really as many months up as years old. Uh, Happy 46th birthday, Willie. Less than three, three did someone say for his, uh, part of his, uh, Terra Sunny Niggas? Yeah, personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah Donzel, thanks to the 46 months. I love you. Our ship is a toy collector. Portrait sitter, which I thought was a really good one. You said. Any pounders in the chat? And bird watcher. Which, uh, bird watcher sounds like a good game. I'm not even alive. Way, way too interesting. Or else you don't make money. I don't really need to listen to that right now. It's gonna, that's gonna actually Wait, put me to sleep. Like I'm not kidding. Pro, Yo, last Rick, thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, I'm a, I'm top five. Um, a lot of people. Gonzo, say. thank you so much for the fucking five gifted, brother. I love you and I hope you're doing well. Yo, here for beers. Thank you, Sauki, uh, Miles, Eclair, Big Leslie. Yeah, the, so the bus is mis has a misalignment that uh, heavily leans to the passenger side so that... Because otherwise, this game would really just be holding W simulator, right? But this is desert bus, you know what I mean? Like, this is, um, this is much more um, in-depth than that. You know, you have to click left. Um, you can't tab out of the game or, or you'll drive off the road and have to re you'll get towed and have to restart um, So you can't like listen to music It's not the way guns run, you know guns run? I have never fired a weapon I, 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 You have to load them and stuff does he talk for the full eight hours? I feel like that's even more impressive, right? Because at least I can like take breaks and just sit here in silence. You know what I mean? That's crazy to me. I'm I'm kind of curious. I think you can have the bus coast Happy to a stop and Great then quickly to run to the bathroom before it, it strong rolls the off the road. Oh. Have a great one and don't forget to stretch before bed. Oh my God, there's someone else here. Hello. What the hell? <laughs> hey, you in the front. Um. Wait, there's, there's four people it in here now. Will Wait, don't say that's seven. me. Oh, I can just look at them. I don't even have to turn all the happy way around. Happy birthday, Will. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you, Ad Mike. I hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. Big kisses. Congrats on being born. I, I appreciate it, man. There's no better way to celebrate than doing this. My main worry, I think, is my middle finger getting tired from holding W. And you do have to hold W the entire time. Just I just tested it and took my my foot off the gas. Um, this is not good. This guy is suffering, like genuinely suffering. Oh my god. I guess I could just use a different finger. What happens if you stop? Uh, you cannot pull over, otherwise your car gets stuck and you have to get towed and you have to start all over. Um. You know, really, it's there's a, there's only a few. I you know, there's only a few mechanics. The main one is um, 
this little timer right here that tells you how long you've been driving, which is actually rather helpful, I'm not gonna lie, because then, you know, if I don't look at it for a while, What's the percent chance that you actually do this for eight hours? I would say... Let's do a prediction, and we'll see the percent chance. We can do a prediction, and we can see who believes in me and who doesn't. But I'm letting you know, man. Listen. Sure, have I... only streamed for eight hours a handful of times ever? Any uh, pounders in the chat? Yes. 69. Have I done, like, one road trip no i don't think i've ever done a, a irl road trip eight hours no bathroom is a zero percent chance no i think I, if i coast the bus to a stop seven. i can maybe go to the bathroom or i can have someone back in the back i'll just be like hey you, you watch the wheel and i'll just go get up and pee if i because there's no brakes yeah john scully thank you for the raw tier one i love you man i hope you're doing well when does the desert end? I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll we'll find out. You know, I I I mean, I, I've never driven from Tucson seven. to Vegas. I've driven from Vegas to California, and the, certainly the Can desert does end at a bus. certain point. This is a six inside bus, yes. I would say. You know, they don't even do a fun horn, which really sucks. The horn sounds like a, a air raid siren. And we've got a great comment on it. The uh, producer said to us, uh, I don't think I could have understood this left. It's crazy he talked. I just want to seven. test it to see if he actually talks the whole time. Yo, Donzel, thanks for giving us up to Lanks. Love you, dude. Oh, you're doing a poll. Dude, just do a prediction. We'll just, we'll keep this prediction going all stream. It's fine. I won't feel bad if I quit and the believers lose. I'm just letting you know, like, you know, you know what I mean? I don't think, like, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Barring, okay, barring me, like, falling asleep, veering off the road and crashing and getting towed, um, or running out of things to talk about, those are, like, the only situations. <laughs> Those are the only situations that I could see this not working out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, what's up? I'm high on crack 666. Thank you, man. Saucy Gym Shorts. Thanks for the sub also. And Kobo with the 69 months. How you doing, Kobo? Good to see you, man. Appreciate the sub. It's Hope you're doing well, Mr. Kobo. Steals. Thanks for the 10 months. Barring three very likely outcomes, you will definitely complete the eight hours. Dude, listen, this, that's what you don't realize is I've got a phone right here. And guess what? I have conversationtopics.com on my Safari. And so if I run out of things to talk about, I'm just popping this bad boy out. You know what I mean? Also, I got wine. It was my birthday. You know, it's, my, it's my, this is the birthday celebration. I got wine in the fridge, leftover wine. Maybe we pop some of that out, you know what I mean? Have a couple of drinks it's on the open road, a couple of road sodas. Seven. Yo, 69 Ricardo, Let's thank you so much, man. Happy birthday, William. I appreciate it. <laughs> can you play the game? Wait, can you? Fuck, I missed it. It scrolled out of the chat. I can't tap Any out. Any pounders in the chat? Happy birthday, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is more of a hangout, you know? This is more of an experiment, you know? Yo, Tilda, thanks for the 26 months, I hope you're doing well. Still five people in the bus, dude. Or no, four. Still four. I think we've capped out at four. I wonder how many people can be in one bus. That I'm actually curious about. Why does the bus pull so much to the right? You know, I think the entire... Oh, drive 10 miles. Nice. How many miles... Actually, don't answer Any that. Any pounders in the chat? Don't, don't look it up on Google Maps. Yo, Grumpy Grim, thanks to the Prime Sub. What was I answering? I forgot already. Yo, Grumpy Grim, thanks to the Prime. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. There was somebody asked something. I lost it. Oh, why does it pull so much? Yeah, you know. I wonder, can you open the door? 
I don't want to know what that button does. Like, I'm afraid to... Pr That's how you exit, is you pick up the flyer. I'm kind of afraid to figure out what that does. I feel like we're 15 minutes in. We may as well experiment, you know? Because if I start over right now, it's really not that bad. Multiply your age by 10. That's the number of miles. Feels birthday, man. What, 280 miles? That's not bad at all. Wait, I'm already 10 out of 280? We're like there, basically. That's free. This shit isn't gonna take that long. If you drive really fast, you can get there quicker. I looks like I'm actually going like 50. My understanding was that you went like 35 miles an hour the whole time, but I guess I'm just like going extra fast. Um, okay, this is something I did need to get out of the way very early. And now that we're 15 minutes in, I would like to get this out of the way. I don't know how to tell you guys this, and I know this kind of is against the normal vibe of the stream. Okay. I really can't play music because I can't <laughs> tap out of this game. <laughs> Any pounders in the chat? <laughs> Dude, I'm really sorry. I can maybe play some for my phone if I get really bored, but it has to be royalty free is the problem at that point. So I could maybe like, maybe I could like make some music, right? We could be like, What is that song again? Candy shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take you to the candy shop. So we can do candy shop. That's something we could do. Any pounders in the chat? <laughs> My favorite blue collar streamer. It's Will Seven. Yo, Hell Pepper. Helper, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, Aiden, thank you so much for the prime sub. Bearcats, thanks to 26 months. Now, nah, I could play some music later, it's maybe. Listen, Will if we get there. Seven. I don't think I'm at a point where I need it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I, could figure out, I could figure out a way. Because, th again, there's no way to pause. And I can't tab out. I tried. So, I could figure out a way, though. Thank you so much, Bearcats. LeBron James, 0.346 career, 3 pints accuracy. Goat Clutch Glorious King, Goat Punks Corny Phil, 0.390 career accuracy. Washed Retire You Bum Cook Him and Serve IT for Dinner D. Angry Yo, face. Lockheed Martin Recruiter. I saw similar takes to this today of people saying that because... Okay, I don't understand Groundhog Day in the first place. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really get it. Um, so the Groundhog can be wrong is what I'm learning from this? Is that right? Yes. Okay, someone is saying yes. You in the front. No. Oh my fucking god, dude. I like actually just got fucking insane chills from that. I like my I, I got a shockwave. Oh my god, chills, bad chest. That scared the shit out of me. My heart sank. Um It's, it's the weather that's Will wrong. Seven. So my understanding of Groundhog Day was that it was a groundhog like... that comes out of the ground and if he sees his shadow, that means that the season of winter is extended and if he doesn't see it, it's spring. It's officially spring. Okay, right? So how is he wrong? I don't get it. Because now we have like the science to figure out whether or not it's spring or winter? Or what does that mean exactly? He is never wrong. Okay, well then, how did we come up with the thing where he's only right 39% of the time? Because that's what I'm hearing a lot, is people being like... 
He's never wrong because he never actually makes a decision. Dude, you just hate this fucking groundhog so much, man. Like, you gotta relax on him. This guy doesn't do anything wrong. He's just literally vibing. Like, he literally just exists to burrow and... It's the weather that is wrong. Is the bus pulling to the left or the right? It's pulling towards the passenger side. Um, it's a pretty gnarly pull. Like, I'm, I'm just holding W right now. And as you can see... I'll start to like you'll start to hear the sound of you see that so that that's what that means you're about to fucking crash and lose the entire run you know it's will seven yeah rogue maniac thank you for the two it's months will seven much love dude go tay thank you for the 45 months of prime big kisses brother is there any other traffic on this road not that i know of honestly the candy shop, sorry. Um, there is some cactuses, or cacti. It's a pretty nice one. Honestly, like, they, they, did, they did me a favor by putting all this scenery out here. I mean, this is plenty of stuff to look at and talk about, you know what I mean? This is gonna be easy, frankly. The bus fandom is dying. Repost this if you're a real bussy guy. I prefer bussy boy, but that works as well. What is this? What does that sign say? This just has nothing on it, okay. You will make it 20 more minutes tops. Dude, I'm telling you, like, somebody start a prediction. I, uh, mod, somebody. Start a prediction. Will he make it to Las Vegas? I, like, I'm, I'm serious, bro. You can keep that shit open for an hour, for 30 minutes. We'll refund it if I quit by then. I'm gonna make it, dude. You guys are just like not believers. As long as I have the chat here to accompany me, who can who can um, make me fail? What would I be doing otherwise? Can you turn the fan on? I was trying to figure it out. It seems like the only things you can interact with is that, 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 and that. That's about it. The trick is to turn around. No, 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 no. I'm not turning around. They wouldn't let me on the bus? Wait, is it a max of like four people? Actually? Happy birthday, magic man. Yo, yo, nice cat. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. When did you get passengers? I mean, the game's free to play and you can just like get on, I don't know, you just like join a multiplayer game and then you it puts you on the bus, I don't know. It's just random, it puts you on a random bus. I don't think there, I, I, I have to assume there's not that many people playing this game, if I had to guess, right? Just use HK to hold down W. That would be awesome, but that's what happens, is the bus has a very, very heavy pull towards the passenger side. So, unfortunately, that is not. I do appreciate the, um... The min-maxing of, of Desert Bus. Then you can just manage the pull instead of holding W. Yeah, but then I'm not gonna... Bro. I just realized you can swerve... If I just go like this and just, like... I feel like the way to maintain more speed is to go like this. Like, this is how you actually get there in record time. I'm actually, like, min-maxing the game. Because now I'm, like, going with the current, if you will. Only up to four people can be in the bus at a time? Oh, god damn it. Wait, can what, some of you guys... Wait, somebody left, though. It would be There's very only three. If you were to pretend to drink and drive by using an app on your phone to seemingly drink a glass of beer. Yo, Euler, thank you for the 150 bits. Listen, I will do you one better. I got leftover wine in the fridge. And listen, I'm gonna crack it open at some point. You know what I mean? Listen, we, we, we might have a for realsy drinking and driving, um... 
Not Ethics actually, I but... Got 100K <laughs> on you. Don't let me down. Yeah, thank you, War Cow. Is that allowed? I guess that guy did, uh, got banned, but he was driving for real. This is a game. As realistic as it <laughs> seems. Yeah, thank you, War Cow. Did you, you actually bet 100K on Believe that I would drive this bus for eight hours? Bro, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm only 24 minutes in. What the hell is going on, man? Why would you do that? Somebody already bet 250k on doubting. Who was it? Name names. Go ahead. What's like the... Okay, I see it's 846,000 versus 1.2 million. That is like... Those odds are very... I'm... 25 minutes into I have seven and a half hours to go guys you realize like I don't know if I the last time I streamed for eight hours it will seven. you guys are crazy yo Huddis thank you for the prime love you dude hope you're doing well somebody else joined you just kind of moving around can you guys all nod your heads in unison? All the all my passengers. It's kind of close. Oh my god. I wouldn't say it's perfect unison. Is the gamber refunded it if you have someone to help drive? Seven. Um... No, it's not refunded. Like, if I have to go I piss or something. This. It's not refunded, but, you know, I will probably... I honestly will probably just have the bus coast to a stop. Do you know what I mean? There's, like, nothing. All right, we're gonna play Simon Says with all the people in the bus, okay? This is a good way to pass the time. All right, guys, listen. All right, now everybody nod your head. Okay, you in the back. Actually, wait, they're good, they're good. They were nodding to playing the game. No, that guy loses, you in the back, sorry. Second to the back, you lose. You're out. I wish I could kick him, God damn it. All right, second to the back, you're out. Because I didn't say Simon Says. I said we're going to play Simon Says, and then I said nod your head. No, don't shake your head at me. Don't shake your head at me, mister. I will pull this fucking bus over right now. All right, now, Simon Says, everybody look to the driver's side of the bus. That's like, bro, you guys are all looking. Oh, no, the, the mirror is reversed. Sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Never mind, you all pass. Great work, guys. Great work. Okay, now, Simon says... <laughs> Simon says, look up. The delay on this thing is crazy, dude. Now look down. Wait, is that guy looking down? I can't tell. The guy in the way back. You looked down. You looked down. The guy in the front wins. I didn't say Simon Says. Guy in the front wins. Wow, you guys are bad at Simon Says, dude. <laughs> this guy. He's victorious. Guy in the front. <gasps> That guy in the back is looking up. Are you sure? No, his neck is clearly in the back of him. If he was looking up, his neck would be in the front. And that guy's already out from when we, the first thing. That guy's second to the back. He was already out. The first thing I did was I said, uh, I can't remember. Will I have to poo? Look, man, you can get up and make your way around the bus at any time you'd like. There's a bathroom in the back. Now, me, I gotta drive, though. The 
there's a mattress in the back? Okay, well then, I don't know. Then just poop out the window. I got work to do, man. Yo, Terror Drive, thanks for the 13 Happy months. Hope you're doing well. William. Do you have enough snacks? I mean, I got one protein bar and some water. Should be fine. Try turning on the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what's going on, on the radio. Hold on. Um, but again, remember that. Happy I birthday, said it's Will there Seven. Was daffodil. Daffodils in the, in the vase on the table, um, which means it couldn't have been the spoon. It had to be. It had to be the fork that was missing. So, dog on the green chair eating spaghetti from a red plate, and the skunk to his right had the meatballs, and the fork was what was missing. Uh, from his cutlery set. Dude, that is crazy. Like, they're actually, like, doing stream of consciousness yapping. That is crazy. How are you going to go to the loo when you're driving for eight hours? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me, man. Listen. I'll get up and piss if I have to. I'll let the bus drive itself. And by that, I mean I will coast to a stop, probably. And waste a bunch of time. So you're saying it's a podcast? Bro, this is not a podcast. This is like it's literally just two guys like trying to talk seven. for eight hours. That's not what like a podcast is at least like Happy well I guess birthday, good sir. it's more like four hours if it's a podcast. Yo, Malty, thanks for the eight months, dude. Hope you're doing well. Big kisses. You think this is hurting the bus? It must feel good as fuck for the bus to do this. Anyways. Alright, we're 30 minutes in, boys. That's easy. You see that? Literally, I'm like kind of proud of myself. Like, I feel like I haven't even broken a sweat and we're already one eighth of the way there. Oh, wait, now we're 1 16th. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Oof, man. All right, this will be fine. We got this. They capture mechanical fatigue? Nah, it's not even mechanical fatigue. It's it's sure, it's sure truly just... Oh, I see what you're saying. Never mind. You're saying from, from swerving the bus? What kinds of road trip games can we play? Well, we already played Simon Says. We could do 99 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> I Spy? Ooh, I love I Spy. Okay, okay, I got, I, I'll start. In fact, you guys can't really play. All right. I Spy with my little eye something blue. It's not the air freshener. <laughs> There's only so many things. <laughs> I was trying to say blue because it could have been the star, the sky, the light, the whale, or the clock, or the pamphlet. Oh my god. But you know, I just realized that you guys just like typed all of them all in a row. But the one I was thinking of was the star sticker. I was trying to put it right at the edge of the screen so that no one would see it. Well, we got a sign coming up. All right, I spy with my little eye something. No, no, we're not. I'm not going to do that. It's, it's already gone, so I, I don't spy it anymore. Okay. I spy with my little eye something even. The number four. How the fuck did you see that, bro? It was all the way over there. That is ridiculous. What the hell? Jesus Christ, man. You guys are good at this game. The number four over there on that side of the bus. What does that say? Hmm. I spy. This is hard as fuck to play, dude. I spy with my little eyes something small. How's that? That one's, that's like a riddle, basically. Any pounders in the chat? 
This is just an average Tuesday afternoon for a guy like me. Yo, never dog. Thanks for 32 months. Uh, Malty, thank you. Why are you guys all saying cock? Why is that the instant thing that you go to? Cock, penis, viewer count. Come. Does it have to be in the game? The off switch? No. The volts? No. See, I'm good at this. You guys will never guess. If I see anyone guess, uh, you know, we'll come back if I if anybody actually guesses correctly. What's the longest you guys have gone without doing laundry? It's not the indicators, it's not the numbers. One week is a lie. I feel like I've gotten months before. You're saying the longest you've gone ever in your life is one week. Something small? How about the chances that you make it to Las Vegas, buddy? Oh, ye of little faith. How many pairs of underwear do you have, bro? It's not important. Not very important. I mean, at the time, I had a lot. I don't know, man. Listen. I'm just saying, like... I just feel like people saying a week, they're, you're just lying. Like, you're just trying to seem like a cleanly Carl. Am I wrong? The longest you've gone in your entire life without doing laundry is one week. That's just a lie, bro. Hey, Will, could you move the Wi-Fi router closer to the back of the bus? I'm trying to play old school RuneScape on my phone and keep disconnecting. No. Wait, can one of you guys leave so that somebody who has VR can get on? This, I want to see if they can walk around the bus. I'm seeing in the chat that you can walk around the bus if you have a VR headset. Alright, no one wants to leave. It's fine. I get it. I respect that. How many outfits do you have? Well, like, I don't know, man. You can rewear the same pair of pants for like a year, in my opinion. You know? I'm about to vomit. Bro, pants are just pants. How are they gonna leave if you don't pull over? Oh, someone left. Wait, someone with a VR headset. Whoever was saying that. Now's your chance. They're summoning someone. They're all looking back there to summon a, a new passenger. Does this game have potty mechanics? No, I don't think so. I think it's pretty much just like, you know, you just kind of drive the bus, honk the horn. Just like there's three hands, there's three, I have three kids. So he said, I want you to remember yeah, it's just like a guy yapping when you turn that on. It's like a guy yapping. Did you take Dramamine before the road trip? Isn't that the opposite of what you're supposed to take? What are you talking about? Are you supposed to take... Isn't Doesn't Dramamine make you sleepy? It's... Will seven. Yo, J Tom, thanks to the Prime sub, dude. Much love. Big kisses, brother. Is bus driving your backup plan if Twitch dies? Yeah, basically. I mean, I think I could be really good at this. You know what I mean? Like, look at how much time I've killed already. We're already 38 minutes deep. I'm going to look up so I can't see the timer. How's that? Is that good? Bro, please don't tell me... Wait, please tell me this isn't actually going to take eight hours. Well, I mean, if I maintain my current speed, it could be less. Because, like... It's Will 7. Yeah, it could be a lot less. I don't know. 
Locked up Willy. Oh, I just realized the circle is a reticle and not... Oh, the small the small thing in the riddle is the reticle? No, I thought that was just a spot on my screen, to be honest with you. No, it's not you that. You like a super Yo, pro, Honey pro Bacon, thank you so much, man. Appreciate yeah, the five I'm gifted. A, I'm top five, um, a lot of people said. Yo, CalMag, S-Man, Moodman, Dotcho, and TMFFV. Are you going to do the return trip? Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. What can I say? What were you spying that was small? Dude, you guys have six hours and 40 minutes. I really wait. hope we don't drive into a tunnel painted onto the side of the mountain that looks like a road. You guys have seven hours Eight and 20 hours minutes. We to are the guess same age now. I feel what the more small thing to is. Than ever before. I don't know where that math was. Yo, shower robe, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the underbits. That'd be real. I mean, I don't know if there's like other cars. There's like a shiny thing every now and then that I saw. Did you guys see that? Clip that. There's like a shiny thing on the side of the road that like kind of wakes you up a little bit. You know what I mean? Peach, please. Thanks for the 22 months. We're the same age, dude. Happy fucking 28th to you as well, my friend. Or wait, no, you're you've been 28, I imagine. Is the small thing the left arrow? Where's the left arrow? What are you talking about? The left? No, the small thing is not the left arrow. What left arrow? You guys now you guys are spying stuff that I don't even fucking see. It's will. No, you guys haven't guessed it yet. I'm serious. Maybe one person has typed it, but I haven't seen it at least. It's not a cactus. Yeah, dummy posts. Thank you for the sub. I can't believe no one's guessed the small thing yet, bro. This riddle is... I'm, I'm gonna milk this riddle for the next seven hours. Like, actually. Seven hours of commercial for e-bussing. Scissors? Where are the scissors, bro? Like, again, I just have no idea what you guys are... Oh, oh, those. Craft along, huh? That's fun. Give me the riddle again. Okay, the riddle was I spy with my little eye something small. It's not the button. It's not a bu it's not the button, no. It's not the off switch. It's not that. Small talk. That's a good that would be a good one actually. A grain of sand. Wait, that is actually what it was. Damn it. You guys are good. All right. Well, it took you 25 minutes to figure that out, so you're actually not that good. Someone already said that? Well, I didn't see it. Come on, man. You can't prove that somebody said that. Can we play Would You Rather? I'm so bad at this game. Um, okay. Would you rather... Let me look around. Would you rather... Be a cactus or be this fan right here? I think I'd rather be the cactus, yeah. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, I told you I'm bad at this. I'm bad at this, bro. I told you. I told you. I told you. Listen, it's not, it's just not me. It's not who I... I just can't do that game. I'm not good at this. I'm always like, okay, would you rather um, get hit by this bus driving... The bus is driving 25 miles an hour, or would you rather have to... Would you rather be eaten eat by lions a poop or ants? sandwich? Sorry, what? Uh, would you rather be eaten by lions or ants? Ants? Probably can't even feel it, to be honest with you. Probably eating you so slowly. Probably just go about your life. The bus is only driving 25? No, I'm going 46 right now. According to that thing. Um, but I'm saying, would you rather get hit by this bus driving 25 or eat a poop sandwich? 
Yeah, thank you, dummy post. Love you, man. Appreciate the sub. Did you guys see the shiny thing? I used to have a red button in my car. I bought it at Fast Eddie's discount cars for six grand in cash because it was a Toyota Super with a lightning bolt on the side. One day I was at a red light. Some girls pulled up next to me and I didn't want them to know I was listening to the Blues Traveler. So I hit the button. It turns out it was nitrous oxide. I went over 160 miles per hour. I, it, it scrolled out of the chat. I can't read it. I'm sorry. You have an odometer on the lower right that tells you how many miles you've gone. Oh. Somewhere in between 33 and 44. But I've been driving for 45 minutes, and it's about eight hours, so that's pretty good. How big is the poop sandwich? I don't know. It's hard to say. That's part of the riddle. I mean, it's not a riddle. It's not a riddle. <laughs> I'll say it's a size medium. It's Will 7. And it has all the toppings. Yeah, G Brewer, thanks to the Prime Sub. I hope you're doing well. You're crossing the yellow? Well, like, I'm... The road basically belongs... Like, if I try to drive in my own lane, I'm basically, like, falling off of the... Because this bus is wider than the road. This is about where I have to drive if I want to be perfectly in the lines. And, like... Yeah, it's just better to drive in the middle of the road. Because I haven't seen any other cars yet. Can you please move the camera so we can see the odometer? It's... The, this, the timer is the more important thing, I think. I don't know. The odometer says... 34. I can't move the camera, I'm sorry. I probably should have put the camera in the top right. That would have been a smarter idea. But I didn't really think this through. This was kind of a spur of the moment, just random decisions. Random decision. Can you drive off the road? No, if you drive off the road, you get towed and then you have to start all over. Are you going as fast as possible? I believe so, I'm holding W and that's about all the game has to offer, I think. I wonder if there is cops, I don't know. There's only three guys in my car now. That person with the VR headset never joined. Wake up. Wake up. Sorry. You get towed in real time, so you have to wait for the tow to finish, then you start over. Yeah, you have to wait for the tow truck driver, and his car drives 10 per miles per hour slower than the bus. So then he tows you all the way back to Tucson. And even if you're like 10 minutes from Vegas, the tow truck comes from Tucson. You have to wait for it to make the ride to you. Then it drives all the way back and you can't use your computer during that time because the game won't let you tab out. You basically have to like hold the power button on your computer. Wouldn't they just call a tow truck from Vegas? You're gonna make the poor tow truck driver drive all the way out here? No, man. That's actually a genius idea, though. What if I just got towed on purpose and then that, that had to have the tow truck driver drive me? Happy belated, hope you had a good day. Yeah, thank you, Blunt Baker. It was a great day, thank you, man. I went and saw that movie, Anatomy of the Fall. Anatomy of a Fall. Make tacos, not war. Thank you for the fucking 10 pack, brother. Holy shit. Thank you. Yo, Dennis, Marinit, Blake, Dully, Boot, Captainography, ZLE, Spacer, Break the Bank, and Steering. Thank you so much. I'm steering right now, as a matter of fact. Thank you, Make Tacos, Not War. Much love, brother. Happy belated 39th Big kisses. Birthday. Ryan Bear, thanks for the five months. Much love, dude. Hope you have a great night. I owe you a song request, but... Was Anatomy of a Fall good? Dude, listen. I feel like the hard mode version, like if you were playing hard mode on this game, is you have to drive for eight hours and not talk about movies at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause we're 50 minutes in and I have not talked about movies at all yet. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I could, this, this would fly by if I could just sit here and be like, 
Ah, so what have you guys seen? And then uh, 10 minutes later, oh, but you, that's cool. Have you guys seen, and then just name like, are movies just all you think about? No, I think about many things. Remember when I played Simon Says and the guy in the front won and he's still in here with me. Hey, guy in the front, my champion. Bro, he's probably AFK. He's just taking up a bus seat, this son of, oh. He's here, okay, he's still with me. Who are you in the chat? Yes, okay. Are you a mod or VIP? No, okay. Are you... Um... How do I... What the hell is that sound? Is that a VR guy? Does he have arms? Oh my god, wait. It looks like he has arms. What can I ask him, guys? What color is your name? No, that's- I can't- Is your name yellow? No, is it blue? It's Will Seven. No. Is it red? Ask him to move his hands. There's a guy in the back who has VR and I think he can move his hands. Yo, Smarls, what's up, dude? Let me think, what's, I'm trying to think. Does your name start with a vowel? That's a good one. Does your name start with a vowel? No, no, don't look back there. Look at me. How are they talk? Oh my God, wait, he has hands. Wait, guy with the VR, try to get up and walk around. Was that a no to the vowel? I think it was a no. Wait, this guy's getting up. He's standing up. Wait, wait, wait. He just stood up. Did you see that? <laughs> They're like teaming up on me, bro. Why are they all like nodding at each other? Like, did they have voice chat and I don't? What is going on? I don't like this. I just saw his, ha his hands. Look at that. He see his fists. Bro, imagine if he just runs up here and grabs the wheel, just crashes me <laughs> into the desert. Wait, he's holding something. He's got a gun. I'm just kidding. Um, It does look like he's holding something though. Did he like pick up something? Dude, this is not good. What if he like finds out a way to like make the bus crash? I don't like this. I think there's a way to some I don't know people have been saying there's a way to walk around the bus if you have VR but okay you in the front let me let me get back to this riddle hold on just use the mirror why is that guy in the middle of the aisle oh my god <laughs> no how is he in the middle of the aisle he's back in his seat dude this is not good I don't like this man I'm just gonna look forward. I'm not even gonna look at the rearview mirror. I'm just gonna let them do their thing back there. It's gonna be totally fine. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Okay, everyone's just thrashing around. It's good. Could you imagine, like, if I if I if they figured out a way to get out of the seat, and then I just turn to the right, and there's just like a guy's face, like right there. <laughs> Wait, one of them. Oh! Dude, he's like up in the rafters. Jesus Christ, man. I don't like this. I thought he left. I like looked in the rear view. I was like, oh, there's only three people now. Nope. It's just a guy who's eight feet tall. Okay, anyways. That was close. I'm like just eyeing them on my rear view. This guy is just watching him. Hey, well, happy birthday. I've been pretty broke lately, but I still got you a present. Unfortunately, my dog pissed on it. Still sent it to the P.O. box. Hope you enjoy it. Yo, thank you so much, Cloud Wizard. You're so thoughtful. I really appreciate that. I, um... I, 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 I think Goblin might have pissed in here. It smells weird in my room, but I don't know. I can't prove it. 
I think it's probably just the musk of uh, me not cleaning for a while. And I finally cleaned the other day. Is there an off-roading shortcut? No, okay, I have to, I do have to mention this quite often and that's okay. If you drive off of the road, you get towed and you have to start all over. And fellas, we're six minutes away from being one hour in. That's good news. What is that sound, dude? Bro, I don't like that this guy is like up in the rafters. He's like slowly making his way forward. He's like gonna be at the front of the bus by the time we hit two hours. Each hour you should drink a road soda as a reward. I can't get the wine yet. Unfortunately. I can't get the wine yet. In fact, I'm gonna stop drinking water because I'm, I'm feeling myself having to pee soon, which is really bad. I will crack into the wine later. the fuck is going on back there, dude? Like, there's actually, like, weird shit happening in my bus, dude. I don't like this. A RuneScape player messaged me once it's asking if he was, I was interested in RuneScape seven. NFTs. I replied with a DeviantArt Bowser penis. I didn't hear back from him. We need is that one of my tweets or one of my YouTube film. comments? I don't know. I did, that, I did do that once. Where some guy was like messaging me about RuneScape NFTs, and I sent him very, very graphic deviant art porno of Bowser's penis. But I don't know. I I feel like you're just are you just copying and pasting my tweet? Or are you? I don't know. Wait, there's only three people now. I think, from what I can tell. Yeah, Super Quintendo. Thank you for the prime sub. Much love. Well, that was his original joke? No. Oh, it's from your Oblivion VOD? Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did that shit. I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I thought, I was kind of worried after that. I was like, was that wrong of me? Like, I know it's like bad to like send people like stuff like that unprompted, but you know what I mean? Like he kind of deserved it. I don't really feel anything. Just me personally. You need to get your alignment checked. Nah, man, that's the whole point of the game, I think. You know what I mean? Listen, if it was, if I could just hold W, I'd be chilling. But look at this. I just hold W, the shit slowly drifts until you drive off the road. That way, if you fall asleep, you're awoken by the sound of the... What is that thing called? The median? I don't know. Beware will at some point during the second hour oncoming traffic start spawning. Why do I believe you is the thing. Like, I actually believe you. I feel like that could be the case. Because, like, a bunch of people have been asking me, like, oh, are there any other cars? Are there any other cars? When do the other cars start coming? Let's hear what's going on in here. What you want to do is to fold the top corner of the paper down to the bottom while folding in the left and right. Is he doing origami instructions on there? That's pretty good. I feel like I would be good. I'd be really good at being the guy whose job it is to make eight hours of audio to fill the game with, you know? That clock is real time. Yeah, I've been driving for 58. Can we do charades? That's a pretty good road trip game, actually. We already played I Spy. We played Simon Says. I feel like the Simon Says was very good. Like people, people really were were all in on that shit. Um. Okay. Well, how do you play charades? I can't do charades because I'm I'm driving right now. I just realized. I'm down for more Simon Says. Wait, are you the guy that won the first time, Wendy's? Is that you? No. Who the hell is this guy? 
What is, um, does, is, does your name start with, um, A to F in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F. It's Will no. Seven. E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh, it's legal meth. You guys already know? God damn it. All right, well, if you guys already know who it is, it kind of ruins it for me. Yo, number 41, thank you for the prime sub. Much love, brother. Hope you're having a great night. Big kisses. Thank you, dude. Why is that guy in the luggage rack? I don't know. I don't get that. Yo, Super Quintendo, thanks to the prime sub. I love you, dude. Hope you're doing well. My man. <laughs> I you guys did ruin the riddle, dude. I was trying to figure out who it was by using only yes or no questions. One hour in, baby. Let's fucking go. Yeah, thank you, number 41. I got scammed with no sub message. Anyways, happy birthday, big dog. Yo. Thank you, man. Appreciate the happy birthday. Love you. Hope you're doing well. You should break out one of those conversation starters. Oh, yeah. Wait a second. I just realized. Okay, every hour we get a new conversation starter. Boom. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? That's kind of a bad one. Actually, we could do that. What's your guys' favorite ice cream flavor? That's not a very good one, I feel like. Mint? We got three mints immediately. People saying mint. I don't mind it, but I feel like people hate that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm a pistachio guy. Easily. Like, do you guys really think your favorite is, like, objectively the best, though? Because, like, I like pistachio, but I would say, like, if I had to pick the best ice cream, it would have to be, like, cookie dough. Yeah, like, that's, like, maturity is understanding that, like, probably just, like, chocolate or something cookies and cream like that's up there like you know what i mean like i like pistachio but i wouldn't if i was like getting it for someone else i wouldn't be like yeah i'm gonna get them pistachio kind of presumptuous it's will seven you have the mlg rocky what's up So that's my song that I was working on. Like I, that, the the swerving was the drums, and then I had the like, kind of like synth uh, hits or something, with the horn. Seven more hours, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I have to pee pretty badly already. This is not good. Have you played that new game that's like dark and darker? I have heard that it's like Raid Shadow Legends level of bad. If you're talking about Dungeon More, and I've heard it's like genuinely terrible, but. Nah, I think I can like, if, the, if I can coast the bus to a stop or like one mile per hour, and then I get on this side of the road, I can maybe go piss and run back. Do you think all of the events in your life would lead up to this moment playing this game? Wait, do I think or did I think? Bro, how is he? Oh my God. How can he move up and down, but he can't move forward? I don't get it. I was really hoping he could like approach the, the driver, you know? Put a weight on the W key and gamble the passenger's lives. So let's see how much time I have to pee if I were to do that. If I get all the way to this side, one. Two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, that's not much time to pee. I feel like if I started pissing immediately somehow, but I have to run to the bathroom and run back, plus peeing, and of course I have to wash my hands, you know? It just kind of doesn't make any sense, you know? The math just doesn't add up. Anyways, um... Yeah, man, the favorite ice cream flavor I don't think is a very good conversation starter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ax that one. We're gonna cancel that one. That one sucks. Let me get a new one. Okay. Now, a lot of you guys, when I said, what's your favorite ice cream flavor, you said cock or pussy. And I'm just letting you know, you can't answer that to all of the questions, all right? I'm just letting you know, you can't. What is one thing that you cannot live without? I just thought, you know, I thought I'd try. It's a shit fucking question, man. This is, it's like a bad, like, first date icebreaker. Can we get an odometer check? Uh, 59 miles. Which, that, wouldn't that mean that we're driving at about 60 miles an hour? I guess this really helps, dude, doing my thing. Yo, what's up, Bandon Bodies chat? How you doing, dude? You have to stop for gas. He said this is still more entertaining than a Bodhi stream. Thanks, man. Now you don't have to stop for gas, luckily. What is a, your, wait, if you could have any job, what would it be? Dude, I don't think that there's any job I would want other than driving this bus for eight hours on twitch.tv. You know what I mean? Like, I really can't imagine something I'd rather be doing than just getting in this bus, turning that fucking key, hitting the gas pedal. And making it to Vegas, baby, or bust, as they say. Why is that like a bumper sticker that I see in older movies where people are like, Las Vegas or bust? Like, you know what I mean? Like, Los Angeles or bust? What does bust mean in that situation, exactly? Like, because I know what it means to me, that word, obviously. When are you going to play Project Zomboid? I think I did play that and I didn't like it very much. I think I just didn't get it. Like, I didn't bother to do read all the tutorial stuff. And then I just, like, ended up just running away into the wilderness every time and starving to death. I thought it was an okay game. More like Project Zomboid. Yeah, I just don't think that that game was for me. Or maybe I just wasn't in the mood for that type of game that day, but... Bro, it was kind of just like, I don't know. When are you going to play COD multiplayer? <laughs> Yo, Dextis, thank you so Any much for the Prime. The I really appreciate it. Fucker, thank you for the yet. seven months. When are you going to play COD multiplayer? I don't know, man. That's really an interesting question. I feel like that would maybe be the worst stream ever. Am I wrong? This gameplay is worth a sub. Thank you so much, man. I actually think that, like... Versus this stream? Bro, this is the best stream I've ever done. I don't know what you're talking about. This is up there, for sure. Yeah, thank you, Salty Seal. Love you, man. COD multiplayer is fun, but you do have to mute everybody. What COD game has come out recently? Like, are they good anymore? Because I haven't played Call of Duty since Black Ops 3. No, I did play Call of Duty 4 Remastered, which I do love. Do we eventually get anywhere? Yes, we're going to Las Vegas. Any pounders in the chat? 
Yeah, Instead Duke the Mook. Instead of getting a Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burrito from Taco Bell, I'd much rather subscribe to Bus Driving Man 3000. Thank you so much, Duke the Mook. Thank you for the 33 months. That is so nice of you to say. You would really rather sub to little old me? My God. I'm so flattered. They're all bad, which is what would make the stream hilarious. Yeah, I guess you're right, maybe. I guess you're actually right. I feel like the worse the game, usually the better the stream when it comes to my variety streams. But, um... It was either this or, uh, real estate simulator or something. I don't know. No, I already played that one. I played game store simulator. Obviously pumping simulator, huge, great game. A lot of people are asking me to play like drug dealer simulator, but, um, my drug is driving this bus. You know what I mean? And my deal, my, and my, my, I'm dealing to these beautiful passengers that love me so much all two of them even the people that have been afking haven't made it haven't made it far even like i lost two passengers because they got so bored <laughs> when is the stick rpg meta coming dude i actually think the next twitch meta is going to be swords and sandals it's going to be crazy or um clash of clans it's gonna be like xqc and squeaks going at it with the biggest clans um <laughs> on their ipads <laughs> it's gonna be crazy i'm on the bus watching you drive the bus this game is so immersive wait are you the guy in the back oh no he has hands oh no seven. he's trying to distract me dude Happy birthday, streamer. Yeah, thank you, Robo Mullet. I appreciate it. Did you ever play Stick Death? Um, no, I don't think I played that. Stick Death. Was it a Flash game? I used to play Virtual Buddy. Or interactive buddy. What was that game where you just blow up the guy with a rocket launcher and shit? I loved that game. That was one of the best games ever. I remember I was at my friend's house and I put the George W. Bush skin on it and we were to blow it and we were just blowing the fuck out of that guy with or sorry. <laughs> we were blowing him up with RPGs and like shooting him and stabbing him and shit. And um his dad walked in and got so mad that we were disrespecting the president. Cause we were in like I don't know, this is when I was in like maybe third grade or something. But yeah, he got very mad that we were disrespecting the office. <laughs> Which is funny because there was also like an Osama bin Laden skin, if I recall, that you could put on him. You know? And he was probably he'd probably be pretty fine with that. But that guy had some kind of office, I think, right? He had he played Counter Strike. Yeah, Robo Mullet. Thank you for the six months, dude. I hope you're doing well. Duke the Mook. Thank you, man. Fuck, what was I gonna read? I forgot. I can't scroll up in the chat on here, which is really a, a problem. God damn it. There was something I was gonna read. It was a first time chatter, but I lost it, guys. It's over. Will, I missed the beginning of the stream. Can you fill me out in the game? Um, Can I fill you out in this game? Wait, you should check out Kanito Pet. It's very good game for stream. Is that the one where it's like a win early Windows? I think someone sent it to me and it looked really good. I honestly like all these games I just find because people send me them on Discord. Like I usually just check my Discord messages like Chumbo always sends me bangers. Um, I also just scour the new section. I go to Steam, I hit new and I scroll past all the porn games. And that's usually how I find stuff. I'm not gonna lie. That's like my my meta for finding like most of the, the shitty variety games I play is just scrolling past all the porn. Anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so the plot of this game, let me, let me key you in on this. I'm driving a bus from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada, okay? It's called Will's Bus. I own it. It's my bus. I bought it with my hard earned dollars, right? On some metaverse shit. Uh, I 
have to drift or no the it has like a misalignment that causes it to drift to the passenger side which i'm gonna get fixed someday but any pounders in not the chat? today but um you know like basically this is the game you know you just kind of drive from uh tucson to las vegas uh people can join if they want to to join the, the the bus it puts you in a random bus though so you might not get my bus um you can turn on the radio you can honk the horn you can open the door i think a, um there's oncoming traffic at one point that starts um i i've heard rumors of a bug that hits the window around the four hour mark but I think the game gets kind of crazy at a certain point. It's not called Will's Bus. That's not canon. Wait, wait, yes, it like is, bro. Pro RuneScape player or something? Yeah, I'm a, I'm top five. Um, a lot of people said. Crazy Ranger, Baby Face Zero, Skill, Pink Lighter, and Turtle. Appreciate the fucking five pack, dude. What the hell? Thank you, man. Holy shit. Thanks for the five gifted. The Winkster. I love you, dude. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. I appreciate it. End game content. I believe the bug is basically end game content. You have 45 minutes till oncoming traffic starts. Is it forcing you to drive on the wrong side of the road? It's no, but I kind of... Okay, let me show you. If I try to drive on the correct side of the road, this is what happens. I have a very small window to where before I start to like drive in the median because it's a very wide bus. So it's just a lot easier for me. I'll try to drive more in the middle for you. How about that? There's no one out here is the thing. This is Mar Marsh martial law. This is martial law. Yo, Champlain, thanks to the prime sub. It's just the middle of the desert, bro. I mean, listen, no one's no one can arrest you. No one can stop you. You could basically do whatever you want out here. Every time I'm actually driving in the middle of the desert, I always think like, why doesn't someone just like build a shack out here and just like live? You know what I mean? Like you would think there would just be people because like you never see a person like way out in the middle of the desert. Every time I'm driving from like Vegas to California, for example, how would you get food? There's like bus stops. When is the drunk driving stream? Trust me, man. We got seven more hours. It's all good. Z Y Z Z Y X Road. I am scared of that road. It has a scary name. Every time I drive past that, I think it's haunted or something. Why is it called that? For those who don't know, there is a road in the middle of the desert in between California and Las Vegas, and it's just called Z Y Z Z Y X or something. I think it's like Z Z Y Z Y Z X or something. I don't know. You gotta look that shit up. It's scary. Fuck. Will, please. I missed what you said. Moon to Futa. Sorry, brother. Please drive in the dirt. No, 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 no. You cannot drive in the dirt. You get you your car breaks down, you get towed, and then you have to start all over. No. I will not do that, bro. I'm an hour in. Do you realize how committed I am at this point? This is like a huge commitment for me. This is like massive stuff. You have to tab out and check general. Why do I have to do that? Okay, I'll check general on my phone. What is it? Wait. Oh! Wait, you're on an IRL bus? And you're watching me right now? What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Somebody put that put that in post. 
You're on the bus, dude. You're on the IRL bus. I thought when you said that, I thought you were one of these people. Bro, this guy is just like waving his VR hands. Hey, VR guy, can you move up to the front of the bus? Will, are you sliding on Blueface for Soldier Boy? No. I don't know what that means, really. Wait, are they have are they beefing? Holy shit. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this. This is devastating news for me. Wait, he just disappeared. God damn it. Now it's just me and this one guy, dude. Hey, so what's your story, pal? Oh. Oh, fuck. The hell? ZZYZX, formerly Soda Springs, is an unincorporated community in the San Bernardino County, United States, within the boundaries of the Mojave National Preserve managed by the National Park Service, an agency of the U.S. Department of Interior Public Land. It is a former site of ZZYZX Mineral Springs and Health Spa, and is now the site of the Desert Study Center. Yeah, that's a front, bro, for some evil shit, I'm just saying. Drive on the dirt? I'm not driving on the dirt. How do you join the bus? Uh, this game's free, believe it or not. I know it's kind of hard to believe, but this game is free. All right, let's do PIMP by 50 cent. rather join Scientology or drive on the dirt dude okay I'm gonna be honest I would lose an hour and 20 minutes of my life if I were to drive in the dirt right now if I were to join Scientology okay that'd probably lose most of my life though they do take a lot of your time never mind <laughs> dude someone I know went to one of those meetings you know when you're like, okay, I don't know if this you guys- This is air traffic control. We've received your SOS signal and are now inbound to your location. Hold tight and be glad you learned Morse code. No, no, no. No, no, I take it back. No, no, no. I don't know how to do Morse code. How do you say no? Um, okay, one of my friends went to one of those Scientology meetings, so, like, if you hang out outside of the Scientology building, they'll, like, invite you in for, like, a free lecture or whatever, and then they, like, try to brainwash you, basically, and, like, trick you and take your money, basically, you know what I mean? But he, like, went into one of those and got lured, but he didn't end up joining, so. Why was he hanging out? What the hell? Seems sus. No, it's actually, like, a lot of people hang out there. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's There's, like, a park in front of it. Like, a giant grass field. And, like, I don't know. Oh, but I, I, I know a lot of people that have just, like, hung out there. Also, there's that guy on TikTok now that I've been sent his videos. And he just, like, stands outside of the Scientology building. is like, it's a scam. It's fake. Like, he just stands outside and yells at people that they're when they're trying to get them to come in. It's pretty awesome. That And then they, they like, call the police on him, like, every day. <laughs> that, is, that is pretty sick. To just dedicate your whole life to be, like... He's probably affected their business. That's, uh, I'm not even going to lie. If you're there every single day, I feel like eventually... There's other people that do that now, too. Dude, like, that guy's caused a viral sensation of trying to run Scientology out of business. Damn. Hell yeah. 
Can you put some Subway Surfers on the screen or Ladanian Tomlinson highlights? I did the LT celebration just then. You missed it. Oh my god, no, he's right there. <laughs> Bro, I don't like this at all. This is terrifying. Oh, is he doing it? Wait, what is that dance? Is he, is that the gritty? What is that called? I don't know. Oh, now he's doing the gritty. He's doing the gritty. <laughs> Dude. What the fuck? It's always the passenger sitting right behind you that does some crazy shit. I forgot you used to be a bus driver. Holy shit. What, what is he do? What is this dance? Sup? How you doing, man? Can you not move? Like, I... I wish there was a way he could move, man. Would you rather take a... Steak sponsorship for $300,000 or drive on the dirt right now. An hour and 25 minutes. I'd do the sponsorship right before driving on the dirt. Wait, he's like slowly getting towards me. How is he doing that? How is it? What the fuck? What if he just blocks my vision? Oh my god, dude. Sir. Sir, you need to take a seat. Oh my god. He's like getting... Wait, see how close you can get. See how close you can get, please. Let me, let me see. How is he doing that? How come no one else could figure this out except for this fucking crazy bastard? Oh my god. Dude, he's gonna be like inside of me. This is not good. I'm so scared, dude. I'm like so scared. Just keep your eyes on the road, Will. Don't get distracted. He's trying to put his hands forward to like grab the wheel, dude. Imagine he just grabs the wheel and makes me crash. That guy back there is doing the schizo. <laughs> He's doing the schizo MO, dude. Make it stop! All right, this guy's just gonna be there forever. Oh, the it re the game reset him. Thank God. That pastor is gonna jack you off. No, he's not, man. What the hell? What was I talking about? I'm sorry, I got distracted. Guys, I have to pee. This is not good. I'm trying to think of what I could do. I think I can slow the bus down, but I, I can last a little longer before I, I have to slow the bus down. I can do this. My screen was completely black when I was doing that. Oh, so you were just kind of like Any guessing. Any pounders in the chat? That's Happy interesting. Happy birthday, brother, man. Be funny if I could open the door and like someone could like jump out and just like I could leave them on the side of the road, you know? Yeah, thank you, son of Jan. Appreciate it, dude. What does a bus driver do if they have to pee? I think there's a little socket. Um, that you're supposed to pee in on every bus. And it just goes outside of the bus. Like, it, it, it just drops it onto the road. What if they don't have a penis? You could put it up to your thing if you're a non-penis <laughs> I was about to say enjoyer <laughs> you could still like you know you could line it up <laughs> if you're non-penis penis enjoyers see. yo good morning thank you for the 200 bits of course it is basically good morning to me you know what I mean it's always a good morning when I'm on the open road ah, you know what I'm saying Oh my. There's nothing down there, man. Oh, 
I love that guy in the back that's it's just like thrashing seven. this entire time. Yo, proud Buffalo. Thanks to Prime Sub. Much love. He's dead. Let's see what's going on in the radio. Third parties are provided as is without warranties of any kind. And you accept that your use is of your own free will, exclusive expense, and liability. Okay. Mm. Internet connection! The software may require an internet connection to access internet-based features. Duh. Authenticate the software or perform other functions. It will seven. will vary. User accounts! In order to use the software... Happy birthday. The software, birthday. Okay, so he's just reading an instruction manual for something. I, lo I love that he's just reading an instruction manual. NPR? That's, a, that's what NPR sounds like 90% of the time, is they're just like... Signs never say anything. I always get so excited. Yo, thank you, Nomads, for the sub. Proud Buffalo, thank you so much for the 42 months. Good morning, thank you. And Son of Jan, thank you so much for the 45. Is this actually going to be the whole stream? Nah, I'm pretty sure, again, man, I'm like 90% sure that other cars start spawning about two hours in. Uh, a bug hits the window about four hours in. And about eight hours in, you make it to Las Vegas. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I gotta stop the... I, I think I have to stop the bus, guys. The fact that I have to pee is, like, distracting me right now. You just spoiled the entire game? Well, I don't know, like, if that's actually true. This is all just stuff that the chat has told me, so... The bug is actually two and a half hours in. Dude, I can't wait for the bug. Dude, I, I'm dying here. Alright, let's try to stop the bus. Let me see what happens. Bro, I'm so nervous. It's gonna, like... Oh, no. Is this gonna, like, make us, like, get towed? I'm so scared, dude. What happens if you stop? I'm so scared, guys. Alright. Enjoy the radio. Such transactions, and you agree that your sole remedy regarding all transactions is through such software store, not licensing. This agreement is solely between you and licensing. You acknowledge that a software store may not have an obligation to furnish any maintenance or support services to you in connection with the software, except for the foregoing, to the maximum extent permitted by applicable law, the software store shall have no other warranty obligation whatsoever with respect to the software. Any claim in connection with the software is related to product liability, a failure to conform to applicable legal or regulatory requirements, claims under consumer protection or similar legislation, or intellectual property infringement are governed by this agreement. You must comply with the software store terms of service and any other software store applicable rules or policies. The license to the software is a non-transferable license to software only on an applicable device that you own or control. You represent that you are not located in any U.S. embargoed countries or other geographical areas. Okay, we're good. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> What's up, man? How you, how's it going? I was just pissing real quick. We're, we're, we're getting back on the road momentarily, sir. Nothing to worry about. It's nothing to worry about. We're going to be right back on the road. Jesus fucking Christ, man. What are those hands doing down there? Can you open a window, please? It's hot. Yeah, I got you. Okay, he's back in his seat. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me, dude. My God, why why would you do that to me? An unsuspecting bus driver. All right. Now, folks. Every 30 minutes, we got to get a new conversation topic. Am I right? Come on now. Let's do it. 
Okay, this is a like I swear to God, every time I click new conversation topic, I just know what the chat is gonna say already. You know what I mean? What was the first one? It was like, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? And everyone was like, um, cock, pussy, whatever. You know what I mean? And then I, I refreshed it and it was like, what's one thing you can't live without? Same answers. I kid you not, I just refreshed it. What is your favorite smell? I'm not fucking around. Balls easily. Gasoline is actually probably my top three. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm just such a blue collar. I'm such a blue collar guy, you know what I mean? I just love a nice smell of a uh, delicious. Ga I I don't know, man. It just smells really nice when I'm. Bro, this guy is like. <laughs> I gotta just use the rear view. I gotta stop jerking my whole head backwards. Apple pie, baseball, gunpowder. Now, what does a baseball smell like? I know a tennis ball has a very unique scent. He's multi-boxing another VR game. That was another idea that I had was to play like 10 games at once. I don't know if there's a way to like get one controller to like be bound to everything. That would be really fun though. To just play like 10 GameCube games at once or some shit. Chewing tobacco is not a smell, also. Is it? Yo, Nomads, thanks again, dude. I appreciate it. Wasn't this game made by a celebrity? I don't know. Substituting similar pieces of software of equal or greater value. This warranty is limited to storage media. Is that someone? Yeah, it's made by 50 Cent. Who's your favorite celebrity? Um, That's a hard question. I feel like all of them are... Um, evil in some capacity, you know? Um... Uh, Yafit Kodo? Danny DeVito. That's a pretty good one. What about... JB Smoove? No, I think he's problematic because he did that. He does those gambling ads now. Why are people using the word yapping all over Twitter now? Because yapping is just a commonly used slang term now for when someone's like, what is blood waffling about? Is it weird I genuinely believe like this tricks the game into making me go faster? The New Yorker wrote an article claiming that Desert Bus is the worst video game ever made. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, like, this is not even the worst game that I've played on stream. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. You know, like, those people need to do my challenge of playing every game on Steam with pizza in the title. They need to play Delivery Pizza Boy Best Pizza. Because that is probably the worst game I've ever played. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That is top three. It was fucking bad. They need to play drink milk directly from cow. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I'm a veteran in the bad game industry and this thing, this game is not bad at all. I would argue this is pretty good. Consider it all. What the fuck? He's halfway out of the car. Wait, is he outside of the car? Dude. 
<laughs> Wait, look at that. He's like, he's like colliding with the with the car beam. Oh my god, dude, that's not good. Is everything okay? I just have a floating head following me, dude. <laughs> Drink milk directly from cow delivered on its promise. You could say that actually, yeah. No, I would not download drink milk directly from cow. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, after I played that game, my PC was like fucked permanently. I'm not, and it, and it's on Steam, which is like crazy. Cause you, like, I don't know. I trust downloading shit from Steam, but something about that game, like genuinely, I needed a new computer within like two months. I'm like dead serious. That was one of the many computer issues that I had. I think it just permanently was mining Bitcoin or some shit, and it made my computer run really loudly. How are you still not there yet? We're almost there, dude. Don't worry. That wasn't that game. It was one of the Itch.io ones. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe that was an Itch.io game that fucked up my PC. What was the Itch.io game that, like, made my PC, like, not work? And then I had to, like, have... Zin like completely rebuild it it wasn't it was so there was that time that i downloaded algebra for dummies but there was something else oh my god no we missed 73 guys i'm so sorry look at the odometer we're at 74 that's even funnier than 73 to be honest any pounders in the chat Yo, David West XD, thank you for the Prime sub. We're almost at 75, dude. Holy shit. Wait, we're actually going to get there in good time. I think we're actually making great time right now. What's our speed at right now, Captain? 46 miles an hour. It's about what this bus tops out at, unfortunately. It's William's birthday. Technically, my birthday was yesterday, but... I am celebrating it today because I was not live yesterday. This is the birthday bash special. Blue collar special. The blue collar the comedy chat? tour. Yo, nerdy rage or nerd eye rage, maybe. Thank you for the prime sub. Where are you driving to, bro? I'm driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in real time. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> he is just swinging his VR headset around the room. Like, he's actually, like, he's, like, sitting down in the chair and then throwing his VR headset at the wall. Sir. Is everything okay? Do you need assistance? This is so scary, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> What's your max speed? I believe 46 miles an hour. I have a theory though, if you go like this, the game makes you go faster. Like watch the odometer. Oh my God. I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's it's like bee hopping exactly. You're one fifth of the way there. That's pretty good. You don't know that though. Is this your next game to speed run, bro? I wonder what the world record is for this. Wait a second. It's a very good question. Like, I actually think if you go like this, like tick perfect. Does it feel like I'm going faster? Like watch the road when I'm just driving normal. You see how slowly those little things pass? Now watch this. Doesn't it seem like it's faster? No?
You're going at least 90 with the strafing? That's what I'm saying, dude. I'd say it's negligible at best. This guy's never gotten a world record, it seems. <laughs> well, guess what, buddy? Back in my day, I was top five tutorial island speed runs. It so. will seven. Yo, J Mart, thank you for the prime sub. I hope you're doing well. I never got the world record, though. Happy birthday, Mr. Livet 5. But, like, getting a world record, it's kind of all, like, politics anyways. You know what I mean? It's like, I could have gotten it, but it's just, like, I, don't, I didn't know the right people, you know? How many subs to crash into the next car you see? I could take a gamble here and just say there's no other cars. It's Will A bunch seven. of people in the chat have said that other cars start coming at a certain point. But Happy I... Happy birthday, Big Willie. I'm gonna just say like, yeah, I could gamble and be like, oh, five, and then just say that there's no other cars, but it's not really worth it, you know, to crash. Yo, J Mart, thanks for the Prime. Mitch, thank you for the Prime as well. Much love, thank you. Where is your Logitech gaming wheel? Are Wait, you trying wait, to embarrass you like a super yourself? Pro RuneScape player or something? Yeah, I'm a, I'm top five. Um, a lot of people say. Yo, uh, J Mart, thanks, man. Um, well, if there's any other cars, I'll be sure to at least pretend like I'm trying to crash into them and then be like, oh, I missed. Sorry, J Mart. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Oh, I, tr I was trying to hit him, but I just missed. No, seriously, though, thank you for the five gift that I really, really appreciate it. Feels birthday man is right, dude. Confused Cougar, Dukas, Sir Yeet, the uh, damn bruvs, and Hand Jays. What's up? Eight hours and 36 seconds is the world record for this game. How do you get... I don't get it. So that guy just didn't stop to pee, basically? What's the closest you can go to off-road without crashing? Let's find out. About that, I guess. It's Will Seven. I didn't think you were baiting for gifted. I just wanted to gift you five. Thank you so much, Jmart. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the five gifted. I'm, in that case, I feel very bad, and I really, really appreciate your kind generosity, and I would say even patronage of the Will's Bus LLC Incorporated Bus Operator Certificate. Is that wait? That's supposed to be my name, not the name of the bus. I just realized that. Bus Operator's Certificate. God damn it, bro. I didn't know that. My name is not Will's Bus. I thought that was the name of the bus, bro. Of and on. Thanks for the 38 months, man. God, I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> you have to restart. <laughs> Don't make me tap the sign. <laughs> Wait, I have to do that to these guys. Hey. Guys. That guy's still doing that. How long has this guy just been flailing his mouse around? Hey, don't make me tap the sign that says... Well, there's no signs in here. Desert bus for hope. Bro, that guy, I don't know, he's just freaking out. Like, he's actually just been freaking out this entire time. And then that guy with the hands is scaring me. He's always just like freaking me out. Uh, unfortunately, I think the max people that can join the bus is four. So you gotta wait for someone to get bored enough to leave. But listen, how could you with this fucking riveting moments? Or wait, this riveting content. What the fuck am I talking about? What are your thoughts on Pikmin? You know, I played the first one when I was a little kid, and I loved it, but I never actually tried any of the sequels, I'm going to be honest. Has that game, has that series fallen off dramatically? I'm going to say it's fallen off dramatically simply because I hate playing against the Pikmin guy in Smash Brothers. Olimar. What a fucking annoying character. Pikmin 4 was a banger? Is that on Switch? I have a Switch. I've not played my Switch since Scarlet and Violet. Maybe I'll hop on, dude. 
lock in and stay in your lane. Technically, this is my lane, but it's too scary to drive in the right on the correct side of the road. I'll just start dodging cars if they start coming. It's all good. All the Pikmin games are on Switch. Interesting. The series has not fallen off, but your Smash opinion is correct. Then I will maybe try Pikmin 4 because I loved Pikmin 1. I actually... That was one of the first games I had for the... Uh, the first, like, three games we had for GameCube was, like, Smash, Luigi's Mansion, and Pikmin. What kind of Yu-Gi-Oh themed deck did you have when you were a kid? I loved using Insect. Really? I would use um, Spellcaster because I, I just was obsessed with Dark Magician, so I would get all Spellcaster types. I remember trying Warrior because I thought Warrior was cool because of like Buster Blader and shit. But I don't know, man. I couldn't really put together decent decks when I was a kid just because all of our cards were just from starter decks. And trading with kids at school. Dark Paladin is the goat. Dude, I have this like memory of a Dark Paladin being inside of a little like one of those instruction booklets for Yu-Gi-Oh that just like came with some other thing that we bought. And like there was a Dark Paladin in there and I was just like flipping through the pages and I found it. And I don't know if I like imagine this or if this was like a real thing where they like put it in there on purpose. But like, I actually just like, it was so weird. One of the strangest memories I have where I'm like, was that God giving me a dark paladin? The fuck is that? The only tournament I went to, some guy destroyed me so bad and made me never want to play again. Also, someone stole three blue eyes white dragon from me. Yeah, that's the experience of Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments, is just trying to scam children out of their cards. Just a loose card in an instruction booklet. I'm, like, 90% sure it's a real thing, because I remember looking it up, and there's, like, either a Shonen Jump or, like, it's literally called, like, Dual Instruction Edition or something. If you look up like all the editions of Dark Paladin, I'm, I'm for real, dude. <laughs> dude, can you imagine if you could grab the wheel? Could you imagine how bad that would be? I loved the Lord of the Rings games on the GameCube, dude. Holy shit. Those were some of the goats. Like, I actually think that if they made games like that, like, are there, are there any, I guess, like, Gauntlet Legends for the N64? There's just not that many, like, console action RPG, like, dungeon crawlery type games, I feel like. I don't know. That's something that I always wanted when I was a kid, is, like, a, with more of those, like, Lord of the Rings type games. I think that might be what, like, Monster Hunter is, but I never played that. I one time sold a fake Yu-Gi-Oh card for $5 in elementary school. $5 for a card back then was like... Basically thousands. What are you doing inside of me? Stop touching that. Buddy, listen, I'm a bus driver. Jesus Christ. I got a wife at home. Oh my God. This fucking freak. What is wrong with you, sir? There was a Lord of the Rings Star Wars Battlefront style game? I didn't know about this. What the hell? You ever played Battle for Middle Earth? It was like Age of Empires. I did play that one, yeah. That one was fun. All those games are fucking good, man. I, I was like at uh, just like a game store recently and i just like the, the 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 games that they would make there was like a chronicles of narnia on game move on back move on back move on back the driver on the bus says move on back all through the town all through Point the town over your shoulder the babies, the babies on, on the, the bus, bus say wah 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 the babies on the bus say wah 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 
all through, all the, town. through the town. Rub fists in front of eyes. Anyways, they would just make games of it. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the desert. They would just make games of anything back then. Like, there was a Chronicles of Narnia, like, Game Boy game and a Polar Express Game Boy game. And I was just like, I just don't, I feel like they don't do that now. Am I wrong? Like, I don't know. I guess they make, like, those Marvel games that nobody plays. But I'm just like, dude, it's so weird that there's a Polar Express game. <laughs> what is that? Every movie had a game. I guess, yeah. I guess every movie had a game. <laughs> oh my god, bro, he's still dancing. <laughs> I imagine this guy's like actually just like sweating. Like he's been dancing for an hour and a half. <laughs> he's like he's actually just like in the VR headset, just like listening to music. Just vibing, bro. Hitting the gritty, doing the floss. Any Can we get another gritty? Chat? Happy birthday and safe travels on the road trip. <laughs> yes, dude, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a really good gritty. Yeah, ready, JP. Thanks for 52 months. Thank you, man. There was a SeaWorld game. I wonder what if I could like make a video on this, you know, if I could like I'm just trying to find the worst like movie movie to video game. I guess it would just be that Gollum Lord PLS of the Rings game. Pikmin 4, there is a dog you can ride. I will maybe stream Pikmin 4. I could check it out. It seems like too good of a game for me, you know. Nah, I never played Fire Emblem. Weren't they like board game ass type games am i wrong the madagascar game for the original xbox was awesome dude i um we've talked about this many times but the viva pinata game holy fuck that game was good like i actually was shocked I, it was called Trouble in Paradise, or no? Was it Party Animals? It was one of those two. Where you could, like, grow your own pinatas. It was, like, kind of like, um... What's that game? Not Monster Hunter. It was kind of like Spore. Fuck, that game was good, bro. I've never even played Spore, let alone streamed it, actually. I used to make fun of my friend for playing that. That was my days where I would like only play Team Fortress 2. Um, and I would make fun of my friend for playing Spore. This was like when I was in middle school. <laughs> this was my era where I stopped playing RuneScape because they made like HD graphics and shit and it just started sucking. I must have been like in seventh grade at this point probably six yeah this was like because sixth grade i think was the last time i played runescape like until old school came out that's not true but i would i would stop on every now and then but anyways favorite pikmin color uh isn't the blue one the best i like the blue it's yeah Will dz thank you for the prime seven. sub i don't know they probably there's probably like crazy like rainbow color ones in the new ones 100%. Yeah, thank you, DZ. Really appreciate the primer, my friend. What was your TF2 main? Scout. I play Scout and I would play Spy sometimes, but Scout is just like my... Um, I genuinely believe that like... I mean, it's like playing Rogue on Dark and Darker, you know what I mean? It's like a fucking... It's the highest skill ceiling. 
You know what I mean? Can you put the radio on? Dude, trust me when I say you don't want to listen to the radio. Dot com. It's over. It's over. It's over. Hey, thank you for tuning in to KDBL FM, your source for the latest Desert Bus legally binding documentation. Oh. If you accept the terms of service, please press the Egyptian hieroglyphic for yes on your new merit keypad. If you have not pressed the Egyptian hieroglyphic for yes on your new merit keypad within five seconds, the annual license agreement will repeat. No, five, no, no. Sorry, I don't. Four, what is the button? Three, two. S? One. There's only two buttons. Limited software warranty and license agreement. Please read this EULA carefully. If you do not agree to all the terms, you are not permitted to open, download, install, copy, or use the software by opening. Okay, so he's just reading instruction manuals again. God fucking damn it, man. The software and any other I wanted the desert news, bro. The I didn't press the button in time. We got the worst ending. He's like literally reading the licensing agreement for the game. Like he's reading the entire thing. Two hour mark boys. We're actually, I mean, give it up for hour two. We're like doing good. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel great. I feel really good. That does sound like Charlie Day. Aren't you in the wrong lane? Technically, yes, but the car drifts to the right. So it's just easier to drive there. Cause if I don't, that happens then I'm, if I drive off the road I get towed and I have to start all over so oh thank you so much for the food this is exactly what I needed to refuel wow that looks delicious thank you so much it's very aesthetically pleasing thank you scary Mochi I can't have you in here right now I'm really sorry Hannah can I that was it. I just need. I. I feel like Mochi's gonna make me crash. I'm really sorry, Mochi. As long as the door is open, it's fine. I just. If she's like locked in here, she's gonna jump on me. You're a dick. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Show the food, dude. Look at how delicious that shit looks. I don't know. It's got like sesame seeds or something on there. That's crazy. What the hell? All right, I gotta move my I gotta move my coffee and stuff. Let's see how my passengers are doing real quick. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that guy's still just freaking out back there. <laughs> Hours later. Good. Good. Is this when oncoming traffic starts coming? I think so. According to what I've I've heard from the, my chatters, apparently this is when that that starts to take place. Dude, how can I even eat this? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's yummy. Wow. All right, let's listen to the radio. I don't have uh, enough money to live off for them or their family. Wait, what happened? And uh, during this time, there were many farmers who were encouraged to purchase wheat crops uh, as the government promised that they would provide some form of subsidy. Uh, really? Many ex-soldiers realized that this was an opportunity for them, and they went and bought cheap land in Western Australia uh, in the Campion district. Wait, this is Australian and, history? Uh, this land is arid desert and was not suitable for farming. They also huh. invested much of their money in wheat crops, uh, which they planted, assuming there would be the subsidy, which the politicians oh, yeah, yeah. failed to provide. They didn't provide them with After the subsidies that they were promised? About how to deliver said subsidies. What the they hell? Gave up on the idea entirely. As you know, deserts are not good for farming. True. Due to Who's with me? Low nutrient content of the soil. Mm. And the Makes sense. soil in particular has many hard sandstone areas which are almost entirely devoid of nutrient content. Is Australia just like or a big desert? Is there any like good land there? 
I say this as someone who lives in the desert, by the way, so I'm not, listen, as such, and I'm in the desert right now. Had very little yield on their wheat. And those that did had invested a lot more money than they were anticipating uh, hmm. to get these wheat crops to grow. During the end of the 1930s, no! a zombie! Uh, 1930 era, Get out! Get out! There was a large herd of 20,000 emus, approximately. Alright, well, it's time for me the to abandon the back of the bus. Not finalized yet. Hopefully, someone can take over. Oh no, is he talking about the emu war? For their breeding season. Oh no. Heading from coasts. No, not the emu war, no. Regions, Don't talk about this. Which is their traditional mating migration. Much of the land bought by the farmers was in this inland region. And given uh -oh. the a large amounts of water that the farmers had imported... No, don't them, tell me the emus attacked the them. emus saw this region as no. an excellent opportunity for them to gain sustenance for the turbulent mating ahead. Mm. The mating habits of the emu are well documented in our previous lesson titled The Mating Habits of the Emu. Mm. During this time, many emus ravaged the crops of these ex-soldiers and the soldiers petitioned their local members only to find that there was little they could do. They couldn't Upset do anything the about the emus? Soldiers They're emu soldiers! Sent a message to the Minister of Defence at that time, Sir George Pierce. As they had served in World War I, many soldier settlers were aware of the power of the Ministry of Defence mm. dealing with situations that required force uh, Makes sense. and that often could include uh, military assistance to civilians who were trying to establish their livelihoods in war-torn areas. Okay. And? Unsure how to deal with this situation, the minister sent... I'm too interested now, I have to find out. A large amount of food, uh, temporary accommodation, and ammunition. Did they win? Uh, Sir George Pierce also wanted to document uh, this incident and sent out uh, many cinematographers uh, in order to document the support the government was giving to the people. They thought it would be an uh, outstanding PR exercise. Unfortunately, everyone involved underestimated the EMU. No! Military underestimated? began in October of 1932. The war was conducted under command of Major Meredith of the 7th Heavy Battle Major of Meredith. Royal Australian artillery. There were several soldiers armed with Lewis Enfield rifles. They had guns. You're fucking uh, joking. They 10, had guns. 10,000 rounds of ammunition. The operation had to be delayed due to some rainfall. And this caused the emus to scatter over the area. The rain stopped. November 1932 and troops were deployed. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I always like heard about this emu war thing, you know what I mean? That people always talk about, they're like, oh, Australians, they lost a war to emus, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I always assumed that was like in times where like the, the fucking guns didn't exist yet. I thought they had like cannons and swords at best, you know what I mean? Maybe a cannon or a musket here or there. But the fact that they had like full on rifle, like World War I rifles, which granted were pretty shitty and they would maybe jam up. 
That's crazy. Our prime minister is an emu now. Damn, get his ass. Holy shit. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really respect... Um, I don't know, man. I don't really feel... I don't... I honestly have, like, seen videos of emus, and they're incredibly terrifying, so... Personally, I would lose if I was one-on-one -on -one with one, even if I had a gun, probably, so... Listen. Anyways, what was I saying? Pikmin. A great game. <laughs> there was something I was talking about. And I just completely lost track of what it was. Bro, this guy's just... I love that he's just, like, listening to music and just getting hyped. Any plans oh, he's doing the Macarena! The dark and darker clone dungeon born. Yo, J-Mart, thank you for the $5. I don't think I'm gonna check out Dungeonborn, unfortunately. I, I've heard from reputable sources that that game is, quote, Raid Shadow Legends level. Um, and that it's very bad and they're trying to just like buy their way into Like they're like paying people to play it and they're trying to like get people to like make the jump from Dark and darker. I don't know though This is just what I've heard I'm coming over to convert your room into a public gym My garage is already a public gym, bro. What do you mean? You fool. Haven't you done raid sponsors before? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, listen. I'm still allowed to say that the game's bad if I'm not currently being paid by them, no? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm allowed to be like... If they're not paying me right this second... Any pounders in the chat? As long as you don't clip this and then bring it up next time I do a sponsored stream by them. You know what I mean? I thought this was a no-no. I don't know. I think it's fine, right? Yo, Scumbag Zell, what's up? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, I saw Soda Poppin' playing it, and it looked like Dark and Darker. Yeah, he's I, he played a lot of Dark and Darker, too, so I'm sure that he... I don't know. I'm sure he'll, like, recognize that it's kind of bad, but I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out for one stream, but I think at that point, I'd rather just stream Dark and Darker. Because there's, like, a new map on that game and new shit to do. You've been straddling the center line for 25 minutes? Okay, I don't know how many times I have to explain this. The car strafes to the passenger side. So if I try to drive in my lane, that's way less time that I have before I have to do an input. Whereas if I just sit in the middle here, we're chilling, bro. As long as there's no other cars, which there are, haven't been for a while, we're fine. The bus owns the road. Everybody knows this. Okay, now he's just... Rot this guy is like literally 90% of the content for the stream. He's like rotating in a circle. Aren't you afraid you're going to get arrested? No, man. Again, we're in the middle of the desert. There's no laws out here. It's... Mo it's... What is it? Um... Maritime? Or marital laws? Whatever it's called. There's no laws out here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You know? Okay, you guys have to guess the song. Ready? Yeah, it's Candy Shop. It's one of the only songs that I know, to be honest with you. This is the same one joke. Okay, but like, that's the only song that I know is the thing. That is Candy Shop, yeah. I don't know any other songs. <laughs> like, you guys are saying same one joke. I can do P-I-M-P. -P. Okay, sure. That's that's 50 cent. Uh, <laughs> I can do drums too. Watch this. Any 
sounders in the chat? Play the one that goes be boo boo bop. This guy loves it. See, he's fucking having a great time. That's the thing, is like. Ask me about corn. Yeah, thank you for the 18 months. I didn't know you listened to so much 50 Cent. It's a great artist, dude. Listen. He's a fantastic artist. I don't know what the problem is. Um, I did watch Anatomy of a Fall yesterday, and the song uh, P.I.M.P. by 50 Cent is a big part of that movie, which is really funny, because not really something you would try. They're not really something you would expect. Why did I say try? I didn't think you would reach delirium. Do many men. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Please stop shaking the bus. I'm trying to do my crossword puzzle. I'm really sorry, dude. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. All right, let's get a new... We've hit hour number two. Let's do a new conversation topic. That reminds me. Guys, what would you do if you couldn't use the internet or watch TV for a month? It's actually a pretty good one. I have my answer. Jack off, touch my balls, die, kill myself, <laughs> jerk off, jerk off, masturbate, suicide, I can't say legally, drugs, read a book, your mom, terrorism, exercise, go outside, unfortunately. All right, listen. Um, I'm trying to think of what I would do. I would um, do nothing and then it's a month. I would collect my winnings from whatever Mr. Beast video that was forcing me to do that, you know? I feel like most of Mr. Beast videos are just him being like, yeah, I had this guy not use the internet and then I gave him $500,000. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's what I would do is I would collect my winnings. <laughs> I would go rent a movie from Blockbuster. Dude, I used to live... Well, not really. But it's in Bend, Oregon, the last remaining Blockbuster. I never got to go. I've always wanted to go there. Still alive, though. I would reread Dune. Then... Oh, okay. A lot of you guys would be um, dying... Is, am I, I'm allowed to say, like, if I'm reading a chat message where someone says, oh, I'm, I'd kill myself. Am I allowed to say that? Or I feel like that's allowed, right? It's probably fine. I've realized recently uh, a way that I can get around it, it is if I say, oh, I'm going to end it all. Because that could mean anything. You know what I mean? Like, that's a way that you could, like... That's a way that you can kind of get away with, like... You know, you're kind of... That could mean anything, really. You could say... That could mean I'm going to end this stream or um, throw my dinner away. I don't think in Minecraft is a thing. I guess it never was, but yeah. You say a lot of bad words, your channel might be done for. Yeah, I think you're right, unfortunately. I think I say way too many bad words. Like a lot, a lot of bad words. The FBI has in Minecraft. Yeah, they like, they're aware of in Minecraft, but they're not aware of in RuneScape, luckily. Yeah, thank you, Del Real. Love you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Do you think you're just going in a really big circle? Um, no, I'm going from Tucson, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, you goose. What are you talking about? I like to imagine the game is just one really long generated road that has like a couple events that occur. I don't know. I kind of do wonder how they made this game. Because it feels so real that I'm like... What happens if you go off-road? Bro, I, I, I genuinely just like every time I look back, this fucking guy is doing some crazy bullshit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is he under like this guy? Oh no, he's like moving towards me. He's crawling at me with his hands. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ, bro. This guy's scary. Some guy on my friends list is now playing Counter-Strike 2, guys. Just a heads up. I got a little pop-up just now. Sucks Any for him, bro. He could be chat? playing Desert Bus. Yo, Vicia, thank you for the Prime sub. Much love. Hannah, thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the food. It was quite delicious. That was very good. The sun is starting to set, is it? Yeah, it does. I guess the sky is, like, darker than it was. Can you do an ad lib online? I can't, I can't do that. I can't tab out, unfortunately, at all. It's almost time for your 15 minute break. There's laws about these things. Yeah, I fucking wish, man. I wish there was laws about this. I'm two hours and 19 minutes in. I've, I actually have, I've taken a 30 second break. Not even gonna lie to you. What happens if you drive in the sand? Uh, your car breaks down, you get towed back to the beginning and you have to start all over. I don't know if there's lights, actually. That's a really good question. If it gets dark, like, am I going to be able to see the road? What if there's, like, a sharp turn or something? Can we do another round of Simon Says? What's another, like, game? We played I Spy, we played Simon Says, we did 99 bottles of beer on the wall. I'm trying to think of other, like, road trip games. That's cool that the... I just realized the air freshener moves when you swerve. That's fun. Do the ABC game. Oh, 20 questions? Okay, okay, okay. I'll let you guys... I'm, I'm gonna think of something, and then you guys can ask me 20 questions. I need to think of something good, though. Yo, Caps, I cannot tab out of this game, I fear, but I really appreciate the 100 bits. There's no way to tab out of the game. I, I tried at the beginning. I played, we played I Spy, and the, I actually got the chat with I Spy with My Little Eyes something small, and it took them about 25 minutes to guess that it was sand. So I managed to kill, like, a lot of time with that. You know what I mean? That was actually very effective. Okay, let me think of something. You did not say sand immediately, you wish. In your fucking dreams, bro. Okay, I'm thinking of something. You guys may now ask me questions. Or you can say, is it? And then I will tell you if you're right. I'm thinking of something. Question number one. <laughs> is it Garfield penis? Dude, I'm not even kidding. It was Garfield. Like, I'm 100% serious. I, the thing that I thought of was Garfield. Like, I'm dead fucking serious. The first <laughs> message. <laughs> is it Garfield penis? <laughs> Close. It was Gar... Okay, let me think of something new. Hold on. I actually genuinely have to think of something else. <laughs> let me look around. Okay, okay. I've got a new thing. I've got a new thing. Ask me any questions, and I'll tell you, and you, you guys have to guess. A knife. No, I don't have a knife here. It's not come. Is it in your room? Um, in a sense, kind of. Is it dark magician? No. No, you're supposed to ask questions that are hints. Is it food? No. Is it electronic? No. Is it on RuneScape? No. Is it a Yu-Gi-Oh card? No. See, that's four questions. You guys are wasting questions. Is it the Emu War? No. Is it a cuck chair? What? Gorilla penis? No. Is it tangible? Um, It could be. I don't know. It could be. Is it to do with America? No. Well, I don't know where it's from. May no, it's not. Originally. Is it the Los Angeles Clippers? No. Do you own it? 
Again, like, in a sense, kind of. Is it yellow? No. Can you own it? You can own it in a f sense of the word. Is it air? No. It is genderless. Does the bank own it? No. Is it your computer? No. Is it your dignity? No. You guys suck at this, bro. You're getting, there's so there's like easy questions. Is it the internet? No. It's like literally just a thing that I'm thinking of and you guys just aren't asking the right questions to get there. You know what I mean? Is it a pet? No. You could feasibly have it as a pet though, I suppose. But I would say you it's not something you would think of as a pet. Is it alive? No. Does it have scales? No. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to say I don't think so to the scales. It is not an eight mile road. Is it an animal? I... In its universe, kind of, but no. Is it a Pokemon? No. Is it a pal? No. Is it in a video game? Yes. Yes, it is in a video game. You said, is it a lot? Yeah, wait, you said it's not alive. No, I said technically it's not alive, but it could, it feasibly could be or something. I don't remember exactly what I said. Have you seen it on TV? It depends on what kind of TV. If we're talking Twitch TV, then yes. Regular TV? Maybe. Is it in RuneScape? No. I'm pulling up Akinator right now. <laughs> Just reverse. Putting in, like, the exact answers that I've said so far. Is it Midnight Sumo? No. You guys are really bad at this, I'm gonna be honest. Is it Pikmin? No. It's literally just like a thing that I saw, like... I'm not gonna say what it is, no. I'm not, I'm not gonna give it to you guys. You're gonna have to figure it out. Fuck you, man, this is 500 questions. Is it something from Minecraft? Yes. It is something from Minecraft. <laughs> Is it a zombie? It's a creeper. It is a creeper. I looked over and I saw this, like, stress ball thing that Hannah got me. Yep. You guys suck, bro. You guys are terrible. Took you forever. It will You guys are all, like... At, nobody bothered to ask, is it from a video Happy game? Birthday, and I'm Billy like, how is nobody asked this? In. We just like, you 10 minutes. Do you have any wisdom for us young bucks? Yeah, I have some wisdom for you. Thank you, Sydney Huffman. Um, um, don't play Desert Bus unless you are willing to have the greatest night of your life. You know what I mean? Don't play this game unless you're trying to experience what real gaming is the pinnacle of video game experience. So I'd say don't play it because it'll ruin every other game for you that you ever play. Why are you guys question marking me? What? You're scaring me. I think the delirium is starting to set in. You should stick to playing this game instead of being an Akinator knockoff. Bro, you just suck at asking questions. If you guys thought of something collectively, I could guess it within five questions. Uh, 
Like, watch. I'll play. I'll play this with this guy right here. Okay, you think of something, and I'll ask you yes or no questions. Okay, and then you'll tell me yes or no. Yes, I'm talking to you. Okay, let me know. Okay, you thought of something. Okay, is it? <laughs> is it from a video game? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Is it... Any pounders in the chat? Alive. Yes or no? Yes, it's alive. Okay, is it me? Is it my character? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, no. <laughs> so, um, is it... In RuneScape? Yes. Fuck. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Uh, is it a boss? Yes. Is it Calify Queen? Fuck. Is it... What other boss would this guy pick? Is it red? No, it's not red. That, that, that gets rid of a lot. Is it blue? No, it's not blue. Okay, hold on. Let me think. Uh... That, del that eliminates a lot. Is it a God Wars boss? Yes? That's not blue, so it can't be Arma. No, Arma's not blue. Is Zilliana blue? Is Nex blue? None of those are blue, I don't think. But Krill is red, so it can't be Krill. I don't know which one of these is blue. Is it General Grador? Fuck, dude. Is it Ziliana? Fuck! Is it Nex? No! Okay, is it Criara? Oh! God damn it, dude. Fuck this fucking game. All right, how many questions was that? How many questions was that? That was way less than what you guys took. It was literally the last one that I guessed. You said five questions? Will do me. What the hell? No. Can we play the quiet game? Shut up. Let's play the penis game, dude. Who in the chat can type penis the loudest? Whoa, that guy's loud. Oh my god, that guy is- Whoa! <laughs> whoa, that guy put four exclamation marks. Any pounders in the chat? Jesus, oh no. Yo, Evan, thanks for the 14 months. Well, can you explain this game to me, please? Um, so you're driving from uh, Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, you're basically... What the hell is that, dude? Oh my god. Guys, chill with the fucking ass keys. You're gonna get banned, dude. It's not good. Twitch doesn't like those anymore. Um... Yeah, you're driving and you're you're in a you buy a bus. As you can see, this is Will's bus. Although that's I found out later that's Any supposed to be my character's name. Cubs fanatic, thank you for giving a sub to Pen Fifteen. I really appreciate it. And then he says, "I win." Yeah, I, I'll give it to you for that. Thank you for the sub. I love you. Fresh Prince, thank you for the hundred bits. I don't think you can spell penis. The TTS won't it's say penis. It might Will say penis seven. with a th. I believe people say it. that's how they get past it. 
Yeah, Mr. Happy Jazz birthday, Cigar, thanks for 19 months. You deserve all the best. Um, Keep being you. Evan, thank you for the 14 month reset. He says penis, it doesn't say it. Uh, Sydney, thank you so much. Appreciate the six months. And Baraki, thank you for giving a sub to Cubs Fanatic. Welcome, Cubs Fanatic. I thought I just scammed Cubs Fanatic sub the other day. That's crazy. I swore you just reset like last stream. Hello, Will. Are you okay? Hello, my mustache dude. Hope you're okay. I hope this message finds you well. Yeah, it finds me pretty well. I'm doing good. What can I say? Is America really like this? Just 1,000 miles of nothing? I'm not gonna lie like, yes, this is pretty much exactly what it's like. But the sky is kind of beautiful right now. I agree. We've, you've got a nice pink sky. I wonder if it's going to become nighttime. Like, is there actually a day and night cycle? Sorry. <clears throat> Imagine this, but rows of one-story homes and strip malls and gas stations and car lots. I agree, honestly, yeah. What the hell is that? This is what happens when the sun sets. Shut up, dude. I'm aware of what happens when the sun sets. Okay, jerk. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I've made this drive, not to Arizona, but driven from Las Vegas to California many times, and this is 90% of the drive. And then there's like a, a thing on the side of the road that's like, repent, you're going to hell, you know, like just random shit. VIP is broken, I'm gonna pause redemptions, okay. I didn't even know you could do that, but hell yeah. Well, it's gonna get dark, you won't be able to see the road. It's kind of what I'm worried about, I'm not gonna lie. We work through some more of the terms of service. Yeah, let's see what they're saying on here. And dialogue sessions. Strategies. Legislative forums. Presentations. Special event appearances. Recognition programs. Civic service organizations. That guy's just spinning back there, you assume? Attendance. Strategic partnerships. Publications. Distribution of yeah, he's just kind of like listing things, you know, it's a lot easier to just talk if you just have something to read, you know Any pounders in the chat? Yo, K7J, what's up? To DLC? Where are the ant lions? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This does kind of feel, um, what is that game? Like Stan? I've never played it. Stanley Parable? Is that what this, is that, what this ga that game is basically? I went and watched a whole episode of The Bachelor and you're still here, what in the world? How long is an episode of The Bachelor, bro? Is that, I, it can't be more than 30 minutes. <laughs> it's on TV, what are you talking about? It was two hours? Well, listen, man. You can't drive from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in two hours. Hello? Real talk though, why is the left yellow lane? Wait, why is the ye left line solid yellow? Is it backwards? Wait, maybe, am I driving away? For, did, I, did I go the wrong way at the start? Uh-oh. Can you pause the game? No, you can't pause, you can't tab out. That means you can pass on one side, but not the other. So I'm actually okay for being in this lane technically, right?
I'm just doing one big pass, exactly. There was somebody who I passed right at the start, you know. I'm allowed. This looks like Yuma. Dude, I couldn't agree more. This looks exactly like Yuma. I'm trying to think of what other buttons I can press. Oh yeah, there's this one. It's a classic. Looks like we lost our buddy or he's like up in the rafters somewhere like where I can't see him. It's like hurting my eyes to look around that much. I have not seen a single other car since I started watching. People told me that cars start coming around the two to three hour mark, but... Who's to say? There's also legend of a bug that hits the windshield around the four hour mark, but I don't really believe in that. That seems like a myth. I just feel like everyone's kind of lying. Yo, K7J, thanks for the seven months. I love you, man. Hope you're doing well. I've been watching so many work-related videos that my algorithm is tailoring away from the meme stuff and into boring stuff. Yeah, that's like um, a, a danger of like not do going into private browsing when you're watching boring shit for someone else, you know? You gotta go into the private, uh, whatever it's called, where it doesn't it doesn't track your fucking history. Although one time it's this guy, Will Seven, yo, the people's key. Thank you for the prime sub. One time this guy that was like working on our old house, he was like fixing some shit in the attic. I don't know, man. My landlord just like sent people over all the time to fix stuff. But he was, I was like talking to him. He was like an older guy. And he was like, I, I, I basically had to at a certain point because he saw my room and all the fucking stream stuff and the mic and the camera and stuff. He's like asking what I do. And I was, it's just easier to explain to old people by saying like, oh, I do YouTube because they don't know what Twitch is, right? And he's like, dude, I love watching, I, I love watching YouTube. Uh, I watch a lot of like trade videos and I was like, I don't know what the hell that is. And I guess he watches like welders and like plumbers and like electricians. Like this is the type of shit, like he showed me his homepage and it was all just like 20 different like jobs where these guys were just like influencers, but for their job basically. You've definitely told us this story before. Yeah, man, I told you the day it happened because it was interesting. That also happened to be two years ago. I'm allowed to say it again. Then he told me that he got really, he's like, yeah, I don't play. I was like, oh, I do more like video game stuff. And he's like, this was a like 50 year old man, like 50 plus. And he was like, dude, I don't play video games. One time I got really addicted to a game called Metroid. Almost ruined my marriage. I didn't ask. I didn't pry. Guy was awesome, dude. No, he was really nice. Yeah, maybe he was just horny for Zero Suit Samus. Wait. Guy in my office will play Steve MRE videos on his second monitor while he works. That is awesome, because, like, doesn't that guy just, like, not upload it's anymore? Will seven. He's, like, in the backlogs of videos. He's, like, re-watching them for the fifth time. Yo, ever in Skyland. Thank you for the Prime sub. I love you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Oh, he uploads still? For some reason, I thought he, like, stopped uploading. I don't know why I thought that. Like, I genuinely thought he just didn't post. What is your favorite Mario game? Dude, I don't really, like, fuck with Mario like that. You know what I mean? Like, me and Mario aren't that tight. Like, I could easily just say, like, Mario 64, and then the whole chat will be like, yeah, based, based. So true, you know? I'm going to say Mario Golf. Does that count? Mario Tennis. For the N64. Or Mario Golf for the GameCube. Damn, there's so many good Mario games. Mario Paint. What is Super Mario RPG? It's weird. Like, I've heard of this game, but I just have no idea what it is. Yeah, Mario Baseball is great. I like Mario All-Star Slugfest, whatever the fuck it's called. Yo, Knobland. 
But the best Mario game is Mario versus Sonic at the Olympic Games, obviously. Isn't that funny that like the the fastest thing alive, like quoted by Nuts on the Table Play Thousand Year Door. Like Sonic is according to the lore, the fastest thing alive. Faster than like the land speed record car that he races. Uh insane athlete, like probably, you know, better than any human in the history. And the his opponent at the Olympics is a short, fat Italian guy. Um, which doesn't really make sense to me. At least put Luigi in there, because he's, like, tall and, like, handsome. He's literally playing against plumbers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Will Chamberlain versus Mario. Yo, the green bean stream, thank you for the 200 bits. Nuts on the table, play Thousand Deer Door. I don't think I'm gonna play that. I've heard good things and I trust, I like trust it's a good game, you know? But like, maybe I'll wait for the remake. I've been here for a, a good minute now. All you've done is drive in a straight line. What is this game about? Hey, you know, you drive from Tucson to Las Vegas in real time. Um, it has a little odometer. That's how far we've driven. It has a timer. That's how long we've been driving. Two hours and 45 minutes. Damn, we're almost in hour three. Let's fucking go. Yo, what's up, J-Mac? How you doing, man? Should be fun, dude. Hell yeah. You can also listen to the radio. The sun is starting to set. Like we're, we've making, we've made it far enough to where the sun is setting. That's pretty fun. Where's your trucking outfit, dude? I was gonna wear a hat today, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a hat on at some point. Can you put Subway Surfers in the corner so we have something to watch? This was Subway Surfers for. Uh, men of the olden days, you know, is just watching the open road, watching the lines on the road pass by as you drive through the desert. Shouldn't, shouldn't the sun be setting on the other side of the bus? Um, no, I'm driving from Tucson to Vegas, meaning I'm driving west. And the sun is setting to my... Right. I guess I'm going south right now. Right? Because Vegas is in the very bottom of Nevada. And that means Tucson must be northeast. I don't get it. Doesn't the sun set in the west and rise in the east? Arizona is south of Nevada. I thought it was east of Nevada. What's east? Oh, Utah. I'm thinking of Utah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know where Arizona is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to restart? No. You are going the wrong way. I very well could be because, like, there's two ways. You take a left or a right at the start, and I'm pretty sure I, t I went the right way. But it's not marked, so maybe I am on the wrong. I don't know. We'll find out in about six hours. No way you went live early and I missed it. Yo, what's up, Amos Rules? How you doing, man? Yeah, you're always the guy that's in my offline chat saying early stream Peepo Riot. What the hell? Any pounders in the chat? It's Will 7. That was Green Day. Yo, Dirty Gambling. Thank you so much for the 43 months. Hope you're doing well. Weak horn. I agree. The horn is not a very good horn. I wish it was a better horn because, like, it really limits the amount of sounds you can do. They purposely made it a boring horn so that you can't have fun with it, you know? I respect that a lot.
I can't turn on the fan. I can open the door, though, if it's hot in here. Look at the sun, dude. It's beautiful. I wonder if we're going to pass it at one point. Or does it just stay right there? Surely we pass the sun at some point, right? Because it really limits the amount of sounds that you can do good game review. I, I like it's true, bro. Like if this was the real horn, like it's like more like beep beep. It's not like a honk honk. That's not what a like car sounds like. No car horn sounds like that in the history of cars. It's too electronic. It's not analog enough. You know what I mean? What type of radio stations do you get out here? I'm gonna go back in with my metallic gold colored pencil. Add some shading. What do you think they're drawing? Why would you be using a metallic gold colored pencil? That was a pretty boring episode, you know? You gotta fix that wheel alignment. It's so annoying, dude. Like, that's actually the, just the worst part. I mean, obviously, if it was just whole W simulator, there would be no point to the game, you know? But the fact that it has terrible alignment and just drifts you off the road, and then if you drift off the road, you lose, is very bad. Double Big Mac stream when? What, are they making a double Big Mac? Holy shit. This video is going to go crazy on the VOD channel. I'm going to like, I'm going to figure out how to put ads on the VOD channel before I post this one. Because I mean, this shit's going to pop, dude. This is going to be like a 1 million view video. I mean, people are going to love this. This is content, dude. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Yo, Buana Lover, thank you for the 500 bits. I really appreciate it. I'm very sorry that I cannot watch that video. I literally physically cannot tab out of this game or pause it. What's your PB for this game? Um, I mean, there's currently a bet going. Somebody said that, I mean, people said I couldn't do it. The full eight hour drive. Um, we will see. Will, do you want me to make a video out of this? Um, I will probably not do that. Maybe I'll... I'm gonna have Tally do it, I don't know. I haven't asked Tally to make a video on the game store simulator yet. I really need to do that. Cause that's a good one. Uh, but yeah, dude, there's a, um, look man, there, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of money riding on this. I have people betting against me in the predictions. I've had people saying, I'll give five subs if you complete it. You know what I mean? Listen, I got a, I got a lot riding on this, dude. We're three hours in. Listen, we're basically there. I'm gonna be honest. This, I'm in the home stretch at this point. Five hours to go? That's easy. Hour six is going to be really rough. Make a video about this, but edit it to only include the parts where Will isn't talking. That'd be really funny if it was just me sitting here for like segments. And then eventually I get there and it's just me like, huh. That was a fun game. Could you imagine if I just sat here for eight hours, said nothing, and then was like, wow, that was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. What are those like flashing things that you see every now and then when you drive? You see that? Are you actually going to do it? It's pretty funny if I do. I'm not going to lie. Like, this is to prove once and for all that I'm a blue-collar streamer. And, um, I'd say I'm, you know, 
I'm proving it. David Goggins running along the side. I think he lives in Las Vegas, dude. Any I'm not kidding. In the chat? I'm pretty sure that guy lives in Las Vegas. Maybe at the end of the game, you get to hit him with the bus. You know? Yeah, Volkswagen. Thanks for the Prime sub, dude. I hope you're doing well. Hey, well, follow-up question about the boxing match. Do you think that you could beat Aiza in a box? D dude, I'm not kidding. I was like three minutes into the drive, and you said, Will, do you think I could beat Aiza in a boxing match? And I said, nah, that's kind of fucked up, dude. Aiza's a really nice guy. I've met him in person. Then you waited three hours to ask the follow-up question? Uh, no, I couldn't bring myself to hit that lovely man. He's too nice. You know? Volkswagen, thank you for the prime. This must be the pre-recorded stream that he warned us about. Damn, that would have been a fucking good idea, dude. Just air this. Just play this game in my own time. I just, again, I just sit there and just say absolutely nothing. The mic is muted and I'm just like sitting here like... That is actually genius. Planted comment, exactly. I planted that one. Fuck, that would have been so funny, man. But it would be a boring stream is the problem. You know what I mean? Like this is at least like a fun stream. Right guys, haha. -ha. Yo, this guy's still going. How did you guys do that? For like 20 minutes at a time, it's crazy. Get a road soda at the three hour mark. I might get a literal soda. The road sodas won't start till later, I fear. Cause like if I drink some wine and then I like get tired, I'm really worried that I might stop. The fact that he read exactly what I copied and pasted from Wikipedia earlier proves that it's a pre-recorded stream. That is true. You did copy and paste a whole article and I read it. Why are there no other cars in the road? Any Have you never, you've clearly never made this drive this game before. This makes me want more of that longest drive game or whatever it's called with the mysterious poop in the driver's seat. That poop killed me and ruined my life. Almost done. Wait, I want to hear what the end of this. Well, that's it. Oh, now I see it. Turns out that's a picture of a cat and a unicorn flying through the night sky. Oh. Okay. There we go. Wow. There, you ha there you have it. Well, page 49 is next. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start in the top left corner, as usual. Wait, what? So in the top left corner, I see a flower shape. Flower? And I think I'm going to color that orange. Okay, color the flower orange, good. What is happening on the radio? I don't like this. I'm scared. Hey, we got some music. Nice. The fuck is happening with my passengers, dude? One guy just left. We got an open seat on the bus. What is this song? Is this copyright? Your dreams are calling now. No, you just I promise you so now. 
I love you. It's Swill 7, it's Swill, it's Swill 7. This song's kind of mid, I'm not gonna lie. I wish it was better. It's kind of shit. Yo, qua oh, sorry. Did you guys like that? Chopped and screwed. Oh my god. All right, three hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a new conversation topic. Perfect. Good timing. Exa give it up for hour number three, ladies and germs. Honestly, we're doing pretty good. I'm, listen, I'm chilling. I feel great, honestly. How you guys feeling? No? Bad? Not great, huh? Okay. All right. Not long. He really likes the music. You're not here. What's up? You really just drive for eight hours? Yeah. Hey, this is Doug. You're driving the bus. I know. That's what I said. Thank you so much. Oh, You're going to the store? Okay. I might need some wine, like, later tonight. Yeah. Bottles of wine? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you make sure that, um, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Hey. Richie, go on. Go. Go. Oh, no. This is not good. She's refusing. Because she's going to jump on me, and I, I can't pause it. Just keep the door open then. All right. What was that? Did you guys see that shadow? What the hell is that, dude? Look. What are these shadows being cast across my vehicle? This is terrifying, dude. What is that? Is there like a UFO? Is it a random event? Could happen. Did you not know that this is a horror game? This is terrifying, dude. Oh my God, it is. Okay, hold on. Let me get some music, or let me get a, um, Wait, hold on. Let me see if the music's over. As seasoned the listeners will tell you, we may not get it 100% correct. As always, listener feedback is appreciated. Please address all correspondence to mail at... It's hurting my ears. All right, guys. New topic. Um, if you knew that you couldn't fail, what would you do? What an interesting question. What the fuck is that, bro? What a horrible fucking conversation piece, you know? This shit is next level boring Lamau. Two weeks for that guy, please. Beat it crazy style cock, your mom, heroin, come. Your mom, conquer the moon, drive from Tucson to Las Vegas. You can't open the brochure? No, that's how you exit. Nice try, bro. Nice try. That is how you exit the game. It's the only way to get out. 
or by turning off your PC. What is that? Dude, what were these like shadows? I wonder if it's gonna be nighttime. Do you think it's scary at night? How do I join? The game is free to play. I don't know. I think only four people can be in the car at once. There's um, there's three people in the car though. This guy just keeps nodding at me. This other guy keeps spinning. This other guy has not moved in like an hour or so. I think you like pull the the red switch. What is going on? Dude, this is why I wanted the door closed. I, I think the cat is getting into something over there. I'm terrified. It's gonna be pitch black soon. Oh no, 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 the darkness is falling. This is not good, guys. Can you tell me what you're doing and why you're driving? Okay, I will explain this again. I am driving from Las Vegas. It's getting dark, yeah, I'm kinda scared, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm driving from Las Vegas, or, or I'm driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, I got my own bus, it's called Will's Bus. Can you tell me who the passengers are? They're viewers, you can join if you want, the game's free to play. I don't know. Only four people can be in the car at once though. Aren't you gonna stop for that hitchhiker? No. Uh, no. What was that? Oh, I think that was someone joining. Welcome, guy in the back, how you doing? That guy's just AFK, dude. What was that flash in the horizon? Oh, uh, that's been happening a lot, actually. I'm not kidding. Like, that's been happening a good amount. There's been a lot of flashes in the horizon. What are we drinking? Just having an Olipop for now. I will I will crack open the wine in a bit. I don't know when. Probably later in the drive, you know? Because I'm worried I'm going to, like, crash if I have a couple road sodas, you know? And now that guy's freaking out back there. Oh my god, man. I joined a pl- and wait, I got placed in a few random buses. I love that like there's other people playing this game. I, I do really admire that, that there's just like random people that are playing this game. And they're just like having random people join their bus. Have you had to fill up yet? No, I don't think you need gas at any point during the drive. There's a very large gas tank in this bus. They didn't really plan that far. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Is it pistachio? Yes! Pistachio. What the hell? Oh, that reminds me. You'll never guess who I saw today. Pistachio the Amazing. He's a magician. I don't like this. That is scary, dude. I literally talked about this earlier in the stream. Dude, I talked about that like hour two. But Any pounders in the chat? Happy birthday, buddy. Glad to be here at Swill 7. Bro, that is not cool. I don't like that. That is really scary. I don't like this anymore. That is terrifying. Yo. Tichayel. I still don't know how to say your name, dude. I'm sorry. Thank you for the prime sub. I love you, man. The horrors begin. Do you think they're like listening to me? Seven. And I thought, or I had, I thought my like that is actually guy. terrifying. I need an edit with that. I need someone to like take the first clip of like whenever I said that, like with the timer on screen, and then the second clip with me turning that on hours later. And the first thing it says is, "What's your favorite flavor of ice cream?" That is so scary, man. I don't like that one bit. Hey guys, what's your favorite party game or board game? We played Simon Says earlier. Hard cheesy. I've never played that. Do you do people actually like Monopoly? I don't believe that. I I firmly believe that that's made up. I think you guys just like hanging out with your relatives. Which is a good thing. 
Monopoly sucks ass. Yeah, it's kind of bad. What is that? You see that? Cool. Is this a European game? What side of the road are we supposed to be on? Buddy. I own the road. I'm supposed to be all over it. Monopoly only sucks if you play house rules and Any don't use the, the auction chat? system. What is the auction system? Wait, what? Yo, Daring Unicorn, what's up? This guy's playing competitive Monopoly over here. What the fuck? Auction improves Monopoly 3,000%. What is the auction system? Like, genuinely, I don't know. I thought you just land on a tile, and then once you land on the tile, you buy it. And then if you collect, you can trade with people. The problem is that, like, me and my brother would just do joint ventures, is what we would call them. And we would just, like, split the profits. Like, I would give him, like, Park Place if he had Boardwalk or whatever. And then we would split Any the profits 50-50 if anyone who landed there. But, like, that, it's just, like, a bad game, bro. Like, genuinely. It's just, like, not a very well-balanced game. Because the entire game is predicated on, like, making deals with other people and then just outlasting them. It's just, like, kind of... A bad... I don't know. Yo, thank you so much, Cody. Consider... I can't click that. I'm sorry. That's the whole point? Monopoly is just a bad game, dude. Like, I'm telling you. Try playing it online sometime. I'm like, okay, that would maybe be a fun stream, would be to play Monopoly. It would be funny to do, like, online Monopoly. Because do people take it, like, really seriously? Now I'm curious. Gloomhaven is the best board game ever made. Eh. I don't even know what that is, man. Risk is a better game. I played Risk one time. No, not one time. I played a few times with my dad because he told me if he beat. Oh, I had when I this is when I had the original Xbox, and he was like, I was trying to get the Xbox 360, you know. And he's like, I'll get you the Xbox 360 if you beat me at Risk. And so I played him like 20 times in Risk and, and he won every time. And eventually I just decided I was just gonna rush him and attack him right at the start of the game. And that's what I did and I won. That game sucks though. It's like genuinely terrible. And then I got an Xbox 360 for Christmas. It was awesome. Was he mad? Yeah, of course he was mad. This dude was on like a 5-0 win streak against me, and then I just decided to go fucking all out. Yeah, Blitzkrieg is ass, dude. Just honestly, like, I remember him molding, but I remember it was like around Christmas anyway, so like, I was like, he got me the 360. But still, dude, got a 360 out of that shit. Let's fucking go. Catan is goaded. I also kind of disagree with that, unfortunately. I think Catan is like, again, that's just like, you. I think you just enjoy hanging out with those people. I'm trying to think of what like a, an example of a good board game is. Um, I guess there just are none, Never mind. I think like trivia games are fun. But that's like the only ones that I can think of that I actually would be like, oh, I'd love to go play that. Will probably thinks that life is a good board game. Well, I mean, it teaches a good lesson. And that's what I love about the game of life, you know? A lot of these kids these days, they could use the game of life. You know, all these, all this Fortnite business. Oh, I'm sorry. How do we feel about Mouse Hunt? I think it's called Mouse Trap, but I know the game you're talking about. 
Catan is good even with people that you hate. I am like, um, I don't know. I've, I, like, this just sounds like I'm bragging, but I feel like I've won most of the Catan games I've played just because you have to, like, li it's the same thing as Monopoly where you just have to, like, make a deal with someone, and as long as you're the one that's fucking them over, you win. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to convince them and be like, oh, yeah, dude, like, I'll give you, um, three sheep if you have wo uh, wood or whatever. It's getting darker. I'm surprised at how long it's actually taking for the sun to set. It sounds like you just don't Any like board games. Yeah, I don't know. I, I the, To be honest with you, 90% of my board game experience is just my brothers and my dad wanting to play, and then I would just want to play RuneScape. So I, like... I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll play one round, and then the, they're like, and then we play one, and they're like, let's play again, and I'm like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I remember there was times where I would, like, take my laptop uh, and just be playing RuneScape while we played a board game, because it was, like, so excruciating to take any time away from RuneScape, you know? Have you found the headlights yet? Bro, there's no headlights. Like, I've pressed everything. I've pressed every button imaginable. There's no headlights. How are you still driving this bus? It's only been three hours, man. It's really not bad. What's your favorite game besides RuneScape? Um, probably Desert Bus. Or Desert Bus VR. It's Will Seven. Honestly, I think right now my favorite game other than RuneScape is Dark and Darker. Happy belated birthday, Bill. I just really like that game. It's very fun. Very cool. Underrated. Um, trying to think of like uh, other favorite games. Obviously, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Um, whoa. Will, I just checked some some of you playing Dark and Darker, and you're good at it, TBH. Thanks, man. I'm one of the greats, you know what I mean? Listen, I'm, just, I'm one of the... I'm like, um... Brian Scalabrini, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not as good as, like, the pros, but, like, I'm better than um, most people. The Tony Snell of Dark and Darker. Exactly, yeah. Like, I'm putting up crazy numbers in the G League. I'm like the Eric Bledsoe. Just putting up wild numbers in China. Do you think it will return to Elden Ring when the DLC comes out? Nah. Oh, wait, yes. What am I saying? Sorry, yes. I will play that. Sorry. I just, like, sorry, was on autopilot. I will definitely play it. I love me some Elden Ring. Unfortunately, I need to make a new character, guys. So, um... I don't know how I'm going to, uh, do that. I, I might just, like, get a game save mod, because I really don't feel like playing the entire game again. Is that bad? I'd rather just play, like, any of the other Soulsborne games. But I just, like, lost my game save, dude. That was literally, like, two computers ago that I played that game. What will you do when you have to pee? I've already taken one bathroom break. Since you can't pause the game, I just... 
took my hand off the W key and waited to the bus to come to a complete stop. And then I just went AFK. Isn't it saved in the Steam cloud? Bro, no one uses that feature. I hate to say it, but listen, man. Steam Cloud is kind of weird, TBH. Steam Cloud is giga good. Everyone else uses it. Bro thinks clouds do anything for your computer. It's a cloud. Well, honestly, the reason I turned off Steam Cloud is because there was, like, some shit with it deleting your game save with Elden Ring when that game first came out, but I've just never turned it on for any game. I just turned it off for everything, and I've never turned it back on, but yeah, I don't know. Will, do you do mewing? Of course, yeah. I'll, I'm always mewing. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I just, the first thing I saw, I hate that. Gooning versus edging. I don't know the, if those are even different things. When... You're losing it, man. You would never do that in a normal stream. I feel like I would, but... I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am losing it. I feel a little weird. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel very, um, out of it. What I've been doing to entertain myself is kind of like having the steering wheel go over these, like, lines in the middle. You know what I mean? So left side, then right side of the dash line, then left side. Like, this is what I've kind of been doing to entertain myself the last 30 minutes. How long is this game? I'm not sure. I think it's like eight hours. What was that sound? Was that the wake up lines? Yeah, you can get the wake up lines, listen. That's the danger of like having it drift to the to one side. Can you please rate these apes from one to five? Chimpanzee, gorilla, bonobo, orangutan, gibbon. Okay, number one, uh, gorilla. Or no, no, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Number one, orangutan. That's my favorite animal of all time. All time favorite animal. Number two, gorilla. Number three, gibbon. Number four, bonobo. Number five, chimpanzee. Sorry. I do love Gibbons, of course, but I'm just saying, like, those are my favorites in that order. Any pounders in the chat? Nice. Yeah, Dad the Rapper, thanks for the 34 months. Love you, man. Fuck you, Will. Bonobos are number one. The chimps will remember this. Yo, Dad the Rapper, thanks for the 34 months. I honestly feel like I would be friends with a chimp if I came in contact with one. So uh, I'm not saying I dislike them. I'm just saying I love all great apes. Can you off-road the whip? Um, No, you get towed back to the beginning and you have to start the whole game over. Didn't that woman have a pet chimpanzee and it ripped her? F okay, this is like literally every single time. Like, here's the thing about that lady. I'm gonna just say it. It was her fault, okay? She gave that chimpanzee, uh, 
downers of some kind. Some fucking drugs. I don't know. Some kind of downer med medicine. And that, like, causes, like, severe hallucinations and paranoia in chimps. Whereas it causes, like, calmness and sleepiness in humans. Okay? So, like... I'm sorry, bro, but if you're gonna give a wild animal that stuff, and then, you know, it, obviously it's gonna fucking attack you. I'm sorry to say, but, like, then now people are like, oh, you shouldn't have a chip it's as a pet. Look at how dangerous it is. Like, seven. motherfucker, dogs are mauling people every day. You know what I mean? Every single day there's some dog that's, like, absolutely destroying someone. Like, just chewing them to bits. They're not- that doesn't mean they're outlawed. You should be able to have a chimp as a pet, is what I'm trying to say. It's yeah, Daddy Sandman, Will thanks to the Prime Sub. And you should be able to walk them without a leash. Kawhi is cooking happy birthday, big fella. Yo, thank you so much, Riverton, for the 51 months. Kawhi's been cooking lately, man. You love to see it. Not an argument doesn't make chimps safer. It does make them safer. They're safer than what the average person thinks. Because the average person only knows about owning a chimp through that one news item from the early 2000s. Can you drive a Hellcat in this game? I think you can get a Hellcat once you get to Las Vegas. I think Dane Cook had a, had a skit about advocating for is, pet monkeys. World or old world apes? Yeah, thank you, Sminley. I don't even know what that means, man. I'm gonna be honest. Old world? Are we talking like Planet of the Apes type shit? I don't think it was Dane Cook. I think that's Jerry Seinfeld that has the joke where he's like, people like to have a pet monkey. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just time to have a kid. Like, you're you're dressing it up in clothes and like walking it around and giving it cigars to smoke. You know? Maybe it's just time to have a kid. Pretty funny joke. Good one, Jerry. Would you have killed that groundhog like Bill De Blasio did 10 years ago today? What the fuck is that? What happened? They killed a groundhog? On Groundhog Day, no less? This kind of feels like Groundhog Day, you know what I mean? Like. I keep thinking that the drive is over, but it's really the drive has just begun, you know? He dropped Staten Island Chuck, the New York Groundhog, and it died seven days later. Are you serious? He killed the Groundhog Day Groundhog. I was trying to get, like, to the bottom of this Groundhog Day business earlier. I still don't really understand what the point of it is. Because, like, I saw a bunch of people on Twitter being like, Oh, the Groundhog is only 39% accurate. And it's like, what does that mean? Doesn't the groundhog decide when the season ends? Like, it doesn't actually matter when the season ends, right? I've been in the stream for 30 minutes. I'm still completely lost about what this game is. I'm 30 and I'm completely lost about Groundhog Day. Me too, man. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I teach about Groundhog Day lol. If it sees its shadow, it means winter is longer. Okay, that's my... I have a kindergartner's understanding of Groundhog Day. Exactly. So how is it wrong, then? What is your favorite thing about OSRS? Just a question. Don't answer if you don't want to. It... It's not that crazy of a question. <laughs> the part where you said don't answer if you don't want to made me cautious to answer. Like, wait, why would this be a bad question to answer? Um, 
I would say my favorite thing is honestly the art style, which is kind of weird to say, but I really do like the, I don't know why it's just like very like old school RuneScape and Ultima Online are just two of the best looking games to me where I just like really admire the way that they like look visually. I don't know. They just look like good old ass old games, you know? I questioned you about free to play and you didn't answer. So I questioned about OSRS in general. Oh, I didn't see the first one, man. I'm really sorry. I love the Ultima Online aesthetic. Yeah, me too, man. It's so sick. Like, I want to play that game again just to, to have the little gauntlet cursor and the just like running around in the wilderness, getting PK'd by some guy, having to run back to my body as a ghost, getting lost, restarting my character completely. Good times. It, OSRS looks like playing Mist, but in real time. What is Mist with a Y? You know, I was gonna play like this is a this is an idea I might use in the future. So, but you know, we're four hours into the or we're three and a half hours into the drive. So, like, well, this is kind of like the um, you know, like no one's gonna see this, right? Like, people might watch the end of this vod and they might watch the beginning, but no one's gonna be here three and a half hours in particularly, right? So I was going to play a bunch of games that came out the year I was born, which was 1996 as part of, as, as like a birthday fun thing. But I honestly just couldn't find enough games I was interested in playing because like a bunch of like really good games came out in 1996, but all of them were games that would take me like multiple days to finish. It's Will Seven. Yo, Lars, thank you for the 13 months. I love you, man. Hope you're doing well. Just saying. Mist was the best. Yeah, it was the best selling game that year on PC, which is why I was like reading up on it last night. I was like, what's this game? And then I couldn't find anything about it. There's some really interesting games that came out. You guys are all going to Google like all the games that came out now. Thank you, Lars. Thank you, Sminley. Thank you, Daddy Sandman, for the six months of Prime. He says, yeet. My mom played Mist when it came out, and she still kept her notes for the game. You should have her replay it and record it for posterity, you know? And have her use her old notes. That'd be awesome. Can you download Quake? It's a Doom game. Is Quake a Doom game? I thought it was its own game. Maybe they have Quake 2. The hell? The Mist sequel Riven is being remade in 3D. I'd play that. Came home drunk from a party and I will be enjoying the It's Will live stream with a juicy pizza. What's up, Chester Chest Nutter? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yo, this is where the party's at, bro. Just wait, like, a couple hours from now, I'm gonna be popping open the wine. It's gonna be crazy, dude. We got this shit. pop up in the wine would you say you feel like michael jackson yeah i feel like the king of pop right now what was that sound dude what was that popping sound in my ear that usually means someone just joined or someone left this guy's nodding this guy's spinning this other guy's just looking out the window nice yo willie i got a lot of points riding on this when are you gonna give up on this game type shit I honestly feel like I'm three and a half hours in. I have not even close to stopping. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I haven't really broken a sweat at this point. T 
type shit though. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna quit this game type shit. I'm looking at all the people in the chat that are doubters and I'm like, you threw your money away, dude. I'm a little scared with the 55k I bet on doubting. Really like what you're hoping for if you doubt, like is that I run out of things to talk about, I crash, or I fall asleep. Those are the only things. Any pounders in the chat? Happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, Sir Dabs a lot. Thank you for the 18 months. Type I love you, man. Constant hijinks and trickery. Is that guy in the radio still yapping? Uh, oh, don't be silly. It's a wonderful slogan, and you know it. I used to come up with slogans for a living when I was in my teens. I came up with the jingle for Professor Gun Sites and Miss Scopes. How did it go again? Oh yeah. If you try to shoot, but you miss a lot, then give Professor Gun Sites Scopes a shot. If you try to shoot and you miss a lot, give Professor Gun Sights Scopes a shot. That's a terrible jingle. You literally can't run out of things to talk about when we get new conversation topics every 30 minutes. By the way, we're three minutes late on the conversation topic. Oh my god, you're right. I think we honestly have skipped the conversation. We've been doing them hourly, but we're supposed to do them every 30 minutes. You're right. Happy blue collar birthday, Billy. Yeah, what's up, Bruin Browns? Love you, man. Hope you're doing well. You know, it's a good day today, man. What can I say? Feeling pretty good. Have we hit Kingman, Arizona? I want to swing by Mr. D's Route 66 Diner. It appears like there's nothing on the road, but it's fully nighttime. I wonder when the sun's going to rise again. It feels like the sun is like still setting, kind of. Is this as dark as it gets? It has to get darker than this. Can you play Mario 64? Um, that's another game that... That's like the game that I was looking at that came out the year I was born. Pokemon Red and Blue also came out the year I was born. I was like, damn, dude. There's just like a lot. I was trying... And then I was like, dude, what if I could do something where I like play all of them at once and I have one controller that's controlling all of them and they're all on screen at the same time. And so I'm just like dying in half the games. It It'd be kind of funny. Will seven. Yo, Kavaras. Thanks for the eight months, man. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, man. Big kisses. Hell yeah. There's a game called Alice Madness Returns. It's so good, but it's sadly made by EA. Yeah, but like EA didn't make like that bad of games until like 2010. I would say every EA game before that was like 50-50, whether it was good or not at least. Now it's like 0% are good for the last like 15 years. <laughs> Am I wrong? Driving west out of Vegas feels like this. Well, at least my passengers are enjoying. I got one guy sleeping, I got one guy spinning, and I got one guy staring directly at me. Like, literally directly at, directly at me. Okay, he spun around, thank God. Wait, what's that? Eh, that's a shit sign, dude, who cares? Did the guy lose his hands when he picked up a pizza? That guy, um, left. The guy that had the hands, unfortunately, he's gone now. Um, this is a different guy. You only- the only people that have hands are the people that join and they're in VR. And there was a guy that like somehow moved across the entire bus, which was really scary. Are you familiar with the truck stop outside of Vegas that doesn't want people camping so they set off fireworks every night? I've never heard of that, no. 
Have you guys ever heard of Eddie World? That shit is crazy. That's one of the craziest places I've ever been. Okay, I'm using my pointer finger to drive now instead of my middle finger. My middle finger is getting very cold. I feel like I'm going to have to amputate it. He rung the bell an hour ago and you haven't let him off? Dude, just fucking jump. Who gives a shit? See if I care, bro. I do like that the air freshener moves. That shit's awesome. Oh my god. You should play the PC tie-in for the series of Unfortunate Events movie from 2004, Will. I will mail you the CD. Yeah, I should play more, like, movie games. We were talking about that earlier, that, like, every single game back then had a movie. Like, I saw a Polar Express Game Boy game at the store one time, and I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. How do I join your bus? I don't know. There's it's it's four slots maximum. We only have three, so you might you just get randomly put into a game if you choose to join up. I think it's the red thing. Guys, I have a question for you. Nah, this game's free. It's not you don't have to buy it. It's called I, this game is called Desert Bus VR, but I just launched it regular, not in VR, and it's fine. Um, okay, here's, here, here's my, um, question. What is your favorite day of the week? Oh, no, I hear Mochi barking at that. She didn't like that question very much. Any pounders in the chat? Almost six pregnancies worth of sub time. Yo, thank you, proper crumpet. I love you. I have to pee again, guys. Why are Thursdays your favorite? Everyone's saying, oh, it's because my day off because I don't stream. Any pounders in the chat? Yo, Alex the Wangster, thank you for the prime sub. Friday because the bad is over and the good has begun. Wouldn't that mean Saturday is the best? Because, like, you don't have to work at all. I guess Friday when I had a job was my favorite day. Because I would still get to go to the office. Which was, like, n way nicer than where I lived. And, um... They would have, like, free food. And you could drink beer at work. It was crazy. Have some Coronas while I'm working. It was honestly a wild time, dude. Great job that was. When I had a job, so you admit that video games aren't a job? Well, in a sense, no. I don't personally think that, but... Also, if I say this is my job, then people say job Omega lol. So... <laughs> it's... It's kind of an ever-going battle where... It's like if I say, oh yeah, this is my office. I, have avo I avoid saying that now. Because if I say... Oh, my office. People are like, office Omega lol. It's a playroom or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, bro, come on. It's not an office, that's for sure. It's definitely an office. It is by the, for tax purposes, it is an office. Nobody has a gorilla cut out in their office, Will. That is not, tr that is just crazy talk. What? I feel like a lot of people do, bro. What about like teachers? They always have weird shit like that, I feel like. Are you actually driving somewhere or just going in a straight line? Uh, I'm driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada. And the bus has a horrible misalignment that causes it to drift to the passenger side. And um, I basically have to constantly correct that. I 
I've heard rumors of a bug that hits the windshield around the four hour mark. And I'm very curious if that's the case. Cause like, I, 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 I kind of am, I'm curious, I don't know. It's Will Seven. Happy birthday, Onk. Stay handsome. Ha ha. Just kidding, man. I'm not worrying about that. Ha ha. Yo, I'm Tones. Thanks for 29 months. I love you. Can you name a player that's teammates with both, both Fred Van Fleet and Danny Green? No. No, I don't think so. Raptors? I don't know where. Uh, Fred Van Fleet got traded or something, did he? Or no? It's Kawhi Leonard. It's Where did Danny Will Green seven. play? The Spurs? I don't know. It's Will Seven. Danny Green's just been on so many teams that I was thinking like, okay, who's people that are on the Raptors? Cause I don't know of anyone else. Danny Green has been passed around so much, Jesus. Yo, Max from HR, thanks to the Prime Sub. I love you, man. I hope you're doing well. Big kisses. I'm Tones. Thanks for 29 months. Well, there's no way that you're going to last another four hours. You want to bet? Let's put our money where our mouth is. I kind of do have to pee, though, so I might have to stop the bus again. Yeah, we're almost halfway there, dude. Think about that. I feel like, again, I've had, I've not broken a sweat, dude. Like, I'm perfectly fine. Could you please answer my question about green onions? This is not a setup. I am genuinely curious. What is the green onions question? I didn't see it. Are there other cars on the road? Many people have said that there are other cars on the road around the two to three hour mark, but now that we're at 345, I'm beginning to not believe them. But also people, uh, what was the other thing people are saying? There's a bug that hits the windshield around the four hour mark, and I'm very excited to see if that's true. Although th since the car thing wasn't true, I'm gonna go ahead and believe that the bug is fake. You know what it's I mean? Will Why seven. would they say all these things to me? 99 hype. Thank you for the prime. Love you, dude. Less than three. What is that lightning off in the distance? I don't know. There's like weird flashes. I think it's just like pieces of metal on the side of the road reflecting off of the headlights, perhaps. Oh, look at that. We have four passengers again. What do you know? What do you know? That guy's just been AFK looking out the window for like hours. I'm not even kidding. That guy in the back. And then that guy's just freaking out. That guy's been spinning for like about an hour. That guy's been staring at me for probably 45 minutes. I'm not going to lie, Will. I looked up screenshots of this game and it looks like you're going the wrong way. Dude, there's no way that they would let you go the wrong way for this long. Like, I did turn at the beginning of the game, but... I don't know. That'd be so bad, dude. Could you imagine if I was four hours in the wrong direction? Fuck me, man. You have 99 hype. Thank you for the prime. Don't you have a GPS? Back in this time, you didn't even need a GPS. You would just get on the freeway and follow the signs, dude. Pretty crazy to think about.
Please stop the bus and check if you're going the right way. No. Never. Printing an outdated map quest. I've told this story recently on stream, but my, like, my, one of my best friends, he like didn't have a smartphone until like midway through college. And he would like, when we when we needed to drive somewhere, or not when we needed to, I would have directions because I had a fucking phone, but when he needed to drive somewhere like all throughout high school, he would like have to either print out the map quest directions or his move that he would do was just get them up on his computer and then he would have his laptop in the passenger seat and just like drive with the uh with the with the laptop map quest directions up or like screenshot the pages shit was fucking awesome man just like hilarious to me that like you're definitely going the correct way thanks man <laughs> will i know that you're four hours in but i can say with the utmost certainty as of now, you're going the right way. You're doing great. If you're going the wrong way, you would have reached Mexico by now. Thank God. Has he just been driving like this for four hours, chat? Don't answer him. You saw the sunset, right? That means you're in the right, you win the right. Yeah, the sun set over there and it's now rising over there. Does that mean I'm... I'm driving um, north, so. Wait. Nah, I'm just kidding, sorry. I was, I was joking. Hi, well, it's me, the bachelor guy. I have now gone and gotten wings and come back home and you're still here. What a fucking wonderful life you live, man. Wow. What a beautiful life, huh? Oh, Will, I just went and watched a whole episode of The Bachelor. You're still doing this. Oh, Will, I just went and got wings and you're still doing this. Sorry that some of us have fucking jobs, bro. Okay, some of us have to drive these lovely people. Well, from Tucson to Las Vegas. You know what I mean? Well, I don't have this like bohemian lifestyle where I can just be like, oh, what am I gonna do today? I guess I'll just watch an episode of The Bachelor and then go get some delicious wings from the store. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go to the local coffee shop and work on my laptop it for 30 minutes and send some emails. Seven. Yo, Chuck Buckney, what's up, dude? Seven. Thank you for the 21 months, hope you're doing well. They were delicious? I'm fucking glad they were, man. I just watched the Lord of the Rings Trilogy Extended Editions and you're still here? Yeah, I guess this is longer than that, huh? That's crazy. Do you have your CDL? Yeah, I have my... Cock... Dong... Long... I don't know. I'm really sorry, guys. I, c I choked. I choked on the spot. I'm so sorry, man. God, I feel terrible about that. Lord of the Rings Extended Trilogy is 16, almost 17 hours long. It is? No, it's not. I've watched it. It's not 16 hours. Aren't they all, like, four hours per movie? The last movie is five and a half hours. Really? Huh. All right. A CDL is a truck license? Well, I know what it is, but that's not very funny if I'm like, no, I don't have it. But you don't need a CDL to drive a bus, by the way. That's to drive a truck. Driving a bus, you don't even need a license. You just gotta show up. You know what I mean? Just saying. Do you have your seatbelt on? Yes. 
Kind of. I guess I don't. How you? How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I feel like you've been typing that a lot. I'm I'm doing good still. Who's your favorite Lord of the Rings character? Uh, Gandalf, obviously, he's the best. That's why I have the big Gandalf poster. Best character, bro. Is this as dark as it gets? It seems about even at this point between that side and that side. It makes me think the sun is on the complete other side of the earth. I can never drive this truck because I never see DLs. Damn. That's so good. Wait, hold on. Can I take that? I'm going to say that in about two hours. And no one will remember you saying that. That sounded really mean, but I just meant no one will remember. <laughs> the hell will jesus that sounds so toxic what i meant is that no one will remember you saying it by the time i steal that joke in two hours he's right well no one's gonna remember me either for the record but if, if we're if we're getting down to it it's not like is it your birthday yesterday was my birthday technically Truck stop win. I need some dragon statues, a bedazzled 10 foot phone charger, and a bald eagle shot glass. Dude, I really need a Zippo lighter with the Punisher on it. Like, I'm dying to buy that shit. I'm gonna carve your head into a Mount Rushmore, into a mountain. Mount Rushmore. IDK why they did that, but it's low-key badass. I agree. That is, like, probably the only cool thing that they've done. As far... I mean, like, the presidents. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like, some actual, like, ancient civilization type shit. To carve your leader's face into a giant mountain. Doesn't it, like, erode eventually? I guess I've never seen it in person. Mount Rushmore. That's crazy. I never really thought about Mount Rushmore. Not since I was a boy. 9-11 was pretty wild. Well, yeah, but... I guess they, you're saying they did that? Can I come over and turn your room into a public gym to compete with Ms. Kiss? What the fuck does that mean, man? He has a gym? Hell yeah. Did you fuck the club up on your birthday? I went and saw the movie uh, Anatomy of a Fall. Uh, it was good. I really liked it. I went to a, a, a small local theater. What did you learn about falls? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm very interested in the job of a splatter specialist now, which is somebody that, like, looks at the blood splatter at a murder scene and, like, tells you what happened. I want to do that. What the fuck? You're just making bullshit up for whichever side hires you. If the prosecution hires you, then you're like, yeah, this clearly indicates a murder. And then if the defense hires you, you're like, this clearly indicates a suicide. And then they just, whichever one you say, you get paid still. You know what I mean? That's like genuinely insane. I want to do that. And you get to see all the fucking crazy blood and shit and brain parts. Sorry. Like Dexter. Well, Dexter had a laboratory, but I don't know if he was a splatter specialist. He was more of a scientist, specialist of science and inventions, I would say. But I'm sure you also have a laboratory if you're a splatter specialist. I don't know. What the fuck are you guys talking about? What is going on here? His mom was bad. True. Fair. 
Yeah, he's mostly a specialist in fighting against Mandark. I agree. He's not really a specialist of splatters. There's that funny ass episode where he speaks French. Guys, I have to pee again. This is very bad. Do you guys think I could be a splatter specialist? Like, what do you need to study for that? Like, I, I would do that job. That's so easy. Because, like, literally in the movie, they have two splatter specialists and they're just arguing with each other. And it's like, okay. You could just say whatever. You have to study forensics? Fuck. I don't want to do that. It's boring. I can't just go, like, apply for a job. I can't be freelance. I'll say, look at how I, look at my dedication. Look at how I drove. Oh, wait. We gotta turn on the radio. Army. Garth lost two armies. Trent continued the attack with three armies. Whoa. Garth defended with two armies. Is he just talking Trent about risk? six, three, and two. He's describing Garth a risk game. Six and two. Trent lost one army, and Garth lost one army. Hmm. Oh my God, chills. Trent continued the attack with three armies. So they're really listening to me, right? Like, are, am I wrong, or are they literally listening to me? Because we were talking about risk like an hour ago. This is like so weird. Am I? Is this like kind of just like I, I don't know? Because we were talking about ice cream, then I turned it on, and they were like. What's your favorite ice cream? Pistachio, which is exactly what I said uh, two hours prior. Now, an hour after I was talking about board games, they're also talking about Risk. Like, it is actually kind of concerning at this point that, like, they're talking about the exact same things. All right, halfway there, boys. Four hours. Give it up for hour number four. Let's fucking go. That is very funny to, like, describe a game of Risk, like how people play chess in movies, you know what I mean? Like playing Risk without a board, just being like, <laughs> mm, Knight to E4, Pawn to A5. But he's like, oh yeah, uh, I attack you for four armies. I bring my three armies and we fight. I fight your, your four armies with my three armies. We both lose one armies. I move five units into Germany. You're driving all this way and you don't have a piss bottle? That's fair, North honestly. Africa. Turn 12. Leon. Leon received three armies for occupying 11 territories. Wow, nice. Leon placed three armies in India. Leon attacked Middle East from India with three armies. Nice, yes. Garth defended with one army. Garth is getting shit on this Leon game, dude. Rolled three. Three, three. Garth rolled four. Leon lost one army. Nice. Leon continued the attack with three armies. Garth defended with one army. Leon rolled five, four, and one. Garth rolled two. Oh, they Garth both lose an army. Lost one army. Leon moved three armies into Middle East. I know, I thought he would lose one army because one of those rolls was a one. And drew a card. Oh shit. Leon fortified. I'm moving one army from Afghanistan to Middle East. Mmm, yeah. Good, good move. Very good move. Garth. Very good move, Leon. Fuck you, Garth. Garth three Hope you fucking lose, you nine, loser. Nine territories. Only Two nine territories, L. Controlling Australia. And four armies for trading in three cards. Ah, uh, yeah, good move there. Garth placed two armies in Indonesia and seven armies in Brazil. Garth attacked Venezuela from Brazil with... Isn't that weird? Like, genuinely, we were talking about Risk earlier, and that the radio just has a commentated game of Risk. Like, this shit is kind of scaring me at this point. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I feel like I'm going insane. We were just talking about risk. Yeah, remember when we were talking about ice cream and then an hour later they were talking about, they were like, what's your favorite ice cream, pistachio? 
And my favorite ice cream was pistachio, as I stated. They are listening to me. Something is happening. Guys, the desert bus just passed on my head. Dude, turn that back on. And then don't talk. I was into that, please. Two. Trent lost two armies. Garth moved five armies into First time Venezuela. Chatter. Garth ended his attack and drew a card. Garth did not fortify. Garth, what are you Turn doing? 14. You suck, Trent. bro! Trent received three armies. No fortify? Ten territories. Trent placed two armies in Central America and one army in Eastern United States. Oh, shit. Leon's Trent about to get attacked it. attacked Quebec from Eastern United States with three armies. Mark defended with Who one Who is army. Mark? A new Trent player? rolled five, five, and four. Okay, I'm bored of this. I'm sorry. I am kind of interested, but like, I feel like I'm going to fall asleep if I have to listen to that guy talk. You think it will talk about Yu-Gi-Oh if you talk about Yu-Gi-Oh? Trent didn't. No, I don't think so. Bro, is the radio talking about World War 3 or 4? You never played Risk? That's crazy. You gotta play Risk, man. It's a good game. It's one of the better, uh... Anyways. Are there other channels? What, on Twitch? I mean... Yeah, man. You don't have to watch this, I guess. But Oh, on the radio. Sorry, sorry. Um, No, it's just one. It's just one. It's the only one. What's up, Stefamous Amo? How you doing, man? Three armies. Oh, my lights! Defended Holy two shit! Armies. Whoa! Mark rolled five, two, and two. Trent rolled six and one. Mark lost one army, and Trent lost one army. Mark continued the attack with three uh, armies. Trent defended he's doing the gritty. with one army. Mark rolled five, one, and one. Trent rolled six. Mark there it lost is. one army. He's widowy. Mark continued to the attack with three armies. Trent defended with one army. Mark rolled five, three, and two. Trent All right, Leon's gonna win that game. I guarantee it. We'll tune back in in like 30 minutes when they're closer to ending. My cult leader and king, I will play Risk. Okay, it's a pretty fun game. Like, you know, like ask your dad if he wants to play. I'm sure he'll be happy. He'll be like, oh, I love Risk. All dads love Risk. Made sure to save their seat, which is where the starting came from. Yeah, dude, I remember that. Like, I'm glad you saved their seat for them. This is like the same guy from earlier, I think. He's just like dancing. He's probably listening to his own music, just dancing, just vibing out. Every now and then approaching the, the chair that I'm sitting in, scaring me. Do you think we can play Oregon Trail one of these days? Maybe. I'd be down. I've never gotten like far in that game, to be honest with you. I usually just lose by like the fifth or sixth turn. My hair looks like shit. What the hell, guys? It's fine. Yeah, I died from dissing Terry. Exactly. Like, what the fuck is that? I just lose every time. It's very depressing. Uh-oh. He's moving towards me slowly. I don't like this. Guys, I have to pee again. I think this is maybe time that I go pee. Well, have you ever played middle... Mid, white middle class guy simulator it's beast i did play uh this one stock trading simulator um where you like are starting working at a stock place and like you just like basically cheat the market and then at the end i got arrested i don't know if that was the only ending though that was a very fun game though what was that shit called the invisible hand i think it was a good game That's upper class? Well, I was middle class when I started there. <laughs> I was middle class at first. At the beginning of the game, they keep commenting about how ugly your chat? clothes are and Happy how poor you are. And big then, kisses. you know, you become the big boss. 
Yo, Cole Leon, thank you for the prime sub, dude. I hope you're doing well. Guys, I have to pee so bad, man. I've not played Firewatch. All right, let's watch this guy while I pee. Mark, Southern Europe from North Africa. I'm slowing down to a stop. I'm really worried the game Trent is going to kill me. With two armies. Mark, hold three, three, and two. Trent, I'm peeing. Three and One second. Three. Mark, lost two armies. Mark, continued the attack with three armies. Trent, defended with two armies. Mark, rolled six, five, and four. Trent, rolled three and two. Okay, you guys can watch this guy, Trent see what he does. lost two armies. Mark, moved four armies into southern Europe. Mark ended his attack and drew a card. Mark fortified by moving one army from northern Europe to Ukraine. Turn 16, Leon. Leon received four armies for occupying 12 territories, seven armies for controlling Asia, eight armies for trading in three cards, and two armies for trading in Irkutsk. Leon placed two armies in Irkutsk, one army in Kamchatka, four armies in Siam, eight armies in Middle East, five armies in Afghanistan, and one army in Ural. Leon attacked East Africa from Middle East with three armies. Mark defended with one army. Leon rolled six, three, okay. two. Mark rolled three. And Mark we're back. lost one army. Leon moved three armies into East Africa. Leon ended... Okay, so how you guys doing? Who's winning in risk? What's your favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Um, Where you at? You like a super pro RuneScape player or something? Yeah, I'm a, I'm top five. Um, that one. A lot of people said. Yo, Mr. Bent, thank you for the fucking five gifted, brother. Holy shit. Thank you, man. Hope you're doing well. Yo, Clutch, C Ned, the colors for you, J West and Toggy. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, Mr. Bent. Love you, brother. So what happened while I was gone? Was it scary? How's your mental health doing so far? Dude, we're four hours in to this drive. It's gotten dark. It's a little scary out here. I'm kind of terrified of these people, but you know. Keep going, will you? Can do this. My whole life is riding. Oh, he's on doing the robot it. now. He's doing the robot now. Oh, look at that, bro! Yeah, he's really, he really is doing the robot. The bug is coming, dude. You guys keep saying there's a bug at four hours, but I, I genuinely don't believe you. Oh my fucking god, dude. Holy shit. Scary. Check the odometer. It says it's at 298. Give or take. Around there. You, you've stopped twice, so the bug is delayed. Maybe they just put it late to scare you. I don't know. I don't think there's a bug, man. Like, let's fucking face it. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck would... Like, because the thing is, like, all the things that you guys have said are, is in the game. Like, oncoming traffic or, like, hitchhikers or a bus. There's a bus stop halfway. Uh, there's a bug that hits the windshield about four hours in. There's an oncoming. The next radio topic is insects. Bro, if it's insects after we've been talking about bu like this bug, no. That'd be really scary. Fortify. He's still playing risk.
You only have a hundred miles to go. That can't be right. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe because I was doing this, it makes me go extra fast. Shift is what makes you go fast. That'd be so funny if I just didn't know. It's 412 miles IRL. So how am I at 299 right now? There's just no way that four hours in, I should be half, unless maybe it's like turning from one to two right now. And I'm really at 199, maybe. That's probably what it is. Cause we're halfway. Isn't it a six hour drive? Oh yeah, dude, totally. What were we talking about before I went piss? I forget. Is this like a simulator game? This is the original simulator game, I believe. This, the original of this game came out in 1997. This is a remake. An HD remaster. Defended with two armies. Still doing that. Oh my god, this fucking crazy guy. Watch out for the Bigfoot. Yeah, see, you guys are just lying, dude. You're just making stuff up. You're making up tall tales. Uh, War Cow, thanks, Thunder Bits. Will, keep going. You can do this. My whole life is riding on you making it. I'm gonna make it, buddy. Listen. Relax. The doubters are in shambles, and also all the people that said, I'll gift you five subs if you actually make it. Actually, no one said that. A couple of people said, I bet you five subs, you don't make it, but still. The IRS has a police checkpoint set up at 350 miles. Be careful. What do you mean? I, 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 I haven't done anything wrong. I'm, I'm, those aren't stolen credit cards. Those are just, um, bus tickets. Those are tickets from all my passengers. And none of them have done anything wrong either. Cloud Wizard has logged on to Call of Duty. What the fuck is this guy doing? Skinwalker soon. Stop saying that, dude. You guys are scaring. Oh my god. Oh! What the fuck are you doing, dude? How did you get up here? Kick him out. The bro. Stop. He's steering the car. Oh, Jesus, dude. That's my, that's my thing. He is reaching for your service weapon. I love that like just like my viewers have found a way to like interfere with like this like very basic game oh my god it's almost four hours and 20 minutes guys holy shit unbelievable let's see if the risk game is still on Wisconsin or XX Wyoming. 
You have ten seconds to answer. VV. West Virginia. If you were the first person to say P, Kansas, you were awarded one point. Rolling on with the next question on Larry okay. J. DeVille's quiz five with your host, yours truly, Larry J. DeVille. Question number two. Question the second. Lawrence, Kansas is a city that is host to a public university. The University of, is it A, Alabama, B, Alaska, C, Arizona, D, Arkansas, E, California, F, Colorado, G, Connecticut, H, Delaware, I, Florida, J, Georgia, K, Hawaii, Where is it? Idaho, M, Illinois. He goes through the whole alphabet. Indiana, O, Iowa, P, Kansas, Q, Oh, P. Kentucky, it's P. R, Louisiana, P. S, Maine, T, Maryland, U, Massachusetts, V, Michigan, W, Minnesota, X, Mississippi, Y, Missouri, Z, Montana, A, A, Nebraska, B, Dude. B, Nevada, C, Okay, I can't with the AA. He goes AA, B, B, C, C. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. I'm over it. Nah, fuck your trivia, dude. It's Kansas. In fact, the answer to both questions has been Kansas. Wait a second. The answer to the first question was B, Kansas. And now it's P, Kansas. Okay, he should be done soon, though. Tennessee, QQ, Texas. He's almost R -R, done. Utah, I'm gonna SS, hear the next question. Vermont, TT, Virginia, UU, Washington, VV, West Virginia, VV, WW, Wisconsin, or XX, Wyoming. You have 10 seconds to answer. It's P, Kansas. <laughs> If you were the first person to say P, Kansas, you are awarded. You are oh, we are halfway there. Oh, oh, oh. Living on a prayer. Life is a highway. I want to ride it. All night long. Smoke em up stinky style boys. Suck down the fat green sticks of the smelly, stanked up dummy. Is it A? It's fucking Kansas again, bro. The answer to every goddamn question is Kansas, you son of a bitch. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa, thank you for the $4.20. Stupid fucking trivia show. That is ridiculous. I can't believe this guy. Yeah, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the 420. We are halfway there living on a prayer. I mean, I'd say I'm more than halfway there at this point. I mean, we're like 55% um, there, pretty much. You said you liked trivia earlier? Yeah, I love trivia. I don't like it when every answer to every question is Canada and there's 50 options to choose from that he has to read through. <laughs> Let me guess. Nebraska, BB, Nevada, CC, New Hampshire. It's just he's gonna go through every fucking state in existence and it's the answer's gonna be Kansas again and then the third answer it's it's gonna be Kansas. Just wait. Just wait. Explain this game to me, I do not understand. Uh the game is driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in real time. And um people can join as passengers? What the fuck is that? How's his hand outside of the car? R R Utah S S Vermont T T Virginia U U Washington V V West Virginia W W Wisconsin Listen, it's gonna be Kansas. X, Wyoming, you have ten seconds to answer. Kansas, Kansas. The answer is Kansas. It's Kansas, Kansas. I was the first one to say it. No one said it before me. I said Kansas. <laughs> If you were the first person to say P, Kansas, you are awarded one point. 
you are listening to Larry J. DeVille's Quiz 5 Just saying. with your host, yours truly, Larry J. All right, let's hear the next DeVille. question. And we're going to continue on, travelers, with question number four. Nebraska, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Colorado border which same state? Is it A, Alabama? I hate that guy. He's making this harder than it has to be. That's fine, whatever. Let's get a new conversation topic, shall we? Ahem. Since we haven't done one in a full hour, I just realized. We haven't had a conversation topic since three and a half hours. Um, let's see here. This is a good question. Would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and good looking? That's a good question. Rich and ugly, rich and ugly, rich and ugly. I'll take the money. Rich and ugly, rich and ugly. I'm already ugly. Money buys everything. I'm already poor and sexy. I want to see the other side. Rich and ugly. You can still fuck. <laughs> I'd say if you're poor and hot, you can still fuck, if, if that's what it's all about. I mean, I feel like you could probably... What do you mean, man? Wait, what? I'd rather be poor and hot. That's just me, though. That's an easy choice. I don't know. I'm just not going to read that. Is that going to be in the top left during the VOD? Is that message just going to show up on there? Just going to scroll past? Someone's going to be like, what the hell? This guy's actually going to drive this bus for eight hours. Holy shit. I love that you're saying that halfway through. Like, I, bro. Honestly, I'm not even close yet. If you think about it. I have to do everything that I've done so far again. Think about that. Like, remember, like, how much, how good of a time we were having when we were doing, like, Simon Says and, like, I Spy and... You know what I mean? Like, th that was just, like, free. Now is when the real issues start to take place. You know what I mean? When I'm like, would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and hot? And everybody in my chat says rich and ugly. That's fucked up. You guys are wild for that. Did you see the first person got that Elon Musk implant in his cranium the other day? What a weird coincidence that that, that news story breaks and then the clipper goes live and he's like, yeah, I just had surgery. I can only use like one of my arms or something for the time, or I can't use F keys for the time being or something. Isn't that weird? Like, doesn't that just like kind of like, I don't, it, I, it's like kind of a big coincidence to me personally, right? The next day, I kid you not, the next day, he's like, yeah, I got I just got surgery. Got to take it easy on the RuneScape for a bit. I'm like, huh. Interesting. Would you guys get the implant? I've been talking about this. I would get the implant if it could make it so, like, everything I see has, like, just, like, demons and goblins and ghouls that are just, like, lurking around every corner watching me. You know, just like the, just like terrifying visuals everywhere I go. Be kind of fun and cool. There's already ghouls and goblins everywhere. Is that why you walk like that? I don't know what you mean. I walk pretty normally. Bro wants to be in a Black Mirror episode. I feel like I already am, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um... Ah!
<clears throat> it's all good. Everything's fine, guys. I knew the bug was a myth, by the way. Like, I fucking pulled you guys. That shit's fake as hell. Well, you should spend some time coming up with Black Mirror episodes in a three-head voice. What if your brother was a RuneScape character, mate? What if, what if your co-worker was a robot from Portal? Like, that's pretty much the entire... What if your, uh, mate, what if your dog was a boss in Dungeons and Dragons? What if your club wasn't shite? <laughs> this is a come town bit. No, it's based on that old tweet where the guy said every runescape or not every runescape, every Black Mirror episode is a British guy saying, what if your mom ran on batteries? And it's one of the best thing. I mean, I, I, I post it all the time, man. I, I, I've, repo I've retweeted that shit every time they've made new Black Mirror episodes, I think. Which is uh, more often than you think, you know? Listen, they, they release new episodes of that show. I watched the new season. Hell yeah, well, you're getting so close to your destination. We're four and a half hours deep, dude. Listen, we're getting there. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I feel like we're actually gonna do this. Checking back in, did the bug ever hit the window? No bug, dude. Not a single bug. It's very kind of like, honestly, I don't know why, but I was really hoping that the bug would happen, you know? I don't know why, but I was hoping that would be a thing. There's a puddle incoming at five hours. A puddle. Can you see it if it's dark out? I think it's gonna be still dark out at five hours. Something in your room just moved behind you. Is the cat in here, maybe? I don't know. Don't scare me, bro. You're gonna make me drive off the road. Will you be sad when nothing happens after eight hours and you just keep driving? Well, I did take two piss breaks, so, like, it might take me, like, eight hours and some change to get there, you know? To be fair. Like, slowing down to a full stop, you lose some time, for sure. Do you know what I mean? Check the radio. Wow, what a great, that was great. I can't wait to hear what's next on the radio. Is he just naming One, six, Pi? Nine, three, nine, nine, three, seven, five. One, oh, five, eight, two, zero, nine, seven, four, nine. Four, four, five, nine, two, three, zero, seven, eight. I've been playing One, online six, Monopoly four, since we had that discussion. Zero, six, Hell yeah, brother. Two, eight, six, I want to try two, that, actually. Oh. If he says pi for five, long enough, three, he will say your phone four, number. Two, what? Wait, actually?
Well, I don't want that, dude. Eight. Three. Eight. Six. Six. Eight three eight six. Eight four four. Eight four four. Five five. 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 Did you say fuck? Jesus, dude. Vulgar. Infinity is weird to conceptualize. Wait, so is that true though? It's not in infinite digits means infinite combinations. How does it never stop though? That doesn't make any sense, bro. It just never stops. So how do you use it in math? It's made up. So why that number in particular? Like, what is the point of that? I don't even get it. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Then how, I could just make up a new number that's, like, called poop. And it's actually 1.25 and then infinite numbers after that. You know? What lame shit are you playing? Two weeks. Going to 12 digits of pi will get you down to the accuracy of hydrogen mod. I don't. I don't know what that means, man. You guys just aren't making sense. Hey, will happy Kona birthday, my guy. Think yeah, you thank can you, play Zach Fowler. Song for the lads on the bus. Again, happy birthday, my dude. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. It's really dark out now. I'm gonna, like, I thought like that was as dark as it was going to get, but it just keeps getting darker. I'm kind of worried it's just going to be like pitch black out soon and the sun won't have any light on it. It's kind of scary. Wait till William learns that 0. 0.99999 equals one. What does that mean? It does not equal one. It equals 0. 0.9999. Why does that cactus have a light underneath it? What the hell? Wait, all of these cactuses have lights underneath them. What the fuck? Is that a heart? Thank you. I, thanks, man. Love you, too. There's a website that has every combination. Fuck, I missed it. I'm sorry. I missed it. Can you retype that message? I'm interested in that. You're passing Area 51 right now. Probably. Gotta get off for the night. We'll see you in Vegas. I'll see you there, brother. We're making it. There's a website that has every combination of letters. So you can write, it's will hits a bug at four hours and it will show you where it exists in the library. What library? I don't get it. I don't understand what that means. The Library of Babel. You missed the bug. Did I swerve out of the way? There's no way, dude. Maybe I'm not gonna hit the bug because I, I'm driving in the middle of the road. What if you turn around and he's beating his shit crazy style? What then, playboy? Seven, 
It's make it's it's hypnotizing me. I don't like I don't like that. I don't like the numbers of pi. I like how it sounds like he's pontificating the numbers. <laughs> he's probably flipping you with the bird when you're not looking, Will. That's or he's building a time machine behind you. No, no, you can't use your fingers on the VR headset. Everyone knows that. Unless those, it's one of those games where you can, like, grip the thing and then you can, like, point. But that's really the only thing you can do. Trust me. Where are you going? Vegas, baby. Vegas. Did the bug come yet? Dude, the bug is a myth. I, it's legitimately a myth. We're at almost five hours at this point. And people are like, yeah, there's a bug that hits the windshield around four hours. Don't you throw that at me. I swear to God, this guy's like playing other VR games and he just is also loaded into this. And like whatever he's doing in that game is just like happening to his character. Like I'm not even kidding. Bill, I'm currently at a hundred mil bank with base 75s. I was wondering what money maker I could do to hit a basic neck setup. I plan to get 85s for doing money makers. I mean, once you have base 85s, you could really do anything. You could do TOA, which is like potential Happy for massive money. Will. Just do like solo TOA, work your way up. Me. I think I've gotten involved with the Russian Mafia. Gonna have to go dark. It's Will 7. What? Yo, Carter Caramel, thanks Thunder Bits, dude. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, you should just double name change. You're probably fine. Um, I would say you can do really anything, like Vorkath, Zolra, those are the classics, Hydra, you know, shit like that. Can you play the song I sent? No, I cannot tab out. It's not possible. I can't pause. I can't tab out. It's part of the game, you know? Whoa. Seven, three, zero, three. He said 730. Oh my god. I, I, you guys heard that, right? You guys heard he said 7-3 right as I turned it on. <laughs> what if you have to pee? Uh, well, you can't pause the game, so what I've been doing is just slowing down to a stop and then running to the bathroom and running back. But I can't, like, alt-tab. I tried that at the very beginning. It doesn't let you alt-tab. You yeah, have a good night, Billington. Love you, dude. Well, do you miss Spissy? That guy? No, not really. I don't know. I wasn't sure what his deal was. I miss Sweaty616, dude. That guy was awesome. That's a great chatter. He used to just type, go, will, go. Or no, hypers, go, will, go, hypers. Every minute for the entirety of the stream. It was crazy. Proper nighttime now. Yeah, once again, it has gotten even darker than I thought previously possible. Which is pretty remarkable. I really, I didn't think it could get any darker than it already had. We need a welfare check on Sweaty616. Dude, he changed his name to like the something caveman. Like the the curious caveman or something. I don't remember. Uh 
I cannot remember. There's somebody in here by now. Thank God you have a nightlight in the form of plant lights in the desert. Yeah, like these underlit lights. Is he fighting himself? Bro, he's actually fi- Wait. Don't touch the brochure, Will. That's how you exit the game. It's actually kind of bright out there. I guess the windows are tinted. That guy has been looking out the window for literally four hours. I'm not- that guy in the way back has been just staring out the window for four hours. That guy has been spinning for a while. I think it's a different guy. I think the guy that was spinning left. He's just like going through it. Like actually, he's really going through it. I thought this game was called Dessert Bus. Well, this is kind of like, this game is like the dessert of life, you know? It's uh, sweet and beautiful and um, delicious and thoughtful. You know what I mean? Holy shit, you're 36 now? Happy birthday, Will. I'm 28, what the hell? What? What do you mean? I keep thinking a deer is gonna jump out soon. That would be rather scary and I would not like it. That was just me swerving, don't worry. If, you, if you're new here. All right, let's see if the guy's still doing pie. Four, six, seven, six, seven, okay. I'm done, I'm, I'm good on that, you know? I don't need any of that. Okay, the sun is surely going to rise soon, right? We're at 447. I guess, honestly, is it gonna be completely dark for the rest of the drive? It kind of is like almost real time, you know? It seems as if it might be, it might just be completely dark. Has anything happened or just driving? Um, what is that? Uh, just driving. That's all it is, dude. Listen, what did you, what did you think was going to happen? Okay, here's a, here's a conversation starter since we didn't do one at four hours and 30 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got one. What was your least favorite job that you had? Cock. It's Will Chatter. Military, military, all of them, life. Blow. Forever 21, huh? Lawyer. Dipshit. The poop store. I loved working at the poop store, man. I miss it. My least favorite job I had was when I worked for this, like, telemarketing company. And I, like, it's like a summer job that I had. I did, like, their Excel spreadsheets. And, um, it was, like, operated out of the owner's house, which was, like, a giant mansion. Um, and he had, like, koi fish. And I had to go like feed the koi fish sometimes. But all of the other people there were just like telemarketing. There was one IT guy. I was the one Excel it guy. And then my boss would just come in every now and then and like think up new inventions. Hey, happy Friday, love you. I don't know if this business still exists, honestly. I cannot tell. Yo, Smitty, thank you for the 29 months. I love you, man. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. Much love. Love you, man. Thank you for the 29. Will not talk about his golf job for a stream challenge difficulty impossible. This isn't the golf course. No, I liked the golf course job. What do you mean? Wait, I did it. You brought it up. I didn't even bring it up. Wait, what? Or the museum job. Well, I also didn't talk about that, bro. I was talking about this job. This is the one that I didn't like. It's Will Seven. 
Dude, this guy had a he had a Ferrari Perhaps though. It was pretty cool. Palette, swill, woo, hey. I don't know how he had so much money. I don't get it. It seemed like the job was like failing constantly. This guy that had the desk on one side of me, his name was Mike, and he was like an old man salesman. Older guy, he was called Mike the Salesman. And he um I told you guys this. He would drink like a gallon of black coffee every day. Like he had a giant thermos of black coffee and it would stay hot all day and he would just like sip on it constantly. And um, anytime he would see someone like putting cream or sugar in their coffee, he would make a loud noise like, ugh. And then I, I, I'd be putting the like, I'd be putting cream and sugar in my coffee. Be like, you know, you put enough gasoline, you put enough of that stuff in gasoline and it'll probably taste good. And I was just like, okay. Sorry, Mike. Uh, and then he would also, like, rant and rave about how he made the best tri-tip. Um, and then I had his tri-tip one time, and it was pretty mid and disgusting. I'm not even going to lie. It was kind of overcooked. What is tri-tip? It's like a meat thing. I don't know. It's good. Tri-tip's great. I love it. I haven't had it in years, though. Now I think about it. No one really makes that these days, you know? And by that I mean I don't. And... You're saying Mike was a real blue-collar man. He was blue, all right. This man loved Hillary Clinton, I remember. <laughs> this was, like, way back when that was, like, an opinion that people had, you know? I remember him, like, always talking about that shit. And I was just like, dude, I don't even... Vo like, I'm... 17. No, no, I was 18 at this point, I think. I was like, dude, I've never voted. There's never been an election, like, in the time that I've been an adult or whatever, you know? Dude, focus on the road. Okay, so then the guy who sat on the other side of me, I don't know how they, how this guy, I think this guy just, like, brought his resume in one day. I don't know how he found out about this company, but he just got hired. Very bad at telemarketing, which I would be bad too, so I don't blame him. But he was a uh, guy that was a little older than me at the time but this was the guy that had the full chest piece tattoo of the afi logo the band um and his his uh his his friend gave it to him in in a garage when he was 16 he said i remember seeing that yeah i've shown it on stream before this guy was awesome It's Will Seven. Yo, SP, they were the prime sub. So how old are you now? You're getting up there in years. I'm 28. This was 10 years ago. Jesus Christ. Maybe a little more than that. I was maybe like 19. I don't remember. What is that? What the hell is that? What was that? Did you see that? Yo, SP, thank you for the prime. Love you, dude. Any pounders in the chat? Happy birthday. Did you check out the new Dark and Darker map yet? I haven't played it. No, thank you for the prime sub. Mr. Bad Bean Boy. Love you, dude. Appreciate it. Can I spawn a hitchhiker? I wish. You can join, but only four people can be here at a time. He's pointing at me. Yeah, that job was fun. The AFI guy, he was really bad at telemarketing, and I would like, and he would get like, you know, uh, mad at himself, and I'd be like, oh, it's all good, man. You know what I mean? Like, and then I would just basically play. I was too afraid to play RuneScape because one time I played it, and Dimitri, the IT guy, like, had to tell me not to. You know, um, he had a bike. He had like a sport bike that he would ride every day to work. And he would always be wearing that, like, you know, like people that ride motorcycles, they wear that, like, armor that, or whatever. Um, he was funny. Anyway, so yeah, that guy, hilarious. Uh, I would play solitaire at work pretty much the entire time. You worked with such characters? Well, yeah, there was a lot of just not interesting people that I haven't, like, there was, like, you know, like some just random people. Like, I don't know, like Steve and Claudia. And then there was this other... I can't remember this guy's name. 
but he was always chain smoking cig like he would be leaving like every 15 minutes to go smoke cigarettes and one time i had to drive him somewhere and my car reeked of cigarettes for like a long time i can't remember his name i honestly forgot this guy existed until just now when you brought that up what is that bro i can't tell what that is It's Will Yo, Sanic, thank you for the prime sub. Happy birthday, Theodore Peterson. Those were your smokes? No. Yeah, it was a pretty bad job. Pretty bad job. Not the best, not the best. I played Solitaire. So I got so fucking good at Solitaire. And another thing that I would do is, like, my the only joy that I would have would be going out for my lunch break, like, and getting going and getting some food. And, um, I, like, started to get these, like, chest pains, like, after my, like, lunch, or, like, around the time I would have lunch, and I was like, that's weird, like, I don't know what that is, like, I'm young, I shouldn't be having chest pains, and what I found out is that, it's um, Will Seven. croissants are bad for you, and I would get a croissant sandwich every day for lunch, and it turns out that those are very bad for you, it's just butter, it's not bread. I thought croissants were just bread. And uh, my mom was like, well, what have you been eating for lunch? And I was like, I go and get a croissant sandwich every day. It's just got like, you know, ham, cheese, avocado. And she's like, yeah, you really shouldn't be eating that every day. Um, so yeah, I didn't know that croissant. <laughs> so this was when I was like 19, bro. I thought croissants were just bread. I have not eaten a croissant since a single time because I'm like afraid of them. I have bad memories. Apparently it's just butter, like layers of butter on top of each other. It's crazy, bro. Who the hell would have thunk? Yo, Oda's lawyer, thanks for 11 months. I love you, man. Hope you're doing well. Sanic, thank you for the eight months of Prime. Bad Bean Boy, thanks for the 42 months. I have not checked out the new Dark and Darker map. I would really like to try it though. Maybe sometime soon. I don't think this counts as a variety stream for the week. You know what I mean? This is more like a, um, this is more just like a specialty stream. This is the birthday special, you know? And what do you know, folks? We're almost five hours in. Didn't that last hour just fly by? Am I right? Who's with me? What's on the radio? Just nothing? This is scary. I'm sure the, the at, at the five hour mark, he'll come back on probably. Right? What does our friend think of the static? Oh my god, he's gone. Is it bad that whenever I see that he's gone, I just think he's in a different part of the car somehow? Thank you to our VR friend, dude. I really appreciate your service. More than you know. Maybe you've driven out of the signal range of the radio? No way. Good call. He could have been there. I gotta wait till the five hour mark to see if the radio is really like broken. Cause I feel like new programs usually start around the time that like a new hour starts. That's usually when I remember to turn on the radios when a new hour starts. Where are you going? Las Vegas, Nevada. What's up Snoopy? I think you'd really like this game Snoopy. What the hell, dude? Where's the where's the fucking music? 
the hell's going on here? What happened to the schizo guy? Nah, it's just a bunch of, it's a few guys. This guy, the spinning guy is still here, and then the guy that looks out the window, he's still looking out the window. Yeah, I think we just have no radio anymore, man. I'm gonna be honest. I think the radio, the last three hours is no radio. All right, I can handle that. That's fine. The alignment on this bus is so fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. That's like what makes it annoying, you know, it's like... Exclamation mark feeling penis. What the hell? Wait, what? What does that mean? You fucked up by not appreciating the radio content when you had it and now it's gone forever? That's actually true. I feel bad. You know, I should have been listening to the whole radio broadcast. It's all good. That road is in impeccable condition. That is true. It's like never been driven on pretty much, which is really nice, you know? What was your guys' favorite radio broadcast? Was it the... I, I think the Risk game was my number one. The... The guy reading the terms and conditions was pretty mid. Or the end license agreement, whatever that shit's called. The trivia guy, fuck that guy, dude. The person reading pie. I think the woman that was like coloring or whatever, that was interesting. Who ended up winning at risk? I don't know, I tuned out and then I tuned back in and unfortunately, um, well, uh, the guy was just reading pie. But I caught the beginning when he said 3.14. And so people knew what he was talking about, at least. If I, if we didn't hear the 3.14, I don't think anyone would have realized what he was doing. Leon had Australia. It was basically over round two. True. That was very true. All right, let's get a new conversation topic, shall we? I think I'll crack open the wine like hour seven, probably, just to be safe. Wow, this is a good question. If you had to give yourself a new name, what name would you pick? That's actually a good one. I like that one. Will, 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 The Rock, Will, William, Will's bus, Suede, Mulva. Chet, Ash, exercise bike seat. Okay. I guess I probably shouldn't have asked this question. It's not a very good, because on a website where you can choose usernames, I'll I'll say if I could pick a new username, I don't know if I would go with it's Will, you know? There's too many Wills on this website. Like anytime someone says Will in a non RuneScape stream, people assume it's like seven other streamers before me, you know? So that's bad. So, um, not a great name. Just in my personal opinion. The Crusher? I would probably go with, uh, Long Rod Come God. If I could pick a new name. I would choose Bodhi. I could have made my, yeah, I should have just made, made my channel Bodhi with a zero instead of an O. Or sorry, with an O instead of a zero. I'm sure, like, is that shit taken? Like, some someone should just get partnered and do that. That should be hilarious. It's Will Seven. I know the guy that has the name Bodhi in game, bro. He probably can scam so much GP just by being Nothing like, like 90 miles. Oi, lads, need some free right, stuff, brother. Plox. 
Yo, thank you so much, Cul-de-Sac Clark. Yeah, that's another good username that I've seen on RuneScape. Uh, 95 mile per hour Bud Light. That's a classic. Oh, lads, I need some free stuff for the new video. Clocks, give me some free gear and gold pieces. You could probably just get, like, bills that way, dude. Genuinely bills. At any GE in the entire game. Oh, that's... No one. Will, do you like the UK to visit? What an interesting f order of words. Will, do you like the UK to visit? I don't know. I've never been... Oh, I've been to Ireland. Is that the UK? Um... I really liked it there. That was nice, but... That's a difficult question. <laughs> Dude, I just watched this movie Patriot Games the other day just because it was like, I don't know. I remembered seeing the VHS in my parents' house when I was a kid and I saw it was on HBO. And it's like some dog shit, like Tom Clancy movie adaptation. And it's like the bad guys are like the IRA. And it's just like, okay, I guess. I don't know. It's basically about Sean Bean is like some evil, or no. Yeah, Sean Bean is like some evil IRA guy and Harrison Ford is like trying to stop him. No point in watching Patriot games now that Tom Brady is done. Nice, dude, hell yeah. That's gonna be my letterbox review. Thanks, man, I'm gonna steal that. I still have 15 minutes to go in that movie so I haven't uh, logged it on letterbox. I'm definitely stealing that. You're still driving? Brother, what part of it's eight hours don't you understand? I mean, I could not be more transparent about this. <laughs> Look, man. When do you have time to watch movies? Uh, either I have like a nice movie night before I go to bed, which is usually on my days off, or lately what I've been doing is watching movies while I walk on the treadmill, which is really nice. I like that a lot because then like you know I could walk if it's not interesting I can jog a little bit if it's interesting I can walk at an incline you know that's what I've been doing can you see the Vegas dome from your house maybe I don't know maybe if I like went up on my roof or something What's the odometer looking at? Um, it's hard to read it, honestly. Two, I don't know. Looks like we're 230 something. Did the Bellagio ever give you those tickets for the magic show? What? Huh? Do you have a treadmill at home? Yeah, I just bought it like a few weeks ago. Pretty recently. It's been a recent thing. Your lights only have a limited amount of time before they die on you. Did you get a Peloton? Nah. I drove like to this like I don't know, I bought it used from some pe person. He spent $3,000 on the treadmill. No, I spent like a few hundred. But the treadmill is worth that much, which is crazy. If When I Googled it, that's why I went and bought it immediately. Is I was like, I gotta scoop this up. And then like, of course, it's like some old rich couple that has like used it twice and doesn't even know how it works. Like the husband is the one that assembled it and he's never used, the wife used it like twice. And then they're just like selling it. She's like, yeah, I'm kind of into a new thing now, which is Pilates. So thought I'd make some room for that in the garage. And I was like, whatever, ma'am. <laughs> Did you put it on the roof of the E30? No, I had my buddy with a Tacoma come with. And um, we put it. 
Oh my god. It's real! It's green! Oh my god. Look at that shit, guys. Check it out. Can you guys see the bug? Can you see the bug? He's looking for it. He can't see the bug. Wow. Okay, so that's at the five hour and 11 minute mark for me, it was the bug. Does that mean you're only halfway there if that was supposed to be at four hours? That's maybe what the person in the chat that told me that was trying to make me think. So no, I doubt it. You know what I mean? Like they they said, check the radio. The five plus zero point one times zero point nine five or zero point one four. This puts the odds of angels preferring you to others, given you got the parking space at thirty two point one five percent. This number naturally changes based on your success at getting parking spaces on future attempts. If under identical conditions you subsequently don't get a parking space. The equation becomes 0 0.1 times 0 0.3215 divided by 0 0.86, making the probability that angels have intervened, given the fact you didn't get the space, 0 0.0374, or 3.74%. What is he talking about? Parking spots? I don't get it. I missed the bug, bro. The bug, it was a crazy moment, actually. It was a movie. I'm not even gonna lie. Probably the greatest moment of my life was when that fucking bug splattered on my fucking windshield. Now it's like anything's possible. Anything could be real. There could be oncoming traffic. There could be skinwalkers. There could be aliens. There could be a puddle. All these things that you guys have said is gonna happen. Now I'm like, I wonder if they're actually gonna happen. This is crazy. This game's wild, man. This might be the best game I've ever played. There is no windshield wipers, trust me. I've tried every single button on the... You, got, you just gotta trust me at this point. Also, I kind of want to keep the bug there. It kind of gives me something to look at, you know? If this was real life, you'd be about one and a half hours from Vegas. Um, that's good. What do you mean if this was real life? This is a very realistic simulator. This is how far I would be if I was driving exactly 46 miles an hour in a bus and an old bus that had Any a misalignment that favored the passenger side of the car. Yeah, the average sitter, thanks to the Prime sub, hope you're doing well. One time I was so tired from driving, I hallucinated air hears from Futurama in the street. Who's hears? I don't even know which character that is. Zoidberg. Does this count as a speed run? Someone did say the, the world record was like eight hours and 10 seconds or something. So that makes me think I'm gonna finish around then because I've been doing this, which makes you go way faster in my theory that I haven't proven. Have you watched the video about the light in the fireman station that lasts forever? The light in the fireman station? No. What does that mean? They disproved that theory a while ago. What theory? Wait, what? You can't just like type that. What do we, what? I don't. Come on, man. <laughs> Are you gonna make the drive back? Uh, maybe next year. You know what I mean? Who's to say? There's always next year, folks. <laughs> what can I say? Mark your calendars. 
It was a light bulb that was supposedly on for 100 years. What? There's a light bulb that's been around since the invention of light bulbs and it's still going. Why is it in a fire station, bro? They didn't have fire. I guess they had fires back then. Never mind. Was there a fire department when there? What existed first, the fire department or the light bulb? Because I don't really see a use for a fire department pre-electricity. How are you gonna put a fire out without like a a hose that's like powered by electricity? That has to be bait, okay? Or a car that was invented way after electricity. That's bait, guys. Ignore him. Isn't a hose powered by electricity? Am I wrong? Will hoses are powered by water pressure? Okay, but they don't have cars, so how do they... You're saying the hose just has to be long enough to reach everywhere in town? I thought you needed, like, a motor to push the water through the hose. Am I crazy? What is that sound back there? Why is there, like, a rattling, dude? Is everything okay? It's probably nothing. Have you heard of fire hydrants? Dude, you're telling me that fire hydrants existed before electricity. Like, you're fucking lying, dude. That's not real. We're talking like cottage times. What is it they're called the fire chat? engines instead it's of fire trucks? They're called fire trucks. Breaks from driving if you're feeling tired. I see you're swerving into the other lane. Maybe you need a nap. I've never felt better in my life. Never felt better. This shit's free as fuck. Let's check the radio. It's a very quiet song. Fire brigades are really old. It could be as simple as a bunch of strong men ready to carry buckets. Who the fuck are you saving with buckets, bro? To everyone that took the bait, thanks for engaging in the worst bit of every stream. Okay, I have to stop and say something. I'm not baiting. Like, I genuinely am just asking a question, okay? It does it is it not like a little weird to you that like electricity didn't exist and you're telling me there were fire departments and fire hydrants? Think about that, bro. When I think of a fire department, I think of one, a loud siren, okay? B something that is caused by electricity, by the way. It's electric. You fucking idiot. Number 2, a giant truck which couldn't run without a battery that has electricity in it, okay? Number three, a hose, which to my knowledge required some kind of motor to push the water through the hose and out the other end, okay? So think about that for a second. How the fuck is it crazy of me to think that a fire department couldn't have existed? Because what is a fire department for me? Thing, a thing that desperately needs electricity to operate. Okay, I'm sorry that I didn't believe in the goodness of, quote, a few strong men carrying buckets. He's... Just agree you're baiting. You haven't even answered my question about green onions. Bro, you keep saying, Will, please answer my question about green onions, and then I ask, what, the, what is the question that you never type it? What is the question about green onions? What is it? This is worse than the pickles and cucumbers bait. I genuinely didn't know that, and I genuinely didn't know this, okay? And here's the thing, I'm just brave enough to admit it. I bet half the motherfuckers in here didn't know either. And they're just like sitting there quietly like, oh yeah, Will is so stupid.
My question is, is it true what they say about green onions? What do they say about green onions? This has to be bait, dude. Everyone knows what they say about green onions. I don't know what they say. Who would win in a fight, Will? I haven't seen the rest of the message. In 1650, Hans Houch built a fire engine with a compressed air vessel. On each side, 14 men worked a piston rod back and forth in a horizontal direction. The air vessel, a type of pressure tank, issued even streams. E an even stream despite the backward motion of the piston. Okay, so like, because I didn't know that some guy made a fire engine in 1650, I'm like an idiot. Everybody knows this except for Will. Okay, yeah, I guess Will's just a big stupid fucking idiot. Great, man. Yeah, dude. Why don't you Google fire wagon pulled by horses for a picture? Hey buddy, I can't tab out right now because I'm in the middle of something, okay? I'm driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in real time. Something you've never done. Something you could never do. Something that I guarantee you're not capable of. Not in a fucking old timey bus going 46 miles an hour with a heavily favored passenger side misalignment. Okay, so there. Show some respect to the men who put their lives on the line to keep humanity safe. What, firemen? Yeah, I guess. It's pretty hard work, I guess. What is that? How many gifted to drive full speed with your eyes closed for 30 seconds? Nah, I'm too scared. What about 10 seconds? I'll do 10. 10 gifted for 10 seconds. Deal. This is full speed though. I'm just letting you know. Like, it's not like I can go faster and I'm choosing not to. Well, help me out. Make him answer the onion question. I don't want it to become a bit. Guys, I, I don't know what they say about it. I'm sorry. I don't know. You're scaring me. I have to Google this. Answer the onion question. Okay, I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna Google this. I, I have my phone here. I may as well use it, right? What do they say about green onions? I don't know what they say. I'm sorry. I don't get it. They're also called shallots. Is that what it is? Oh my god. Fucking god, dude. Jesus Christ. My heart just dropped, dude. Any pounders in the chat? Yo, Union Hawk. Thanks for the seven months, Joe. We're doing well.
the bug is real, we got the bug, dude. Scallions are green onions. Shallots are a completely different thing. Why do you know so much, dude? I don't get it. Like, what are you talking about? I gotta talk about anything else but green onions, please. As if off in the distance, you will hear solo English horn, state marmalade. La da da, dee dee da, la da dee da da. See, as I said, Vorjak is a master of melody. This could be a folk song. This could be a nursery song. In fact, it features, and this is interesting, as you radio audience well know, my wife is a researcher in music education. Of she course. pointed out to me that Obviously, I know children's that. children's songs alternate between the third of a major scale and the fifth of a major scale, the motion huh. so to me. So wow, interesting. Me, so I believe most pop songs do as well. Lots of melodies that start that way. So me, so, so, so me, so me. Now, why is it that so many children's songs feature this interval? I cannot quite say. I suspect it might be easier for young voices to traverse the minor third mm, than it would course. be for them to traverse the major third. If we were to do. Makes sense. Yeah, of course. Obviously. Me do, me do. That sort of motion. That would be a much harder motion. Back to our melody. The major third, of course. Four, five, six, seven. Starting here in the seventh bar, that English horn solo. Now the sonorities here are quite simple. First bar, giant one chord. As the melody is me so so me so so me re do okay i'm done with this well what's your favorite sound so probably that if i had to if i had to pick one i don't know um <laughs> just like off the top of my head Many have accused you of not being a blue collar streamer. Do you care to address these concerns? Dude, honestly, like I did the, the whole reason I did this stream is to prove once and for all that I am a blue collar streamer. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing more blue collar um, than taking an old bus, you know, uh, becoming a bus operator, um, not realizing that that's actually supposed to be your name and not the name of the bus. Uh and driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in real time. I mean, look, and taking passengers along with you, various passengers from all over the world. I did not buy a $3,000 treadmill. That's just a lie, bro. What the hell is this? I can't even enjoy a nice treadmill, you know, that cost me a few hundred dollars. That's how you know I'm blue collar. I missed the bug. Yeah, you did miss the bug. Sorry, man. You did buy a $3,000 treadmill, but you just paid $500 for it? Okay, that's... Okay, fine. Fine. How do you know the exact amount? I didn't specify. That's just called getting a deal off of a rich person on OfferUp, okay? Is that, is that a crime now? Yeah, you missed the bug, dude. Does anyone have the bug clip? There is a clip of the bug. Uh, Luscious clipped it. I don't know if he's still here, though. If your IP address was a number, what would it be? I don't actually know what it is. I'm sorry. I don't keep track of these sorts of things. That, because now, if I knew it, then if someone, like, tortured me, I'd, like, have to give up that knowledge, you know? Did anyone have the clip of the Simon Says when I was like, oh, everyone's looking the wrong way, and then I looked in the back seat? That was probably the highlight of, my, of the stream so far. 
That really got me. That was the hardest I left. Oh, what's this? Any pounders in the chat? Yo, Nick Kexi, thanks for 26 the months. I love you, man. Hope you do more. Thank you. You know where you put bug in the title. <laughs> this was such a great... Oh, and the, and the what then playboy. Wait, that one's good too. I forgot about that. Damn, dude. There's some goodies. There were some goodies today, for sure. Hey, folks. We still got an hour and a half... Wait. Yeah, an hour and a half left. Wow. I mean, we're making good time. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You know that it's beautiful, and I know that when you hear it in the... So fisado. <clears throat> that guy jerking it was the hardest I've laughed in months. Yeah, that was actually... That guy really carried the stream for the whole middle two hours. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> that, that, that guy is a legend. I, just, I don't remember who it was. Some, they were typing in the chat before. But props to him, dude. I think he's probably not in this. Oh, yeah, it was Grumpy Grim, dude. Shout out to Grumpy Grim. Legend. Wait, you're a doubter? Brother, I got bad news for you. That was before I knew about the VR aspect. That's fair. Many people doubted. What was the, what's the percentage, by the way? I can't actually check. Like, what's the, what's the percentage that doubted versus believed? Just out of curiosity. Forty-one fifty-nine is very close. Wow. I mean, it's not over yet, though. I could still crash or run out of things to talk about. You got another two and a half hours? Oh, I thought it was an hour and a half. Wait, you're right. Fuck. God damn it. I'm so stupid, man. I was starting the victory lap, you know? Yeah, it's starting to get brighter. The odometer is at... Two fifty ish. There's a shooting star at seven hours and thirty minutes. Are you concerned about the growing amount of microplastics in the food supply? No, that shit's delicious. I want more microplastics in my food, personally. trip is 410 miles so you have over three hours left actually yeah i don't really believe that though because i only stopped like twice for like 20 seconds so that's not possible you know I got in a stupid argument with my girlfriend that microplastics probably aren't that bad. So I looked it up and it turns out they probably are. That forces Borjak's <laughs> hand to rewrite this material a little bit. Now, it begins I the think same, they definitely are. Whereas before we had E followed by B flat, that 
movement of a tritone that was so alarming. Here we have D flat moving to G, and as before, not a root position G chord, but a G chord in first inversion, so we get that full step movement in the bass. G, sorry, D flat, G, back to D flat. Now, as before, following the minor third, B flat major chord. Mm. The next motion, however, it breaks from what it had done before. We follow the B flat chord with a G flat major chord. Mm. The G flat major chord is G flat four in our key of B flat. That is followed by an E flat minor chord, two in our key. Uh, and uh, one of the voices, halfway through that chord, these are half notes, so one quarter note later, mm. the voices that were playing B flat have moved up to C. Makes now, sense. You might think of this as just a passing tone, and I would forgive you for that. That's a perfect No, valid of course not. No, it's uh, a we beautiful could also falsetto. This as a C diminished triad, which would be seven mm, diminished. Of in course. Our key of flat. Yes, 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 yes. I like that explanation because I like the motion of. Two I prefer that a lot more. Seven diminished. A passing chord is kind of reductive of nice the greater art at hand, you know. However, two to one is a cadence that's acceptable in. Uh, I gotta turn that bullshit off. The sun, I think, is gonna maybe come up soon. Oh, this guy left. It's Will Seven. Yo, hot guy, six pack. Thank you for the prime. Love you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Who wins in a fight, Yogi Bear or Yogi Bear? -uh? I don't know who Yo. Is that a UFC fighter or something? Sounds like it could be. Yeah, thank you, hot guy, six pack. It's an old ass baseball player. Why the fuck would I know that? Why are you guys question marking? No, don't like act like I'm crazy. Happy belated big man. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. It's so obvious. Guys, I don't know. Did you hear about the enhanced games? No, what is that? It's weird to me that he isn't a baseball guy. He gives off very strong baseball enjoyer phenotypes. Hey, well, I'm only gonna type this like 40 more times. Okay, just please spam that until I can read it. This guy said, big man question mark, you could be squashed like a bug. What do you mean, dude, I'm huge. What is that supposed to mean? I'm massive. Okay, I'm only going to type this 40 more times. Can you answer the question about green onions or scallions, not shallots? Is it true what they say? Like, you put the ends of them in water after you've chopped them, they regrow, so you sort of get infinite green onions, not shallots? Kind of starting to feel like I'm schizo-posting. Would love to put an end to this. Well, first of all, do not feel like you're schizo-posting, okay? I would say it's the most normal kind of posting to ask me a vague question about green onions for three and a half hours straight, you know? I would say, first of all, m make no mistake, you are not schizo posting. Now, I will now answer your question. In regards to putting a green onions stem in water to have it regrow for infinite green onions. While yes, it is possible, what they say, it is possible to do, I do not think in practice it is feasible unless you are having green onions at a very, and I mean very Hey, well, I'm only going to type this like 40 more times. Can you answer the question about time. green onions or scallions, not shallots? Is it true what they say? Like you can put the ends of them in water after you've chopped them and they regrow so you sort of get infinite green onions, not shallots? Kinda starting to feel like him schizo posting. Would love if we could put an end to this. Yeah, thank you, Imperfect Joey, for the 100 bits. Hope you're doing well. Deuce, thank you for the gifted sub. I love you, Deuce. Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. Enjoy the gifted sub, Mr. Dog. 
I hear there's been some conversation about me. Yo, what's up, Will's $3,000 treadmill? How you doing? First time chatter. It's not $3,000. It was $500, okay? For the last time. It was in the hundreds. It's not a lot for a treadmill. Most of the ones I saw I found online were 500 to 1,000. So if anything, I would say it was on the lower end of the spectrum. Okay. You haven't addressed the blood clot meter. Will, should I break up with my girlfriend? Yes or no? What? I don't fucking know, man. It's kind of between you and God, I guess. Why would you say it? What's wrong? What happened? Are you playing this game to troll the chat for how awful the DT2 CAs were yesterday? I feel like they weren't... I've had a good time last stream, honestly. I just did the Duke ones, and... It was a good stream. Like, I don't know. I had a good time. Also, that was two days ago. Any pounders in the chat? Yo, who's your smoke daddy? Thanks to the Prime sub. Love you, man. Did you get the speed run done? Yeah, I, I did the speed run. That stream was good. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I listen, man, I kept a positive attitude the entire time, you know? Which was not easy. I'm trying to think of, like, what tomorrow I will do. I don't want to think about it. Whisper, isn't that the other hardest speedrun? I don't know, we'll see. We drive back from Las Vegas to Tucson? Wait, genius. I'm missing like all of them, Alan. I only did the Duke ones. If you want to start with an easy one, Leviathan is super free. Yeah, but that's the boss I've done the least, so it'll probably probably take me the most KC to do the five perfect kills. Nice. If your trucker character stopped at a truck stop and there was any type of food you could think of, what would he order? Any type of food in the entire world, he would probably order uh, a, a sloppy Joe. Extra sloppy. Is this a game or an interactive video? It's a game. Hey, my girlfriend and I just broke up. Mm. Funny enough, the start to the fight was I would leave your stream on to sleep and she hated it. The would point a fan at our feet, which felt weird. Anyways, song. Yo, thanks for the $5, man. I really appreciate it, Felius. I can't play your song right now. I'll play it tomorrow. Um, I'm really sorry that happened, dude. I can't imagine not liking my stream, though. You know, that's pretty fucked up. After all. Have you tried driving off the road? Dude, I'm almost six hours in. And you're gonna, you're gonna be like, oh, you should drive off the road. Brother, just think for a second. If I drive off the road, I'm getting towed and I'm getting brought back to the start and I have to start all over, okay? That would be insane if I did that. Why and would I drive off the, the road? Chat? Are we there yet? I still have two hours to go, man. Listen, we're almost there. Priorities here. Uh, almost always, this, there's a, a cord that is inserted between these and sent. He's still talking about music on there. Yo, Brian, thank you, man. Oh, dang, well, I think you were driving the wrong way the whole time. 
I just saw a sign for El Paso, Texas. No, you didn't. I did turn at the start of the game, but there's no way I'm going the wrong way. No. That'd be so bad, dude. No. What was that white? Oh, it was the white line the side of the road. Nice. You took the 10 East, lol? No, I didn't. You've been live for six hours. You've just been driving in a straight line the whole time. Um, sometimes I do this. This operator's the manual for the Prevost Tex 345 coach conforms with the new EPA 2010 regulations, featuring an engine with selective catalytic reduction SCR system. This manual has been prepared to thoroughly acquaint you, the driver, with the equipment and features of the coach in order for you to fully appreciate and safely enjoy this vehicle. Prevost is committed to the continuous improvement of coach quality, reliability, durability and safety. With innovative features, the Thank you for the 200 bits. Good morning. Do you have a CDL to drive this car? Oh, uh, I could never really have a CDL because I never see these L's. I only see W's. You stole that from the guy earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reckless speed. Thanks for the 100 bits. Some guy earlier in my chat said that, and I said, Oh, that's really funny, man. I'm going to steal that in like three hours, and no one is going to remember. <laughs> A few people remember, though. That's fine. All good. That's fine. CDL, yeah, my cock is darn long. Why do you ask? Wait, that's even better. I'm going to steal that in one hour. Yeah, I have a CDL because I'm a cool dude, lol. Is that one any good, guys? Did you guys like that one or? Well, has anyone ever told you that you're funny? If so, they were lying, but I'm just wondering. No one's really said that, but thank you. See how close you can get the tree to the bug. The tree can get pretty close to the bug. I think it touched, yeah, I think it touched the bug. Do you have wipers? No, but even if I did, I don't want to lose my bug, dude. That bug is my only friend at this point, you know? The whole chat has turned against me about six hours in. Dude, I loved being on your bus. That guy's just staring right at me. Are you there? He's there, all right. <laughs> he's there. <laughs> all right, he's just purposely staring at me. It's fine. I thought he was just AFK or something. I literally was like, this guy just must be AFK. It's fine. Completely fine, completely normal stuff. No way bro is still going. How long has it been? It has been five hours and 52 minutes. We got about two hours to go. Time for candy shop. To this guy's still yapping about music, bro. I don't care about the music show. God damn it. 
This hour has flown by. I agree, bro. Like, we just hit five hours, and I was, like, talking about my old job, and then suddenly we're at almost at six. This shit's easy, bro. Listen, I got this. Two more hours. That's T minus one hour until I get the wine out. And we drive the last mile with or we, the last hour with some road sodas accompanying us. Dvorak is a musical genius. You should really be listening to this podcast. It's not a podcast. It's a radio a show, you dunce. Called Horn Fifths. Oh, yes. Horn Fifths. Of course, I'm aware. Mmm. Five head wine glass. Of course. Yes. Horn Fifths. Is your finger sore from holding W? Yes, honestly. It's a bit... It kind of hurts a little bit. Can you please show me love by Robin S in the horn? Yeah, I can do the synth from that song. That's kind of what the synth in that song is. Do, 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 like that, you know? It's a classic. Are you worried about the traffic near Tucson? Buddy, we're driving from Tucson to Las Vegas. Tucson is six hours behind me. I'm driving into Vegas right now, buddy. Come on. Get with it. Are there any buildings in this game? I don't really know. I think there was a building at the start, yeah. Fun fact, trucker speed is benzadrine, Percocet, and amphetamines mixed in coffee. What, did you learn that from, like, fear and loathing in Las Vegas or something? Come on, man. Is there any music? Uh, they sometimes play music on the radio, but right now it's just a guy talking about music, so I haven't really had it on. It's been kind of boring. What's the end game of this? The bug is kind of the end game, I'm not gonna lie. The bug is pretty, um, insane. That's really the only thing that's happened. Bug is by definition mid game. It was halfway point. It's not the halfway point. You guys are just saying that to scare me. It was at like five hours and something, wasn't it? Now, as we go up, we would have the major third, then the fifth. This is the longest radio show of all time. Is this like the movie Speed, where if the bus falls below a certain speed, it explodes? No, I've actually brought the bus to a full stop twice to go pee. So, yeah. We're at, like, 276 or something. I got ads. Stop the bus. It's Will Yo, seven. Wee Woo. Thank you for the Prime sub. Love you, man. Hope you're doing well. Big kisses. Is this for charity? No, it's for my birthday. What do you mean? Prominent seventh or minor seventh. No, it's got to be a new radio me. show at the at the turn of the hour, right? That's usually how it works, right? Come on.
how long does it take to get a bug is it worth playing with lower level friends that don't have a bug definitely not dude honestly i wouldn't even bother if you if they don't have a bug they clearly have not they're not really dedicated to this game yeah, a very high tessitura yeah, I mean. you're driving the wrong side of the road dude all right, I have to explain this every 15 minutes, so I will say it again. There is a very heavily favored misalignment towards the passenger side of the vehicle. So if I just hold straight, it just goes towards that side. You see, like slowly, right? So it's very hard for me to just drive in this lane because any sort of like f three seconds without going like that, and suddenly I'm like driving off the road, you know? Your face when the bug hit was priceless. I, like, was so happy, dude. Like, imagine you've just been sitting here. Like, that meant so much to me. You have no fucking idea. What is this? What of a notification? What is this? My phone. Hello? Face ID. I have to lock in. I don't know what it is. Why don't you just turn on cruise control and drive to the left of Vegas? Bro, this is an old vehicle. It doesn't have cruise control, okay? This guy's asleep, dude. Holy shit. Have you ever thought about what prison gang you would join if you were incarcerated? Personally, I think you'd roll with the Simones. Anyways, do you ever smell your dog's feet and say he just got back from the Frito factory? Anyways, song. Any pounders in the chat? Well, HBD big sexy mustache man. All right, six hour mark, boys. Give it up for six hours. Oh my God, I just pressed the wrong button, dude. Holy fucking shit. Oh my God. I had my hand on the E key instead of uh, D, so then I like didn't move that way. Scary. Yo, Don Tritt, thank you for the $5. I love you, man. I hope you're doing well. Hall Tile, thank you for the 15 months. Much love, brother. six hours boys do you see that flash on the horizon yeah there's kind of a lot of those i'm not sure what that is but it's been happening like the whole game it's starting to get bright again we've almost officially driven completely through the night uh, but if we're being i don't want to hear that fucking guy's voice i don't want to listen to it why are you doing this mostly just like for fun any pounders in the chat i got here late Can yeah see 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 uh no no i can't start over no i will not be doing this again maybe next year i cannot start over did you pick up any stragglers yeah you can there can be up to four people in here like this is has online there can be up to four people in here so there's four people that guy in the back has literally been staring out the window for five hours and that guy has been spinning for probably three and yeah Don't act like you're actually gonna finish this. I never said I was. I never said I wasn't, you know? I'm just saying we only got two hours left. It's kind of light work for a guy like me, you know what I mean? It's Will Yo, Noir. Thank you for the Prime sub. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Key Noir. I'll break out the road sodas in a T minus one hour. Maybe 45 minutes. Do you pull to the side of the road to take bumps of meth, or is this not a realistic simulator? Bro, I'm not a trucker. I'm a, I'm merely a bus driver. Relax, okay? Jesus Christ. There's a difference. This fucking guy. You think all CDL license enjoyers are the same? What the fuck is wrong with you? Am I crazy or is the bug slowly deteriorating? 
I feel like it used to be more green, but that might just be my eyes. Was he more green before? I missed the bug. Dude, you did miss the bug, I'm really sorry to say. I took a $3 Chinatown bus from Boston to NYC once. The guy next to me had a live chicken. The driver left two people at a gas station. Dude, I've, 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 I've ridden a Greyhound before. It's an experience for sure, you know what I mean? Like that's like riding a Greyhound bus is like, that is crazy though. The live chicken is insane to me. Like how did he have a live chicken on the bus? I feel like they wouldn't allow that. I guess how else is he supposed to transport it though, you know? Five minutes till the one hour anniversary of the bug. Was that really a, only an hour ago? That felt like it was ancient history. This game has time dilation effects. Uh, yes, it does. It's starting to get bright again. Like, the sun is going to rise on that side. I mean, I probably won't see it because it'll be way back there, but I've probably outran the sun at this point. I can't really tell, though. It's hard to say. How much to wiper blade the bug away? You cannot pay me to. That's my only friend. Did you see how my, how I lit up when the... What, the, what is that? What is that? What is that? fuck was that what about a hundred subs nah for 100 subs i'll tell you that there's no mechanic to wipe the bug away but for now i'll just refuse to wipe the bug away You're on the wrong side of the road. No, I'm in the middle of the road. Idiot. Did you like the birthday gift I got you? Yeah, the certificate that says one year of not having to pay taxes, that was awesome. First time chatter, this stream has made me realize that life really is a highway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. I wanna ride it. Okay, please no more music, guy. I have to apologize for my singing before. Uh, so, as you heard, this was a variation from the first time. Bro, motherfucker, this guy does not stop yapping. Please, go back to the guy narrating the Risk game. For Christ's sake. Play Life as a Highway on the Horn. Any pounders in the chat? Dessert bus. Where's the ice cream? It's avant-garde, but it's definitely there somewhere. That was not so good. Well, I, the this was the drums, and then the beeps was the singer. Oh, the lights just turned off. Wait, what the hell? We've officially driven through the night. Oh my god. We did it. It's morning. Let's go. Wake up back there. Wake up. All right. How 
How long have you been driving this bus for? Six hours and eight minutes. Six hours and nine minutes. Why is that it bug so fucking big? Seven. Well, it wouldn't be as exciting if it was a little tiny guy, you know what I mean? If it's like a big motherfucker, it's a lot more interesting. This is my favorite part of the trip. This is honestly the best part, dude. It's like the last two hours, like when you're really, like the juices are flowing and you're really fucking feeling it. What was the conversation starter this half hour? I don't think I've done a conversation starter since we were at like four and a half hours, to be honest. I don't know. When does the fan turn on? It doesn't, dude. It's a beautiful temperature. It's perfect in here. It's neither too hot nor too cold. That guy's been talking about music for the last hour, I think, genuinely. Oh, someone left the bus. What do you know? Room for one more? Dude, I'm really sorry to say this, but I forgot my bag. Can we go back? Yeah, I guess, dude. Let's turn around. How do you get in? You just start up the game and you hit the like red thing to join some someone already joined, sorry. That guy joined. They're gonna I think there's gonna be four people, unfortunately. I don't know why, dude. There should be way they should have room for like twelve in my opinion. That'd be way cooler. If I just had like a bunch of guys just like spamming the fucking VR hands at me. Isn't it crazy real bus drivers do this without music? I mean, they probably have like headphones or whatever, like one earphone in or something, right? Surely. Can the people on the bus hear you? Unfortunately, no. I wish, but no. They can't hear shit. I can't hear them either, but I've been communicating with them with a series of yes or no questions. That was my main method of communicating. I played 20 questions with a guy and the, and the answer was General Grador. There was a guy that was fully sitting like right here, like standing right here. His head was behind me. His arms were like stroking my shit crazy style. He was grabbing the wheel. It was honestly insane. It wasn't actually doing anything, but visually it was crazy. Bro, are you still doing this? Dude, I don't get what the like, what are these questions? You know what I mean? Did you really doubt the God? I'm gonna like this, that's crazy. Name one thing I've ever said I was going to do and then not done. Dunk. Stream on time. <laughs> Other than those two things. Play Dark Souls, Sigs Inside, Haunted House stream. I know, okay. I am gonna do the Dark Souls stream one day. The top speed in this game is 45 miles per hour. Oh yeah, then how am I going 46 right now? Look, you see the little thing? My, my little needle is past it. Explain that. Exactly. Speedometers are commonly off by one to three miles per hour. Is that real? Are they actually? What if mine is off? Mm -hmm. 
My car's old as shit. It's will shoe eating bet. Not sure what you're talking about. It's fake. This is how I've been entertaining myself, is you put the steering wheel like on one side of the hash line and then the other, and then the other side, and then the other side, you know what I mean? This is a good way to entertain yourself. Newer cars have better sensors, interesting. My speedometer always acts up after the fourth Coors line. <laughs> Alright, man. Nice. That was good. That was good. Hey, listen, man. Props to you. What is the goal here? I am driving from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada in real time in a new bus with a heavily favored align misalignment favoring the passenger side of the car. Yeah, I did hit a bug about an hour ago. Do you need to get oil changes, deal with flat tires or hitchhikers? No, no oil changes, no flat tires, no hitchhikers, no stops, no gas. Um, this is pretty much it. This has been called the worst game of all time by um, New York Magazine, I believe it was. There's some article that someone posted in the chat. I honestly disagree. Heavily. I, I really don't think this game is that bad. I've played worse games. On stream, even. Like, so many worse games. I found shit on Steam that makes this game seem like fucking Elden Ring. Name five worse games. Um, drink milk directly from cow. Uh... Three of those pizza games. Yeah, like pizza, de no, delivery pizza boy, delicious pizza delivery or whatever the fuck that game was called. Shower with your dad simulator. That game was pretty good. Big Boot Baseball. That's up there. That's one of the worst. I forgot about Big Boot Baseball, dude. Holy shit. Uh, Woods of Death 2. Woods of Death 2 is probably bottom three games I've ever played. This game needs other cars, so you have to actually pay attention to staying in your lane. Nah, you can't change it, man. This game is, came out in 1997. It was like the first simulator game of all time. This is just an HD remaster of it, I think. All right, let me see if there's anything new on the radio. Moves. How is this guy still talking about music? Like, I'm, j I could not talk about music for that long if I tried. Like, it is genuinely insane. Fuck that guy, dude. What about that game about the football player that got really dark? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was called, like... Friday Night Football or something? I don't remember. What was that shit called? I remember that game. 
I thought that one was fine. It wasn't that bad. It was like a visual novel that I played. It is so crazy just the amount of games that I played. Like, now I think about it. Just like random bullshit. And most of them terrible. But again, this one's good. This one's good. Van Humbeck, unconscious on the couch, had contributed to what was then a Desert Bus world record of five points. Five points is a lot. How, what is what is is one eight hour journey one point? It better not be. I better get more than one point for this. I feel like I've earned five points. It's Will Seven. Yo, Gonzo the Gunner. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. I love you, dude. I hope you're doing well. I was here three hours ago. It looks like nothing's changed. Well, you're actually highly mistaken. The sun set and then rose again, so it's rising again right now as we speak. It's starting to become daytime. So really, you've missed a lot. You missed my lights coming on. You know, there's a lot of bug hit the windshield, you know. You've missed quite a bit. We definitely crossed the Arizona-Nevada border. Are you able to pause the game? No, it's impossible to pause it. And you also can't alt-tab. I've tried alt-tabbing. There's no way out, bro. <laughs> There's no way out. Nah, I tried shift tab. I've tried everything, bro. How are the passengers doing? This guy's completely lost his mind. That guy's still spinning and that guy's still looking out the window. Wait. Oh my God, he turned. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that? I caught him. I caught him turning the other way. Bro, that guy in the way back has been looking out the window for literally five and a half hours. And he was just looking out the other window. Holy shit. I don't believe it. That was crazy. Actually caught. I need to get the caught emote. How do I not have that? been switching the whole maybe he's been switching the whole time but you just now noticed i doubt it i've looked back many times dude trust me what do the people get for being on your bus who the hell is this game made for um but it's for fun mostly it has online so you can like you know people can like join your bus and you can join other people's buses Listen, man, you guys just don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't understand what fun is. It has net play. Love the stream, man. Didn't think you were actually going to do, uh, play this game all the way through. Ah, ha, ha. Happy birthday. Yo, thank you, Ciproto. Listen, man, we still got an hour and a half left. And I know I said that an hour ago, but that's because I didn't realize it was two and a half hours because I'm an idiot. Does anyone come from the other direction? Not yet. Dude, they should do races on this game. That would be crazy. Like, you should be able to, like, race somebody. Boom, go. And then whoever reaches Vegas first wins. Racism isn't the answer. No, 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 not like that. Sorry. I didn't mean like that, but... Stop swerving. I'm resting my head against the bus window. No. 
why is there no cannonball run video game? That'd be a really fun video game to like try and avoid the police and stuff and go as fast as possible and stuff. That's a great idea. Wait, hold on. I need to I need to become a game developer. One of my friends just like had a good idea like that and like paid someone else to make it and then he like collects like 10% of the money, you know. I need to make this into like a Roblox game. That's actually what I'm going to do. Cannonball Run Roblox. Roblox. How are you able to overcome your KQ Q grind? I'm trying to get the head and I'm a weak-minded beta. I'm struggling to keep focused. It's only like 250 KC for the head, isn't it? You got this, man. It's not that bad. Just, uh, you know, keep killing it. Nice. What percentage of this drive have you been mewing? I would say like 90%. Fuck, I almost crashed because of you, you son of a bitch. What the hell, dude? We're six and a half hours in. Could you imagine if I crashed because I was mewing? What the fuck, man? Let me see if there's anything new on the radio, please. Several bars are as as if listening to the decay of that symbol crack. I hate this guy, dude. Like, I genuinely hate this guy so much. You have no idea. All right, new topic. It's been two hours since we've done a topic. This is a good one. All right, conversation starter. What is your favorite food? This is a good one. I already have my answer. Sushi? Me too, man. Me too. Pizza, great option. I'm not even gonna lie. Pizza, very high tier. Slim Jims. I respect that so much. When I was a kid, my favorite food was Funyuns. Then Flaming Hot... Then, no, actually it was Flaming Hot Cheetos and then Funyuns. Bro, what is that? Oh. Crab Rangoon. It's pretty good. I like that. That's an interesting favorite food because it's like an appetizer. Huh. I agree Funyuns are very underrated in the chip uh, department. I couldn't agree more. Sun chips are the most underrated? No. I'd say sun chips are. Let me ask you a question. Mouse cam? Thank you so much for the fucking 20 gifted? Holy shit, dude. Thank you. I mean, listen, we're not done yet, brother. Relax. Listen. Thank you so much, man. Seriously, I really, really appreciate that. My man. Uh, Dark Sea. Gog Dam, Stratacles, Burning Hippo, Game Over, Carrera, Fishy, Bullfister, Booyah, Median, Karyak, Emily07, Athena, Scary Parrot, Do You Reckon, Swagnon, Predictable Man, Adam, and 1AU. I really appreciate the 20 gifted. Thank you so much, Mouse Cam. Thank you for the gifted subs. There's flaming hot Funyuns. You know what I bought the other day? This is a true story that happened. I was at the grocery store. And there was a man with a shirt on. Well, obviously he was wearing, sorry. Let me start over. It's Will Seven. There was, you know, Primus, Prime Usama. Thank you for the, thank you for the Prime sub. Okay. There was, uh, I hate that. Reckless, thank you so much for the 200 bits. He says, come. 
so I was there. There was a man at the grocery store with a polo on. A polo. I couldn't believe you were doing this six hours later, so I had to give subs. Dude, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That is incredibly generous. And you're a believer, which makes me even happier. You know what I mean? Listen, man. I, 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 you got good odds at this point. It's only an hour and a half more-ish, maybe. About, we'll call it, about that. Give or take. So this guy that I saw, he's wearing a polo shirt. And it says, it's a purple polo shirt, and it says Takis on it. And this man, this story is insane, Pog. <laughs> okay. This man was uh, wearing a Takis shirt, right? And he was loading the Takis onto the display from, like, a thing, right? He was the guy delivering the Takis and, like... Um, what would you call that? Staging them. And so I say to him, I say, hey man, because he's got those blue Takis. I'm like, hey, are the blue Takis, do they taste different than the red? And he looks at me. And he goes, what? And I was like, the blue Takis, like, do they taste different than the red ones? And he goes, I... I, I don't know. And then he looks down at the bag. He's like, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll try some. And then I took a bag and uh, bought it. And they don't really taste any different. They taste the same. So that, yeah, that was my story. <laughs> I just told my mom to watch stream for you to make that joke. Now she won't talk to me. <laughs> it was not a joke, bro. It was a real story that happened. This really happened to me, man. Thank you for telling me his polo was purple. That really adds to the story. <laughs> Look, man. I'm just saying that happened to me because we were talking about... I don't know why I said that, man. I'm sorry, guys. I think the fatigue from the drive is starting to weigh on me. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Can we see the odometer? The odometer is not correct. Because you guys keep saying it's 480 miles, but I feel like it's just not. According to the game, at least. Maybe in real life it is. But we're at like 390 right now. But I just don't think that's accurate. I don't think the game has ever said that it's 410 miles. The game has just said that it's about eight hours. Can you tell for sure how much longer? Uh, I don't know. Probably an hour and a half-ish. Maybe a little more, give or take? Because I stopped to pee twice. Maybe like eight hours and 10 minutes tops. Eight hours, five minutes. What if it's still three more hours? I doubt it. I didn't stop for that long, bro. I stopped for like 20 seconds to pee. There's just no way. I'm gonna have to head off soon. Please start earlier next time so the East Coasters can see the finish. I'm really sorry, man. Listen. Are you sure that there is an ending? No, I'm not positive because I... 
didn't really do any research on this game whatsoever. I just kind of heard about it and was like, oh, yeah, I'll play that. But hey, everything I've learned has been in the last six hours and 35 minutes from the chat. Hey, Will, I'm only gonna type this like 40 more times. Can you answer the question about green onions? Or scallions, not shallots. Is it true what they say? Like you can put the ends of them in water after you've chopped them and they regrow so you sort of get infinite green onions, not shallots. Kinda starting to feel like him schizo posting. Would love if we could put an end to this. Yo, Blake the Snake, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I love you, brother. I hope you're doing well, my man. Thank you, thank you. Um, I am not answering that again we talked about this two hours ago no stop it do not type that what the hell no i answered it in great detail Kim? yeah thank you man my friend parker told me to come here big mistake first time chatter listen we still got an hour and a half left, bro. What are you gonna do? Come on. Your editor should upload this entire VOD and call the video bus. It'd be kind of funny to just upload an eight hour YouTube video on main and just say like the entire ride from Tucson to Las Vegas. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. Are you driving for seven hours? Seven hours of commercial free driving starts now. Um, no, I've been driving for, I've been driving for six hours and 37 Will minutes. Seven. Goofy. Yo, Attic Salt, thanks for 30 months. Love Will's you, dude, hope you're doing well. Ride. It could hit algorithm. That's true, man. YouTube loves long videos now. I'm not even gonna lie. Like they fucking love long videos on there. The, the best of its will 2023 is fucking that shit has like 80k views it's one of my best performing videos as of late that is why can't you stay in your lane because the bu for the fucking 5,000th time, the bus has a heavily favored misalignment towards the passenger side of the car. So if I just hold W, this is what happens. And I drive off the road, and I drive off the road, and I'd be dead if I was listening to you. You son of a bitch. Fuck. Well, that video is very entertaining. It's the reason I'm tuning in. I'm not giving you any money, though. <laughs> Thank you, first time chatter. <laughs> you didn't have to specify that. I mean, look, it's just like, you're allowed to just watch, man. You're allowed to type even. It's not like it's required. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not necessary. <laughs> well, should I subscribe to you or sick nerd? I'm not gonna answer that. Nice try. You're trying to get me to say the Sickner never streams. And I'm not going to say it. Because he's been streaming a lot lately. But he has also been streaming League of Legends, so I haven't really tuned in, but... Well, I've jerked to you nine times, not giving any money, though. Nine times is kind of a lot. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Thank you. I mean, I know. What the hell? What has my life come to that I've watched a man drive six hours and 38 minutes on a bus doing nothing? I'm not doing nothing, okay? Listen, sometimes I honk the horn, sometimes I check the radio. Rest news. Oh, Washington new, Gardens. new, 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 new show, guys! New Belfort show just dropped! Hester Road, Wellington Walk, Inverness Street, Sherlock Hughes, Bourne Street, Humont Street, Western Walk, Bard Road, Kennings Way, Horse Yard, Fullgate Street, Calderwood Street, Fortress Walk, Willow Is she just Road, naming Dragon roads? Street, 
Wilton Yard, Killick Street, Dunbar Place, Bacon Grove, Bloomfield Road, Woodstock Grove, Dunmaston Mews. She's Arbor reading Lane, an atlas. Street, Boundary Road, Berkeley Square, Watling Street, Ramsey Street. All right, bro, whatever. Well, that's fine. At least we got a new show. At least it was that fucking... At least they, they fucking pulled the little hook or the little cane out and pulled that fucking stupid fucking music guy off the airwaves. All right, whatever the next sh street is, she says. Hurst Avenue, Hair Lane. Hair Lane. Man. What a street. Am I right? Did she say hair? She probably didn't say hair. East Valley Road. East Valley Road. Hair Lane, more like Hair Line. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my. Yo, what's up, Dukas? How you doing, man? It's Will Seven. Yo, a damn TTV. Thank you for the sub, dude. What the hell happened? You said I'm not giving any money though. What the hell? Will, can you stop soon? I have to get off. Nah, man, this is the final stretch. We got like an hour and 20 minutes left. It's crazy. The shit's going nuts, man. Can they see how far I am back there? Do they have any idea? Like, what if there's just a guy who's not from the stream and is just like in here? I went to the mall today and on my way out, some guy was leaving. He looked right at me, right in the eye. He said, is it okay if I text you later? I immediately responded with, yeah, of course. But it never occurred to me he was on the phone with someone else. And I just kept walking and felt stupid. Do you think he'll text? I don't think he'll text you, no. He probably doesn't have your number. Have you ever heard of the Greyhound Massacre? What the hell is that? No. What? Hope you get there safely. Thanks for the last six hours. Yeah, thank you. A guy in a cross-country greyhound went nuts and beheaded people. Okay, I gotta look this up, but I can't right now. What the hell are you talking about? What? You're scaring me. It's I don't want to think about this. Will seven. It was pretty bad, but the good news is Something he's is no longer in prison. Yes. What do you mean he's no longer in prison? That guy in the back of the bus is staring right at me. Do you see that? Look at that motherfucker. Look at him. Oh my god, man. He could be on this bus right now. Why didn't anyone tell me this before I fucking started playing this game, dude? How did you choose this game? I don't know, it seemed like a fun idea to do for my birthday stream, you know? Just like a little silly, um, challenge. Yo, N for thanks for the five months, hope you're doing well, my man. That guy's scaring me in the back, I'm not even gonna lie. Look at him, he's like staring to even Any the rear mirror. in the chat? Yeah, Wicked, uh, what's up man, thanks for the three months, hope you're doing well, big kisses. Is there cruise control? No, you have to hold W the entire time. Any pounders in the chat? If you don't hold W, love the car will. bus slows down. Yo, Zimmed, thank you for the one year. I love you, man. I hope you're doing well. I wish there was a 24-7 VOD channel of your old streams that just streamed all the time. That'd be crazy. What the hell? That's a genius idea. I missed the Clint Stevens AI stream. I forgot about that, actually. I forgot about the Clint Stevens AI stream. That's a great idea. It's will.tv, deleted by Nightbot. Somebody has that domain. I don't, though. Somebody does have it. 
and they were like yo if you ever want this domain just let me know because i've been paying for it and i was like all right i'll let you know but i haven't done anything with it that'd be a great website where it's just 24 hour vods but it also has like seven thousand ads all over the screen it's like a fucking illegal like sports like a, one of those nfl reddit streams you know and it just has like 700 ads that you have to click through to watch do you think those people make a lot of money off of ads i always wonder they have to right I missed the kick stream that was just restreaming you, but slightly delayed. That was a very funny time. I'm not even gonna lie. That was, was that on the best of two? It must've been on the best of 2023, I would hope. I don't remember. That shit was funny, man. God damn, that guy was fucking funny. I should've just let him cook, man. I should've just let him collect the ad revenue. They just offer too much money for me to stream on there for free. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. Do you think you can survive 24 hours in a mountainous region while the predator is hunting you? Uh, well, I've seen all the movies, so I know how to get away from it. Yeah, you just go in cold water. Duh. It's like Tremors. Pretty much the same plot. What if you want to be warm? You could hide in like maybe a cave of some sort, perhaps. Yo, Emily Cupholder, thanks for the raid, appreciate it. Mr. Cheddar in the chat, one time. I was offered life-changing money to go chat on kick instead, but I'm staying on Twitch for the love of the game. That's so respectable, honestly, hell yeah. I respect that a lot. First time Cheddar. Nice. I saw that on Discord. I didn't know it was a real thing. Fellas. Is it time? For a road soda? Buddy, you're all over the road. I know it's not easy to drive this thing. Let me tell you something. What's on the radio these days? It was a woman reading uh, an, what is it called, an atlas or whatever? Like just a bunch of addresses. There's nothing. Wait, that might mean a new show is gonna start soon. Let's fucking go. Guys, I might have to go get the wine myself. Do I dare stop the bus to go and get myself a road soda? One tick flicking, yeah. Do that constantly you can drive off the road without losing that would be awesome if you could actually do that way that's so smart 
You just one tick the radio, it lets you be immortal. Lets you drive off. Wait, based on the sunrise, you're driving southeast? That's kind of a good point. I don't know why that is. Doesn't really make sense, but is this a GM task? It fucking should be, man. This should be a task that everyone should have to do. If you want to fucking Zuck Helm in my business. Most people don't have the wherewithal to pull this one off. Did you get the Duke time? Yeah, I got it. I did all the Duke tasks, and I haven't done any of the other ones yet. I'll start on them tomorrow, though. I got a 113. It was fucking crazy. Are the floating heads in the back other players? Can we join your lobby? Yeah, only four people can be in here at a time, though, and I think, like, three out of four people are just AFK, so... Um... Yeah, that guy's not. That guy's been spinning, and that guy's been looking out the window. Oh, that guy's not AFK. Neither is that guy. Never mind. No one's AFK. I take it back. Oh my god. Fuck, that scared me. Holy shit. That was the closest I've come, I think. What's the worst? What's worse, driving this bus for eight hours or being the people sitting there staring for six for eight hours? Nah, people like leave and other people join. Like the person that's been here the longest is that guy in the back that's been looking out the window. I'm not gonna lie, he's genuinely been here for ever since like the one hour mark. Pretty fucking crazy. He's just staring out the window, dude. Listen, he's just vibing. Bro, no radio for the last hour. What the hell? Did you hear about what happened at TwitchCon? There was a giant incident. They had to remove the Jebated emote. I can't believe this. Rest in peace, Jebated. That sucks, dude. What the hell? That's like a, one of the classic emotes. I don't believe that. Wendy's has been there the entire time. Wait, is that the, which, which, is that the Borpa Spin? Wendy's nuts. Don't even think about it. That guy that typed a giggle, I just was like, there's no way. You're not about to do this. It's not Wendy's, it's Wendy S. Oh, my bad. Lul? Yeah, what's up, Clipper? How you doing, man? All right, when we hit the seven-hour mark, I might go pee and then grab the wine. What say you? I think it might be wine time, dude. She's been on the bus with you for seven hours. You don't even know her name. Okay, I'm sorry. Wend, yes. Like, I don't know. I see them in the chat all the time. I say Wendy's. Because that's what it looks like to me. Come on. You've actually been doing this for eight hours? No, only seven. Eight hours and we'd be done, brother. We'd be there by now. But unfortunately, we have another hour left. Probably a little more than that because I stopped the bus twice. But I'm just saying... Are you ready? This is everything. I'm glad Will doesn't see me in the back of the bus. I've been stroking my shit for like four hours back here. It's probably that guy staring at me. Yeah, it's gotta be him.
There's just nothing on the radio, man. This is the real test, is like having nothing on the radio. What a bummer, dude. I miss when they were reading, um, when they read that Risk game, that was the, high, uh, the highlight for sure. What's up, you sweaty bastard? Hey, how's it going? We fucking got this, boys. This is everything. Yeah, that clip was probably the highlight. That's actually true. I'm going skiing tomorrow. Do you have any tips for me? Uh, don't eat the yellow snow. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I don't know shit about skiing. I've never done that. It's too cold for me. Watch out for trees, I guess, would be my advice. It's pretty, I hear that's dangerous. And bears. I thought you liked to snowboard. I don't want to talk about that. Come on, man. Okay, I'll tell the snowboarding thing again. The the snowboarding... Okay, I was a freshman in college. And I was in a class, you know? And, the, you know, at the beginning of the class, the teacher said, we're gonna go around the room and everyone is gonna say uh, their name and an interesting fact about them. And I was sitting in the front of the class closest to the teacher, so he told me to go first. And I got very nervous, and I said, my name's Will, and I like to snowboard, because I didn't know what to say. I've never snowboarded in my life. But no one was the wiser. You know what I mean? I just said that because I just didn't know what to say. And then, like, just the next person went. But I just didn't know what to say, dude. Like, I was just nervous. I've never snowboarded. I just thought it was a cool thing to say. It was something that cool people do. Like, SSX Tricky and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't fucking know. And then he was like, oh, that's cool. Where do you like to go? And I just, like, named some, like, mountains. I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, a mammoth or... will seven. Yo, Donnie the King, they gave the Garden prime sub. Tranquility went by so fast watching your stream. But Boat. Yeah, thank you, Donnie the King. Appreciate the prime sub. Love you, brother. Hope you're doing well. It's Will Multiple Personalities. What? I accidentally convinced my coworker I run like the sport running. Like you're, you do competitive track or like what? What are you talking about? Can you put a review on this game and some say that some guy was beating his shit? Yeah, I'll say that. I'll be like five stars. There was a guy stroking his shit the entire eight hours. Speaking of which, seven hour mark, ladies and gentlemen, seven hours. Give it up for seven hours. Possibly one hour to go. Wine time? Okay, fine. We'll stop the bus and I'll go get wine. If this fucking thing breaks, though, I swear to God, if the game, like, kicks me out, I will cry. I'm scared. We're slowing to a halt. Almost there. I'll let you guys listen to the dulcet tones and I'll let you watch the people in the back seat. One moment.
Any pounders in the chat? Honk, honk, honk. Some, uh, some delicious wine here. I'm gonna pour it into this mason jar. Don't ask why I have a mason jar. And we'll hit the, the last bit of this. The last bit of this drive, shall we? Let's do it. And we're back on road. Let's fucking do this. Here's to, uh, damn, that was a tall pour. Holy fuck. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Get a nice road soda. Let's hit the road, baby. It's the only song I know. I don't know why. I just, it's literally the only song I know. I'll take you to the candy shop. Do jingle bells? There's jingle bells. I cannot believe that. There's just nothing on the radio. It pisses me off. Let's do another conversation topic, actually. This is a better one. They're really testing me by doing that, by like fucking me over like this. Hold on, let me pull up a conversation topic. Um, would you rather be granted three wishes of your choice 10 years from today or be granted one wish today? You can't wish for more wishes. It's a good question. Um, one wish today or three wishes 10 years from today? I'd probably wait the 10 years. One wish today and go 10 years in the future. Yeah, but <laughs> then you just, that you don't get both, Clipper, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You picked, you picked the worst possible option. You get neither at that point. <laughs> uh, he's like, yeah, I just want my life to be shorter. That's pretty sick, actually. All right, what about, I would say I would wait the 10 years because then there's always something to look forward to, you know? If I do one wish today, what am I going to wish for? A gazillion dollars? Okay, then I can still, like, die. You know what I mean? I would do, like, the fucking three wishes ten years from now, and then I'd wish for a gazillion dollars, and I wish to never die until I say so. Um... You could die within that 10 years and not get any wishes? I guess I could die, but like... Why, so you could play this game forever? Yeah. You say fucking kill me once a week on stream? Well, I don't mean it literally. There would have to be like a secret phrase that I say and a passcode. And then it has to happen within three days. Because then I have like take backsies, you know? Do you really need more than one wish to make your life perfect? Well, I mean, I'd want a bigger penis, probably. 
Yeah, I definitely would. Yeah, I would I mean money and then a penis and then maybe world peace. <laughs> Bigger penis three times. Yeah, but what about an even bigger one, Mr. Genie? How about we double it again? Will is a piece of shit. Okay, well. I would ask for a gazillion um, dollars, but I would also wish for it to be inflation proof. Cause like, what if I wish for a gazillion dollars then like within like a couple days of me spending my money, like there was like hyperinflation and then it was worth like $10. <laughs> they would kill you dog. That's actually true. I'd be smoking too different at that point. What would you buy? Probably like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's really the only thing that I would be like, I just gotta have that, you know? I'd buy like really rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh yeah, and I'd buy a sports team. That's actually true. Oh my God, dude. I'd buy the Raiders and I'd finally fix this fucking team once and for all. Fire everybody, cut everybody, start over. Would you buy Jagex and delete Clipper's account? That would be awesome. Yes. Well, I wouldn't delete his account. I would probably just like permanently mute him and also like put a little thing next I put like an Iron Man hat next to his name but the green like group Iron Man one on his main that would be crazy <laughs> and I just message him all the time lul and he can't ignore me because I have like the jmod account or whatever yeah that's what I would do I'd just be sending him lul all day Anyways, just just kidding, haha. -ha. I love Desert Bus. Me too, man. I love Desert Bus. I think it's one of the best games ever. Seven hours and ten minutes, boys. Are we there yet? We're getting there. Listen. Have you tried the Desert Bussy? No? We gotta listen to that Bussy song before the when once we finish this, you know? That'll be the celebratory song. I haven't really played with this button much. Sorry. The song was stuck in my head for days after you first heard it. It was stuck in my head the day that Scurrious came out and I was like, up. Oh, I only had like two hours, maybe like 20 minutes of sleep. And I just like, was basically up all night, played RuneScape for like 10 hours, and then I was like trying to stay awake and I couldn't stop singing that bussy song. Does this game have a battle pass? I just heard something. It scared me. Um, I believe there is stuff you can get, um, with like your, your, your points. You can buy stuff with your points, I think, but I think, um, it costs like 20 points to buy something. Again, like it's cosmetic and, um, you get one point for finishing the drive. So, and the only, I think there's only one guy that's ever done it like five, five times or something. Are there any other routes you can drive? You can drive back.
from Las Vegas back to Tucson. We should do that after. I might do that next year. You know, that seems like a good time. We can make that happen. 16 hour stream. Um, you know, maybe. I don't think I'm going to do that today. Probably not today. I would like to say I was only a doubter because I thought you couldn't stop the bus. Well, like, you can't pause, but I did say that I'm... I did say you could stop the bus at the beginning, for the record. I did say that. Because I stopped the bus right at the start to test it. Okay, so listen. You must have just joined at a really bad time. Okay? I don't know, man. Because I, I remember stopping it right at the start. Because I was like, I wonder... Doubters are backpedaling. Dude, the doubters are actually... I agree. Yeah, that is crazy. Imagine. Anything on the radio? Dude, I cannot believe that they just abandoned the radio seven hours in. They've got to hire me to get some radio content put into this game retroactively. I'll tell you what, dude. I would put some banger radio stuff in here. Like the talkie story. That would be a good radio sto uh, piece, you know? But it's told very slowly over the course of 30 minutes. I'm just saying, folks, listen. You were testing how long you could not control the wheel. I mean, it's 18 seconds, precisely. I missed the Takis story. Tell it again, please. Would you guys like to hear the Taki story? more detail this time dude this is a crazy story you guys are gonna love this okay so i was at the grocery store the other day right i was at the grocery store as you do right you go to the gro you guys have been right and there was a guy there at the store that I was at the same store. He's wearing a shirt, right? A polo, no less. It's now I was wearing a sweatshirt seven. and jeans. I don't know what this game is about at and all, a hat. but will you're killing it out here, man? Can we get a Garfield in the chat? A hat, even, right? And so he is wearing a shirt, nay, a polo, a polo, right? This isn't just any polo, right? It's not, a, it's not just any polo. This is a purple polo that says Takis on it, right here over his heart, much like my sweater in this very moment. Now, not only is he wearing this shirt, coincidentally, he's also loading up the talkies staging them on a display for the talkies that are for sale at this grocery store <laughs> chapter one so i says to him as i approach this scene right Loading the talkies up, taking them off the cart, putting them on display, loading them, taking them off, right? So, I says to him, I says, So are, are the blue talkies, do they taste any different than the red ones? You know, because there's like this whole display about the new blue talkies, right? They're blue, and he has no talkies, right? They're red, spicy chips. And now they have blue ones. And so I'm like, do the blue ones taste any different than the red ones? I says this to him, right? So he is doing his work and he looks up at me deer in the headlights right and he just goes what and so i say to him i say are the blue talkies any different than the red ones do they taste any different is it a different like flavor than the red talkies 
and he says to me, he says, and looks down at the talkies, looks back up at me. I don't know. This question had never crossed his mind. In all these years that he's been driving the talkie truck around town, you know, perhaps making long drives from Tucson to Las Vegas, Nevada, right? That never once crossed his mind. Is it a different flavor? Does the blue taste any different than the red? He's never even thought about this. He's never conceived of such a thing. So what do I do? I say, well, I gotta find out. And I grab a bag of the blue ones and he laughs and he says, oh, thank you. Because he's a company man, right? He loves talkies. He's a company man. It makes sense, right? I mean, obviously. Who wouldn't? Chapter 2. <laughs> it's Will 7. Happy birthday, big fella. It's Will 7, 30 months. It's Will Stogie. It's so what do I do? Will right? Seven. There's only one thing for me to do. I take the talkies to the self-checkout. I purchase them. I get in the car, drive home, right? Now, fast forward hours later. Later that evening, ti a title card later that evening, dot, dot, dot. When I tell you, I took the bag of talkies out of the pantry and I opened them up, right? <laughs> I open up the bag of Takis, right? They're and they're blue, right? They've got blue on them. They're blue powder everywhere. I put my hand in, there's blue not only on my fingertips, but on my knuckles, because the inside of the bag is lined with this powder. Chapter three. I take a bite of the Takis, right? I pick one up, I take a bite out of it, I take a second one, take a bite out of it, chew them up, eat the Takis, right? I eat like two or three, maybe four, and that's when it hits me. Like a ton of bricks, right? A revelation, a realization. Something I never thought I would have to know, but something that I now share with you. They taste the same as the red ones. It's no different. <laughs> and that is my story. <laughs> Chapter four. <laughs> That took you eight minutes? <laughs> it's Will Seven. Yo, Jeff Hardy fan, 420. Thank you for the 14 bits. DJC Pull FIFA. Quick. Thank you for the 100 bits. Scottish Owl. Thank you for the 10 months. Howry RS. Thank you so much for the 30 months of Prime, man. Perp Boy Flex. Thank you for the 13 months. I really appreciate it, dude. Chapter four. I get on my phone and all this talk about talkies has maybe spurred up a, a bit of an, an, an ad service. I'm scrolling through social media. Suddenly I get an ad? Green talkies? What? Credits. Who knows? Maybe there's a sequel on the horizon. <laughs> I don't think there's green, but that would be cool if there was. You know, that'd be really good if, if there was. That would make it really interesting. Good evening. How's it going? I have to pee. You have to pee? <laughs> I can pull over. No, no, no. no. We're at seven. No, nah, I got. I brought the whole bottle. You brought the whole bottle? Yeah. Let's go. I'm just having some road sodas. Any know? pounders in the chat? Yeah. Hey man, yeah, I can't know. wait to get off the bus. Because every time I tune in, you've been driving. 
Yeah, you just drive. That's it. People can join. See these people? These are all pe real people. Can they talk? They can't talk, but they can nod and shake their heads. Like if I say, are we having a good time, guys? Is he? <laughs> He's having a really good time. That guy's oh. nodding. Yeah, see, they're all nodding. Yeah, so everyone's having a good time, right? Okay. So yeah, that's kind yeah, of just like the vibe. I hit a bug about four hours in. It's only eight hours you have to drive? Only? Not only, but like, have you already really almost done driving? I'm almost done, yeah. Listen, we're almost there. I mean, we don't. I stopped three times, so it might be a little more than eight hours, but... Okay. Yeah, you, I think you have to get them out of here. I'm scared now. I can't I can't have them sacrifice this run. Yeah, she hit me with the only. Will there are green talkies? This is crazy. Is that the cat? Yeah. Okay. No, thank you. I bet the speedrun for this game goes hard. Can someone look up the world record for this? Because, like, by the time I get there, I'm going to assume that I have a world record, right? My prediction for the finish is 8 hours, 5 minutes, and 17 seconds. Schizo chapter 5. <laughs> Tell Hannah the talkie story. She's going to be impressed. Dude, here's the craziest part. She knows already. <laughs> This is the ins most insane part of the whole thing, maybe. She was there for parts of the story. She was present, even. <laughs> Chapter 5. <laughs> Maybe there will be a sequel, man. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a sequel to the talkie story. What is that? Oh, it's a rear view mirror. I just realized that. And it's just broken. I just now realized that seven and a half hours in. I honestly thought that was like an old sticker that was like on the window of the va of the bus that was like cracked and like hardened over and dirty. But I just realized that's just a rear view mirror. It's gotta be something on the radio. Nothing, man. Nothing. You should buy one of their polos and pretend to be an employee for chapter five. I have to warn people, you know what I mean? Think about how many people are buying these talkies thinking that it's a different flavor. Our ETA is probably like 30 to 40 minutes. Who knows though? Who knows? So you just drive a bus in a straight line the entire time? I mean, look, man, I wouldn't say the entire time. Sometimes I do this for to make the, the air freshener move. Are you ready to be a Dexerto tweet? Can someone please like send this to like Dexerto and that one annoying guy with the long hair and all the game journalists you can imagine? Um, this is like a massive achievement. And also send it to Penn and Teller. I want to make sure they know about this, you know? I feel like they might um, like to know, you know? Or maybe Sigmund and Siegfried and Roy, whichever one didn't is not dead. <laughs> I just Googled. It turns out the only difference is the lack of sodium in blue Takis. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Maybe I'll have to eat some. <laughs> I can't believe you guys got me to say the talkie story scene open. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. 
I'm glad that everyone's here for the final stretch, dude. It's unbelievable. This feels like a victory lap, you know? You ever consider doing a flight somewhere on Microsoft Flight Simulator? Dude, so me and my brother, uh, my dad bought an Xbox One during the pandemic. And the only game he's ever played is NCAA football, which he has the old Xbox 360 copy of. And I don't even know if he plays it on the 360 or on the Xbox One, honestly. But anyways, as a gift to him, me and my brother like loaded a bunch of games on there for him. And I was like, oh, we gotta get him like Oblivion and like Skyrim, you know? And then my brother was like getting him more games that he would actually like. Directed by corporate to say they taste different, but knowing that they taste the same, he felt conflicted about lying and froze. Whoa, whoa. You think this was actually a grand conspiracy? That this goes all the way to the tippity top of Takis Incorporated? Yeah, thank you for the 500 bits. I love you. Hope you're doing well, Toby. Um, Mason, thanks for the 70 months. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, the, the game, one of the games my brother put on there was Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's Will seven. And I tried to do a simple takeoff and landing on that game, and we Howdy both partner. could not. Well, I, I don't know if he even tried. I fucking failed like sixty times though. And then I just started it's purposely flying into Will buildings. Seven. So that that game is actually like hard and pretty realistic. Yo, yeah, super yums. Thanks to the Prime sub. Ayo Nico. Thanks to the Prime. Did you guys know the the first game that ever came out on N sixty four was a flight simulator? Well, fun fact. Star Fox? No, it's called Pilot Wings. It's like you start with like a hang glider and then I think you upgrade to a plane. That's pretty crazy. How was your birthday? It was great, man. I wouldn't want to spend it any other way than driving eight hours in this beautiful bus to freedom. Do you need to fill up on gas? No, I mean, I haven't had to so far. Maybe we're gonna run out with like one mile left. You never know. It's certainly possible. Did you get your CDL th for this game? I forgot what the joke was. Fucking god damn it. Cock dong long or something? My cock do be long? I don't remember. No, 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 there was the one that was like, no, I don't see D's L's, but there was another one that some guy made after that where I was like, oh, I'm gonna steal that one. Damn it, I forgot. Chad has really, has he really been driving this whole almost eight hour stream? Nah, man, I just got behind the wheel 30 minutes ago, actually. My cock is darn, my cock is darn, darn long. Thanks for asking. That's what it was. Son of a bitch, dude. I messed it up. That is not a timer behind the steering wheel. That is, unfortunately. Only real OGs remember the Pikmin conversation. What was that at, like one hour deep? That was probably like an hour and a half when I was like trying to kill as much time as possible. Holy shit. It's crazy to think we're at the end, you know? It feels so good. It feels so good to just be, you know, ah, just like final stretch. 30 minutes to go, it's really nothing, you know? Let's check what's on the radio. What's with all the credit cards on the floor? I think those are bus tickets, if I'm not mistaken. They could be credit cards.
Does the wiper even reach the bug? Between you and me, man, there's no way to even turn on the wipers. It's a brochure, which is how you exit the game. This, which opens the door, the horn, and the radio. And that's really the only things you can control. What happens if you go off the road? Your car immediately breaks down and you have to get towed back to the beginning. I'll give 10 subs if you crash. Somebody said they would give five at the beginning of the stream if I made it. I just don't remember who it was, so I mean, listen. I'm not gonna hold them accountable, it's fucked up. But I will not crash for 10 gifted. It's worth more to me to, you know, say that I did this, you know? Come on, this is huge. I hope I don't crash though, that'd be really bad. I did that, just drink this tall pour of wine. You know what I mean? Down the hatch. Cheers, brother. Couple of road sodas, you know what I mean? I feel like the king of pop, dude. You have the opportunity to crash and set the world record for longest tow. Yeah, you would think they would just tow me the last 30 minutes instead of to towing me seven and a half hours back. It's a really good point. But, um, I'm not going to risk it. This bus really needs a wheel alignment. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, man. Basically having to like press this button every couple seconds for the last eight hours has been quite taxing. Odometer check? Listen, I don't think the odometer is accurate, but it is at 340, it looks like. Hard to say. I don't think that's right though, I really don't. Oh, really luscious, okay. Because people were telling me it was 410 miles and I was like, dude, there's no way that I am driving that slow. Why is no one else streaming this game? It's crazy, dude. This is like the new Twitch meta. I'm just gonna call it right now. Everyone's gonna start streaming this game. You'll see XQC and like, um, Force In and like Squeaks doing this within like a month. I should ask Squeaks to do this. He could probably like, if I ask Squeaks to do this, he could probably make it so this is the new Twitch meta. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> he could make this a trend. I can't believe there's not a single other person streaming because when people were trying to join my car, they all said they were like getting into other people's buses. So there must be people like playing this, but if they're playing it, not streaming it, I'm just like, what are you? I, I don't think I would play this if I wasn't streaming it. I don't think I could get through the last seven and a half hours. I'd probably just rather watch four movies, you know? Maybe that's just me though, listen. They're probably speed running, that's true, yeah. The speed run, what is the speed run record? Someone said it was like four hours and, or sorry, eight hours and 10 seconds. That's gotta be like optimal. That's gotta be frame perfect, right? Probably tool assisted. Eight hours and 36 seconds. I don't think mine's gonna beat that. Every time you open the door, it creates drag and slows you down. I was thinking about that at the beginning. 13 glasses of wine is the speedrun record. Let's pour up another one, you know what I'm saying? Listen, let's get a little, let's get a little more going, you know what I mean? Oh! Would have been really bad, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Nice.
You might not be able to beat the speed record, but you have time to beat the BAC record. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. Come on, guys. Come on. What the hell? I can't believe there's nothing on the radio for the last 20 minutes. Come on, man. Somebody's got to come on at 740, right? Please. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it just makes no sense. When are we getting the Rock Band 2 Endless Setlist stream? Bro, me and my brothers, me and my two brothers did that one time. Shit was crazy. Endless set list, dude. Great times. I was on drums on expert. It's really crazy they didn't record anything from that set list and have been doing it live. Um, from the radio? Yeah, man. Like... That's the craziest part is like all of the times that they start talking about things that I was talking about one hour prior, which was like three different times. Did you ever do through the fire and flames on expert? No, I'll admit it. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I never beat that. That was the one song I couldn't do on rock band three. I beat that. I beat Jordan Buckethead on rock band or on guitar hero two. Great game. But I feel like Guitar Hero 2 was like more forgiving with your timing. I don't know why. I always felt like it was like more forgiving. 850K personal best TTFAF. That's a lot, what the fuck? Guitar Hero 3 was more friendly. Guitar Hero 2 was rough. Buckethead was debatably harder. It was not harder. I really don't think so. Through the Fire and Flames was like insane. Just like all over the guitar, dude. And you had to do the green key like constantly. LMFAO. No one serious thinks that Jordan is harder than TTAF. So true, dude. So fucking true. Yes. My Guitar Hero heads. Back me up on this one. I could complete Jordan, but I could never complete TTFAF. <laughs> Dude, my favorite song was, uh, I actually don't know. Oh, The Trooper. I got perfect expert on The Trooper by Iron Maiden. Great song. I thought that shit was awesome. That was like the best song on Guitar Hero. ACDC live rock band was elite from Walmart. Dude, I remember doing Green Day rock band. When they started just making rock band games that was just the music of one singular artist and then charging $60 for it. I played Green Day rock band, but I really liked Green Day when I was a kid, so it was sick for me. Did you beat Raining Blood by Slayer? Yes, I beat every song except Through the Fire and Flames. On Guitar Hero 3. I even tried to like learn it by going into practice mode a bunch of times and like, you know, like trying to lab it out. She was hard, man. You ever play on the controller? No, fuck that. Dude, Cliffs of Dover was fun. And YYZ by Rush, dude. That was a great one. Holy shit, dude. This is taking me back. Guitar Hero Stream. Nah, that shit's kind of boring. I don't know. I've thought about it, and I'm just like, it'd be kind of boring to stream Guitar Hero, and you can't play copyright music. It would kind of suck. I say that as I'm driving eight hours of a bus, weaving in and out of lanes, but I wouldn't be able to, like, really talk during it.
Guitar Hero 2 was all covers. Oh yeah, wait, you're right. Good point. Play the songs, but switch the audio to a royalty-free playlist. That would be amazing if I was like playing like Raining Blood by Slayer, but what the chat heard was like Royalty free 2020 relaxed coffee shop music best coffee shop music Free HD download 100% working <laughs> Moon moon stream guitar hero 2 without any problems. Did he like have any like was he playing an expert? Damn dude guys a fucking god gamer. I gotta give it to him but there's no way he could complete eight hours on desert bus. Not a chance. I don't think he could drive from Tucson to Las Vegas, Nevada in real time in an old bus that has a heavily favored misalignment on the passenger side of the car. He sucked ass at Guitar Hero. He's not built like that. Okay. He played a very similar game. Wait, did he do the long drive? I never completed the long drive. I'm hoping these bits will go directly toward your next Taco Bell meal. Yeah, thank you for the thousand bits, Glowing Octopus. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. That was very generous. Yo, Ao Nico, thanks for the Prime. Super Yums, thank you for the Prime. It's gotta be over soon, surely, right, guys? This is genuinely the longest Will stream I've ever watched. This is one of the longer ones I've ever done, to be fair. Like, barring leagues coming out, I guess. Are you still driving? Yeah. It is pre-recorded, obviously. All the streams are pre-recorded. This is well known. Come on. This isn't his gameplay. He's been faking it the whole time. His P-bakes are choreographed. That'd be pretty smart. But then how could I do... Um, what's a song that I could do? Through the fire and flames on the horn. That was, it was something like that. <laughs> His ass is not playing. Did you actually not hear it? That was actually good as fuck. I felt like, I felt like, yeah, spot on. Thank you. Because I, I really felt like that was like good as fuck. I was very proud of that. You have to play requests from the chat. Okay. Give me any song that I actually know the name of. Any pounders in the chat? Trip Jaw, thank you for the prime sub. Much love. Thank you. Twenty-six months. Love you, man. Hope you're well. Thunderstruck? I don't really know that. Flute salad. That's flu salad. Wet ass pussy by Nicki Minaj. I don't really know that one. Eli Eli Maddock remix. One. 
Okay, there you go. That's that song. Next. <laughs> My bard's name in Dark and Darker was Flu Salad. It's a good name, actually. I've never played bard on that game. Just kind of seems meh. But I mostly play solo, so yeah. Bard was like really OP in solos for a little while and it made me resent the class and kind of hate it. So I just, have, same with Cleric. I just like haven't played it. The game is kind of meh right now. I've heard that, but they added some new stuff like a couple days ago. What happens if you go off the road? Okay. This is probably the last time I'm gonna have to say this, but if you go off the road, you get towed, your car breaks immediately. You get towed and you have to start all over. So I've managed to drive for seven hours and 50 minutes and I've not driven off the road one singular time. Will sell dark and darker name Krill Sutsaroth for 500 mil. It's a terrible name. You've actually been doing this for seven hours. Almost eight, actually, but. Have you seen the guy on Twitter with 25K Krill KC and no pet? I've not seen that, that's crazy. What? What the hell? You pee like eight times in a six hour stream. Uh, I've peed three times during this, but I've stopped. I brought the bus to a complete stop. So as so to make sure I don't like drift off the road or anything, I just like completely stop it and then run to the bathroom and run back. There's just nothing on the radio, man. I really would have, uh, I would expect them to have something. This is it, boys. We're looking good. Looks like the sun is completely up. Yeah, we, we drove all the way through the night. I just realized that. Look at that. It's crazy. Is there ever oncoming traffic? Not yet. Not yet. How much longer do we have to go? We're getting there. Dude, Let me ask you a question. A crow outside with the fucking 10 pack. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, crow outside. Can I get a call one time for crow outside? Call. Yo, P Jamo, BGA Brick Squad, Lord. Uh, Muffins Rage, Young FJ, Frog, Lol, Raffle Hacks, The Mural, THC Vortex, and Pigeon Queen. Thank you so much. I appreciate the gifted subs. Thank you. We're going to get there. Listen, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I can taste it. I can taste Las Vegas. Seven minutes. This is it, bro. We're there. Cheers. Here's to Vegas. You know what I mean? Look at us. Sorry. I hate to do the look at us. I'm looking forward to the annual desert bus stream every year from here on out. Yeah, maybe next year we can drive from Las Vegas back to Tucson. It's a great idea. Can you drive the other way? Yeah, you can drive the only other way, but only after you've completed it this way. You should get a six hour long Duke kill. It's a good idea. 
Try to get world's longest Duke kill. Just log in and AFK in the room for like five hours and five minutes. Do we know if there's anything at the end? I don't. I didn't really do any research about this game before like starting it up. I'm gonna be honest. I this was kind of just like a spur of the moment idea, and um, I didn't really think we'd come this far, but here we are. Any pounders in the chat? Yo, I'm Buzz takes the prime. Wendyes is a ride or die. Wendyes has been Borpa spinning for the entire seven hours and 50 minutes, I would say. Like probably seven and a half hours at this point. Plus that guy's been looking out the window. Oh my God. I'm scared. Don't fuck this up, Will, please. Don't choke. Save for the last five minutes, everyone. You're gonna miss this when it's gone. So fucking true. So true. At Hanner, five, 50 gifted subs to unplug his PC. What is wrong with you? Would it be insane if I somehow choked this? Like if I somehow like just went, ah! You know, just like crashed. It's a lot riding on this, guys. Every little turn of the wheel could be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, anything could happen. I'm just saying. I just tuned in as this game like the long drive. Yeah, except minus all of the interesting parts. The long drive has a lot of fun mechanics. Are you gonna play the long drive again? Eh, I don't know. I tried playing it again. They didn't really change much. Can you tick manipulate the pedals to go faster? Uh, you can one tick flick the radio, yo. Yeah. Has anything interesting happened or have you just driven in a straight line? Um, that's really for the viewer to decide, I suppose. I can't answer that. <laughs> what are you gonna do when you get there? I don't know what it's like, dude. I don't know what Vegas is like. Like, I've never seen the bright lights and the beauty and just, you know, I'm just so excited to see the city, you know? It just sounds so beautiful to me. I can taste it. I can feel it coming. I can feel the head-on collision that I'm about to get into. You should do a classic oops I crashed right at the end. It Any would be funny. It's if okay I did a classic, it's will driving moment. One of you is getting told happy birthday. Feels birthday, man. Happy birthday, Billy. Yo, Bayaki, thank you for the 44 months. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Jesus. It's about to hit eight hours. We're not there yet, which is a little concerning, but, you know, I'm sure it's nothing, guys. I'm sure it's just 
completely coincidental, right? It's probably just um, the fact that we need to make up for the time that we stopped and went to the bathroom. You know what I mean? It's probably that. It's all good. Nothing to worry about. You know what I mean? Nothing to worry about. It's all good. Let's go ahead and just keep driving. We've driven eight hours, but we're listen. We gotta get there. We gotta get there. Check the radio, guys. I just hit eight hours. Nothing's happening. Is this bad? Uh oh. There's no way I lost that much time. How are you at eight hours in game, but you've only been streaming for seven hours and 59 minutes and you had a 12 minute intro? What the fuck? Wait, we just hit eight hours just now. Oh, we gotta hit Vegas. Do the believers win? It says does Will make it to Las Vegas? Well, I haven't made it yet. Listen. I probably got another few minutes. Maybe 10 or so. The time on the meter is just off. Uh-oh. Does that mean the odometer is off? The odometer is only at like three... Thirty-five. I mean, I have 25 miles to go. No, no, that's impossible. That's like another 20 minutes. No. <laughs> Has he actually been doing this for eight hours? Yeah, eight hours and one minute. It's okay. I'm not worried, guys. Here's the thing, because I know that Vegas is coming. It's on its way. Or no, I think we're at 356. I think. What does that say? I can't tell, because there's like three five. I can't tell. Oh! Shouldn't there have been some signs? What do you, what's going on, guys? All right, roll call, everybody. Can I get everyone to thrash their heads, please? Crazy style. You two guy in the back. Can I get everyone to borp a spin? <laughs> amazing. Just amazing. What if like, I got there when I was like... Looking back. Can we get a VOD review after this to theorycraft the world record run? I really think my method of going like this actually makes you go faster. Like that's been my theory. Cause like watch how slowly the lines, like look at the hash lines. One, two, three. Whereas if we're like this, one, two, three. Like it feels faster. It's like bee hopping basically. I really think it's real. Like it seems faster. You think you'd stay on the road if you close your eyes for five seconds? One, two, three, four, five. 
50 gifted for 50 seconds of eyes closed. It's really scary is the thing. He didn't say all at once. Wait, true. I could like split it up. We're almost there, guys. Don't worry. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful uh, passenger trip. And uh, I'm going to be right back in Las Vegas, Nevada. T minus two minutes. Yeah, if you've been traveling with us this day on uh, Air It's Well, I uh, just want to thank you for, you know, staying, checking your seats and uh, making sure they got all your luggage. And it's Will 7. Hope you enjoyed your ride here on Air It's Well. And I hope you enjoyed Ooh, your stay. Day and and runs to get have a great your rest of your time down Be sure just, yeah. taxing after a while, but you could consider pioneering the bug percent category. Yo, Yoonweez, thanks for the two years of Prime. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Vegas! <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I could say the local temperature. That would have been smart. I forgot. I've never been on a plane in a while. <laughs> Thank you for the two years, Yoonweez. Much appreciated, man. We got a little bit of wine left here. Let's top this off. Yeah. You still have 12 miles to go, which is 24 minutes, by the way. I don't think I have 24 minutes to go. What, what makes you say that? I'm at 300 and... 59 it looks like no if anything i think i'm almost done i think we're almost there i can't tell but it's really hard to read that damn thing what does that number on the left side mean is it f multiple digits that says 349 i can't tell Check the road map. Does anybody know where the fuck we are? White is a decimal. Okay, but what's the number on the far left? Is that a number or is that just like an O and then like uh, parentheses? That says O349. Okay. I think you went the wrong way. I think I might have gone the wrong way at the very beginning. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It'd be so bad. Could you imagine? Wait, what is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that? That's it! That's it! <laughs> Eight hours, 10 minutes, one trip, zero toes, and a high score of one. Any pounders in the chat? That's fucking right. Let's fucking Uncle Happy Birthday, brother. Las Vegas city limit. We made it. Buzz cut Brandon. Thanks for the 11 months, dude. Appreciate you. It's... Will I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it, man. I really didn't think we would make it. I'm gonna be honest. When we first started, I was like, there's no way I'm not I'm gonna fucking crash. Any pounders in the chat? Yo, thank you so much, Barbus, for the gifted sub. Parado, thanks to the Prime. Slizzerous, thanks to the 15 months. This is unbelievable. This could be the greatest gaming achievement it ever achieved by anybody. Unbelievable. Much love to all the believers.
I left my phone charger in Tucson. Where you at? You like a super pro real skate player or something? Yo, yeah, but you said he. I'm top five. Thank uh, you for the five gift that I really appreciate it. Yo, hindsight, soft, corrupt, NP, zebra, and schlegs. Wait, you like a super pro Make tacos not war. Thank something? you for the five gifted. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm top five. Bosa. Uh, a lot of people say. Uh, Zij, say no to tofu. Lemon, Stefan, welcome. Wicta, thank you for the 100 bits. Love you, brother. Hope you're doing well. You will have to go for the back to back. Not tonight. I'm not good to drive right now. You were here. Encore? I don't think I'm gonna do the encore. How do you go to someone else's bus? How do you go to someone else's bus? Oh, searching for online games. Any pounders in the chat? Just do a 24 hour stream of just like riding the bus. Hello? This person's been going for a while. Wait, it's almost nighttime. This person's actually a gamer. They don't give a fuck about me though. They're not even looking. Look at that, dude. It's like morning. They're probably like six hours deep. I'm not even kidding. The sun is rising, so like that means they're almost done. Like the fact that this is just like a random guy who's not streaming is so crazy to me. Holy shit. Can we watch the rest of their run? I don't think there's a way for me to leave. Oh, here we go. So that's how you exit, got it.